Can I can I briefly give you a, an out of touch uh, anecdote from yesterday? I had a meeting uh, with my accountant yesterday, and then after that, I had a meeting um, with the person who who administers my life insurance. Okay, at the meeting with a, my accountant, he gave me a, a bottle of wine and a large gift set of hand so hand lotions and soaps to give to my wife when i met with my life insurance administrator he gave me uh, an enormous i don't even know how to describe it it's like a chinese new year cabinet and it has like eight drawers and all the drawers have uh like boutique candies inside of them first thought i had at both of these meetings i must be paying way too fucking much for these services. That is not right. They should not be, they should not feel comfortable giving me these gifts because they, they should be like mad that I am taking a meeting with them. They should be like, I'm too fucking busy. I can't do this shit. Here's, do you want a cup of coffee or something like that? When they started handing me bags, I was like, this is, this is fucked up, man. I got to switch services. They, they know I'm not gonna because there's like inertia. How big is the cabinet? It's not it's not the size of like an armoire. It's uh If I had to guess, I would say it's probably like I mean, I'm being legitimate with you. I bet it's 16 inches tall. Like it's not small, but it's it's not like a full size. It's not something you could put shoes in, but it's like Yeah, I would say it's about as tall as a box of cereal. That's that's a great uh, approximator. And then it's got eight drawers on it. When you pull out the, you slide out the drawers, there's a box of candy inside. Which gift did you like more? Well, I ate a lot of the candy. I'm not going to lie. They're all um, spheres, so I can't feed it to my daughter. That's my excuse. It's a choking hazard. The lotion I haven't used yet. And the wine, I don't know what I'm going to do with the wine. I Googled it to see how expensive the bottle of wine was, and I was like, this seems right. Eight dollars. What do you think about not pissing in the middle urinal? Great question. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I have no clue whatsoever. Dude, we, we're going to number number six here. I can't believe it. This we we've reached respectability. It's bro code one oh one. I mean, I would disagree only in the sense that I feel like bro code is you always take the furthest urinal. If you have an option. Or at the very least, you take a urinal that's at least one spot away from the next closest person. If you don't have a choice, well then that's like... That's life, baby. We're going to seven, dude! It's crazy! I'm I'm a wait for stall guy. Even if I just got a pee, I wait for a stall. This might be it, boys. We we did our best. There's someone in their own level two. I don't think we're getting there, but th no, we're not getting there. How about the drain? Well, the drain is just uh, disrespectful. I'm going number seven here. When you go into like a men's bathroom and it's just a, a like a trough or something like that that you all stand at and there's no not even no dividers which is like already offensive but like not even anything to capture the fluid like it's just floating in there like a big like it's um a blended piss it's not like a single malt that's just that's how you know that the the infrastructure that you're in does not care about you beyond like charging you $21 for a beer for a hockey game. How are the bathrooms at Rogers? They're fine, but they're not amazing. I get that they've got to handle, you know, literally like 15,000 people, probably like 75% plus are men. But like, it's crazy to me that Rogers Arena is one of the oldest arenas in the NHL. This shit was built in like 1999 or something like that. It's crazy. But yeah, I always wait for the, I always wait for the stall. Lots of shy bladders in the chat. Well, that's what, like, originally I started waiting for stalls because I did have a shy bladder, which is just annoying. 
Because you're sitting there. You never end up in the, in the piss arms race with another dude with a shy bladder at a urinal. And you're, sitting, you're standing next to him and he's not pissing. He's standing next to you and you're not pissing. And you're like, fuck it. And he knows I got a shy bladder. And I know that he's got a shy bladder. And we're both just here standing at the urinal holding our damn dicks. Please, please start pissing so that your, the sound of your piss covers the sound of me not pissing. But then I started going to the stall, like, just because there's a lot of freaks out there. No disrespect, but, like, I've been getting recognized more than usual lately. You know it's just a matter of time till I, like, walk into a bathroom. Well, I already had it happen once. I was just lucky that it was a, a normie when I used to... Uh, work out at like this community center gym i was getting full ass naked in the change room because that's the bro code and then like i just put my underwear on and somebody was like hey are you northern lion and i was like yeah and then he was it turns out he was a developer on darkest dungeon so we had like it was a taunting like mutually assured destruction i'm not going to tell the internet about his dick and ass and he's not going to tell the internet about my dick and ass we both got a lot to lose but there's going to be an asymmetry there at some point Somebody's going to be like, I saw NL at the restaurant. He excused himself to go to the bathroom. I'm going to follow him in and take a look at the head of his dick. That's why I wait for the stall. I'm not ashamed of, of what I got going on there, but it also doesn't present itself in the best light, you know, in a urinary situation. I'd at least like to, to know that there's about to be a paparazzi out there so that I could get it, you know, like in the game shape. Also, I got a shy bladder to begin with, so now, like, I, I got a shy bladder and I'm concerned that the person that followed me into the bathroom is, like, it's, it's making it even harder to piss. Let's just put it that way. We're gonna go to Destruction Desert. We're gonna select the track, and then I should appear in game.playnitro.com. Just checking. And then you should be able to click Join Race, at which point there is a lottery to see if you get in. There's no lottery for me. I'm going to get in. <laughs> I promise you that. I think we should spice it up too. I want people rooting for me. There's 500 people on the, on, in this race. If I win a race today, 50 gifted subs easy. I know that, was it last week that Ludd was streaming and he said, I'm going to stream till I win a race? Did, did that ever happen? I mean, just running the numbers, I'm like 500 races, or races with 500 people or 250 people means it should take at least 250, well, no, I shouldn't say at least, but <laughs> I'm exposing my statistical ignorance, but it, on average, it would take 250 for him to get a, a win. Each one is going to be like five minutes long. That's like a, a twelve. That's like a twenty-hour long stream. But maybe he was in the maybe he was in the first part of the bell curve and he won the stream a little faster. He eventually did win. Man, let's go! Con congratulations. I do. I have a pink pickup truck. Okay. I know it says I have a blue sports car on the web browser right now. I have a pink pickup truck. Okay. Each race is a 1 in 250 chance. They're independent. Yes, I know. This was not a math error. This was a, an English error. I'm not saying 250 races means you're guaranteed to win. I'm saying if you ran 1 million samples where the sample only ended when he got a win, you would expect that the average number of races that it would take for him to get a win is 250. Let's put it that way. Does that, does that work for you, Stats Professor 101? I don't even want to talk to you about my, my stats professor in university where one of the first assignments he offered, or he, he assigned, I guess, um, it had like a page limit of two pages and then he was like, include 17 graphs. I included 17 graphs. It came out to like three and a half pages. Then he gave me like a 55% on the assignment because of being over the page limit. And I emailed him back and said I was only over the page limit because you asked me to include 17 graphs. And he said you didn't follow the terms of the assignment, so I had to mark you down. Enjoy tenure. <clears throat> it's okay. It's no, no big deal. I don't hold a grudge or anything. Listen, he's got a job. He's got a pension. He's got a family or whatever. He's got to live with himself. It's gorgeous out there. It's gorgeous. It's January? No, it's February. February 1st, no snow on the ground. Mid-single digits. 
lightly cloudy, I might go for a long walk later while you're scraping the ice off your windshield, you piece of crap. Oh, actually, your boss will be really mad if he said you, you could only email a 250-word email and you emailed him a 300-word email. Get a life. Join the private sector. Anyway, I'm starting the lottery. He's a cool guy. Next time I've ever, if I ever take stats 211 again, I'm making the graph so tiny, he's going to need to get out a telescope to read them. A microscope? A telescope? I don't know. <laughs> You ever sucked on the pog pipe? Me neither. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I heard it feels more like... Let's not go there. <laughs> Every night, brother. Oh, man. Ryan, dot, dot, dot. What? Well, we don't like laughing anymore. We don't like to laugh anymore. Does anyone see how messed up this is? Did you move it to the SSD? I did not, no. I got, I mean, like, it's, I hesitate to call myself lazy. Like, here's the thing, just being honest. Like, all this shit that you want me to do, it only takes, like, a second. But I have, like... At least, I would say 300 things to do daily that only take a second. So, like, some of them just fall off the, the damn wagon, honestly. So, 300 seconds? I mean, when I say just a second, I mean, like, literally, it takes, like, you know, some of them are, like, two minutes long. Some of them are ten minutes long. They're not literally one minute long each. See, this is how I know that your ass is not as busy as I am, because I don't have time to be that pedantic. I communicate more in like a uh, like a jazz style instead of like uh, like math rock. Like I don't even know what I'm gonna say. You're already like I know what we do here. Now you're gonna switch to um, nine seven time and then and then okay, A B Taylor, you're gonna go. What do I want, Sky? What do I want, Sky? Is everything all right? And then okay, you're gonna go. Ka -dunk, ka -dunk, ka -dunk, ka -dunk. You feeling moldy? Ka -dunk, ka -dunk. You feeling? And I'm more like a do 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 and then with the brushes do 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 okay anyway I will not be signing up for an IOI account but I will be playing some Freelancer. 9-7, this guy would never make it in school band. Bro, you're playing In Search of Uluru in school band. You're not playing What Would I Want Sky by Animal Collective. Honestly, your ass doesn't have the stones. You'd be lost. You wouldn't be able to read it. I wouldn't be able to read it either. That's why I'm not talking shit. Dude, not tweeting is so much more fun than tweeting. You know how there's been that, uh, that viral, like... Um, engagement bait going around that is like um tell me the most obscure video game fact you know there's been lots of interesting stuff in there Le learning lots of stuff about how bethesda games work N namely that they don't really but that, that it's okay regardless and then the one yesterday that was like i was in charge of the camera on dragon age inquisition they wanted there to be a sprint button for the horse, but the engine couldn't stream in the environment fast enough. So all we did was add speed lines and like a little motion blur to the horse to make it seem like you're going faster, but actually you're going the same speed. I was thinking, I, I played through all of Dragon Age Inquisition, never noticed it. I mean, it was 10 years ago, basically, but still. But then I was thinking, you know what would be a great reply there? A quote tweet. What's the most obscure video game fact that you know? And then put a screenshot of Marvel Midnight Suns and say, in Marvel Midnight Sun Suns, sometimes after Iron Man uses his photon blasters to kill an enemy, the hunter will say, I saw a move like that centuries ago. This implies the existence of Stark Tech arc reactor technology at, a, at the latest was in the universe circa the 1800s but let's do a deep dive into that. 
thread, point down, point down, point down, and then never add anything else to the thread? I thought it could be funny. Plus two, plus two, plus two, plus... Two, plus you know what? I'm going to tweet it. I have, first, I have to search. Obscure video game fact. Retweet, quote, tweet. In Marvel's Midnight Suns, sometimes after Iron Man blasts Hydra soldiers with a photon... If they're... Uh, KOs. Hydra soldiers with a photon blast. The hunter will say, I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. This implies the existence of Stark Tech Arc reactors as early as the 1800s. Let's dive into that a bit. Smiley face, thread emoji, and then pointing down. The tweet's gonna flop and you know it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't care, I think it's funny. I have been shadow banned from the website. I have, I have, I'm protecting my tweets. I'm up doing my dark bidding. You see that Twitter's going to get rid of their free API? It's going to kill all my favorite accounts, man. I can't... I, the, the only account I still follow on, on Twitter and actually read all their tweets is Random Restaurant. Just so I, like... Um, just give me a second here. Like, I, I thought this would have been a good tweet as well, but I decided not to tweet it. I'd rather just share it with you. Just, it, it, it takes a second. It takes a second to find the right restaurant for this. Just give me one second. Here it is. My horny ass could never work at Submarina California Subs 186 West Marine Corps Drive. Dededo 96929 Guam. Four stars out of five. Would that work? <laughs> Would that work? I'm just trying to find the perfect restaurant name for it. I've been searching for a long time. That one's been in like the back of my, the back of my head for quite some time. My horny ass could never work at La Casita del Pollo, 50 metros al sur del Banco Nacional de San Jose, Aceri, 10601 Costa Rica, five stars out of five. My horny ass could never work at A&W, Saramban, drive through 291, Jalanyam, Tuan, Bandar, Saramban, 70,000, Saramban, Sambilan, Malaysia, four stars out of five. My horny ass could never work at Queens, Grab and Go, Belize City, Belize, four stars. Uh, you know what? It's <laughs> Stop trying to recapture the, that old glory. Are you okay? I'm just trying to come up with, I'm just trying to make you laugh. I'll stop doing it when you stop laughing. You know what's crazy? Did you see that, um, that map? You want me to be more specific? Okay, did you see that map of every state's least favorite state? It's crazy to me. So like... Every state west of the Dakotas, except for California, has California as their most hated state. My, my, I understand that, like, you know, they hate us because they ain't us. I don't live in California, by the way, but I like it. But, like, why? I was surprised that Washington State hated California the most. I would have thought Washington State would have hated Idaho the most. Why? Because it's like next to them. <laughs> it's like how people from BC, if they were like, what's your least favorite province? They'd be like Alberta. If you ask people from Alberta, what's your least favorite province? They would be like Ontario, but BC's a close second. Don't worry, we do hate Idaho. Okay, all right. I get that in California, it brings, you know, because it's such a big state and it's in the it's a huge population. It's always in the news and stuff like that. It's a, it's the same reason I think that California doesn't hate, like, you know, Nevada or Utah or whatever, or Arizona. Like, California hates Texas, even though it's a few states away. You know, it's just, it, it projects more power, honestly. A lot of states did hate New Jersey. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to Jay for that one. I am going to try a, a baboon here. Heads Carolina, tails California, so true. Definitely one of the Jody Messina songs of all time. I'm sure, yeah, I mean, people aren't here when I discuss anything, apparently, because they keep asking, but, uh... 
My one of my favorite YouTube comments of all time is on Heads Carolina, Tails California by Jody Messina, where uh, and this always happens in like in music videos on YouTube. Someone in the comments, you just scroll down a little bit. Someone will be saying this exact story happened to them a hundred percent. But in the Heads Carolina, Tails California one drives me the craziest because the pr premise of the song is two people are in a relationship. They flip a coin about whether they're going to live in California or Carolina. And there's like a 55-year-old dude in the comments that's like, you won't believe this, but this shit happened to me. No, it fucking didn't. That's crazy. This, this shit didn't even happen to Jody Messina. There's like a songwriter in a smoky office somewhere in Tennessee that wrote this. They made it up. I always remember, too, there's somebody in the Maria Tekeuchi uh, plastic love comments that, like, there's like, this song's like my life story. My father was in the military, and we moved to Okinawa in 1987, where I met a young woman, and uh, then we were best friends, and then we began a relationship uh, in high school, but then I had to move away, and it's like my love with her was uh, really plastic because it was temporary, but I still think about her every day when I listen to this song, and I'm like, I'm sorry. Uh, listen, I'm not... I'm not saying that one didn't happen. I'm just saying when you start putting your life story into the YouTube comments under a song, I mean, like, I'm, I, I guess I'm just being an asshole is, is really what it comes down to. I guess I'm just being, like, a piece of crap. But also, like, come on, man. I, I think I got my first kill lined up already. This guy comes over here. What do we have? Three minutes? Put that away. Walter? <clears throat> Thinking the dream would be hit him with some emetic poison on his path. It doesn't have to be... Uh, it is an illegal item, so you got to be real cautious with it. I'm, I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm not worried about the time trial. How are you doing? I'm worried about, I, if I rush, listen, the SMGs are coming out and we're going, we're going to take our time. We're going to see if this guy does anything, um, if, if he has like a, a path that he walks on, where maybe we could um, set off the emetic gas grenade follow him into the toilet. I don't know, I would just cut out his eyeballs with a screwdriver or something like that to get that bonus objective and then move on from there. I guess this guy would suss me pretty hard, right? Okay, so you walk here and here. What? I'm literally just walking. Get a clue. Okay, then follow him again. No, he just goes back and sits down. <laughs> no, they see it, they see it. I was thinking about tossing it over this little wall. I just gotta... Make sure she, she don't suss me. Like, I, I, I can't see the arc. This is what's known as a, as a Kobe. Any idea where this landed? Yeah. What the hell? It's on top of the fence? Might be a weapon. Where? You should look into it. Everybody stay put. My fence? Oh, all right. Oh, son of a... <laughs> He's still gonna walk by here. As long as we time it right, I think we're okay. Sit down and read the news. He ain't moving soon. Well, we got other options, you know. We could always, like, um... Stay here. I'll see what it was. Oh, my God. Here he comes again. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Ready? Whatever. <laughs> All right. 
the plan didn't oh. quite work out to start with. That's okay. You know what? Maybe we could get in our room, which is like one of these bad boys, and then just snipe with the sniper rifle. <laughs> you just got to find the perfect arc, man. I think it's, this is it right here. And then... My ass is gone. <laughs> I'm out of here. This will surely be a blow to the syndicate. Get back to the safe house. I'll be in touch. No. No, everything's going dim, man. No! The briefcase made me run so slow. <laughs> I, I wasn't willing to part with it. Sorry, we still got the bonus objectives, right? Do those still count for us? We lost our, our silent sniper, but you know what? We have another sniper. Maybe a knife would have been better than an explosive golf ball. It was fun to watch, though. My daughter's home from daycare this week, by the way. Not this week, today. <laughs> I don't know if you heard... Uh, La 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 la. By the way, hello. Honey, don't come in for a second. Daddy's at work. Hi. You got your dinosaur? Yeah? You want to sit on me? Okay, here you go. We'll put it on pause because I don't, I don't want to scar my child for life. Here, show your T-Rex to the camera. It's can you hold it up? Ray, hold it up like this. Wow. It's million tall. He's like a million tall? Yeah. Wow, that's extremely tall. Yeah. What you got in your other hand? Dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur? Hold it up. Stegosaurus. It is a stegosaurus. Yeah. Whose favorite dinosaur is a stegosaurus? Daddy. Daddy's favorite dinosaur is the stegosaurus. What's mommy's favorite dinosaur? Um, the Sorry, can you say that again into the microphone? What's for the triceratops? Mommy's favorite is the triceratops. What's your favorite? T Rex. Of course, the T Rex. I like. T-Rex. Of course you like the... Who doesn't like the T-Rex? The king of the dinosaurs. I like that. Do you like... Um, do you like Parasaurolophus? That's the dinosaur that goes... T-Rex. You like T-Rex. T-Rex goes... Yeah. He eats plants. T-Rex eats plants? Yeah. Well... He scares the little dinosaurs. Yeah. He found mommy. Yeah, and T-Rex found mommy. Baby T-Rex found mommy T-Rex. Yeah. You want to go down? You want to sit with me a little? Yeah. I do have two waters. You're going to give me some water? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, honey. <laughs> I do always drink water. Okay, honey. It is a funny noise. See, Chad, she's just like you. That's funny? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for the water. Drink some more? That could be good. Even more? Oh my god. I, w I was very thirsty. Yeah, I know, I'm getting desk audited by my daughter. I do have two plates on my desk. It's out. See, it's empty. There's a little bit more in the bottom. It's so hard to get out, though. 
There you go. <clears throat> You want to drink some water too? She's going to get her water. We got a brief window. She didn't see it. She didn't see it. That's good parenting right there. And then I just, look, I just put him in his crib, honey. I put him in his crib because it's nap time. I got a whole plan for this guy, okay, honey? You see this guy in the red right here? Daddy's gonna drop a jelly bean on the ground. And then he's gonna uh, walk away. And then he's gonna press a little button on his phone so that he decides to eat the jelly bean. And then he's gonna escape from the mission, okay? And this is the jelly bean. It's, a, it's called Remote Semtex Demo Block Mark III. Dude, hold on, I see an opportunity. These don't come around all that much. Can you walk a little slower? I'm gonna body block you just a little bit. This is the the classic hitman body Sorry, block. Man, but you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable now. Okay. Okay, and then Oh frick. That could have been my moment. I just I didn't have the I didn't have the stones. She's going first, huh? <laughs> I don't think I could go pick it up. <laughs> nope, it's, I think it's stuck there. Okay, well, you know what? We might as well start working our way towards the other target then. You can body block a little. I don't, no! Sir, sir, you do not come, sir. <laughs> Sorry. And then when everybody's distracted, they're not distracted. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What the? Okay, how, I can't put the What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> how many exclamation marks? <laughs> 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 no, I think that's gonna be. That's more oh. than ten anyway. Like that's. Yeah. Well, no, it ends. It ends with six. <laughs> Mouth, how do you fuck this up every time? I don't know. They just said how many exclamation marks with this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like, make a sentence that would use exclamation. This guy has uh, an issue. Oh. How is she it like a sentence? Yes, let's go. You put more than the amount was there. I counted them, but they turned out to be different numbers. <laughs> That's infuriating. Oh. Dude, I had oh, a friend no. in high school. She would use uh, hyphens in everything. Oh. It was fucking weird. Wow. I've never seen someone who loved hyphens as much as this girl did. <laughs> what the fuck is a hyphen? You know, like, like an M dash? A dash. Yeah. Uh, it's what the girl has before she has sex. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Very gross. <laughs> I'm going this side. I'm not a. I'm not a freak. I am a freak. I know. I'm gonna stay on Team Nike. Okay, perfect um, for you, freak. <laughs> the fuck, man? What? I mean, we we picked two shapes that kind of look like Team Nike. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. What the fuck do you look like when you're naked? What do you mean? You don't hang a single ball. I did for no. a while. Do you know the um you know the flexing bicep <laughs> emoji if you flip it upside down it looks like a balls in a cock? I ha I did know that. That's fucking awesome, man. Every time I like if I'm really bored, I put it in my notepad app and then I flip my phone upside down <laughs> and then just giggle. And what do you do after that? It Jack off. <laughs> <laughs> did you join the audience, Mel? I I, I I I clicked join as player, but it Put me in every time I go to reconnect, it just says audience at the top. Oh, can you, you have to try do a different name? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's right. What? 
Ooh. It just keeps reconnecting me instead. Are you get, are you on your phone or on the... No, on the on the desktop. Let me uh what if I refresh? You can go incognito tab. He's right. He's right. Oh, you'd know a lot about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> what? That's why I do all my jacking off. Uh, <laughs> Dude, bro, you're supposed to say <laughs> gift shopping. Fuck. He does it on his second computer though, so it's not captured on stream. No, no. I mean, okay. how else am I supposed I to profit off this shit, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. The uh, I feel like these are just opposite oh, based on who would actually be clothed and naked. <clears throat> very true. I'm not a fucking nudist. I love wearing clothes. You asshole. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Chibli, you, right, Chibli, you gotta start the game. You gotta start the game. Why? Why do I have to start the game? You got the crown. Yeah. You were the if first you love one clothes in. so much, Chibli, take off all your clothes and put on another set. Another day. Another no, day they're all story. dirty <laughs> and smelly. I guess you don't love clothes. You don't. I've been wearing the same outfit for three days. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Please don't give I'm me joking. A pop culture related, and I'll be fine. Are you joking? I'll, I'll, I'll get pop culture. I am joking. I, I like clothes. Oh, it's them first. Oh, I've seen one of them. <laughs> I saw Goldeneye Actually, because of the game, and I thought it sucked. No, you are no, so Ryan, fucking no stupid. This is Justin. I can't. <laughs> with you anymore. Oh, that one's easy. That's the newest one, ain't it? Well, I mean, you can't say. One can say. I'll put it here just in case they made another. Oh, I. I love that one. That I, was a uh, fake one, right? I thought Moonraker yeah. was like a star. I'm pretty sure Moonraker's not a real one. All I'm gonna say during my turn is that Goldfinger is number three. Shut the hell up, man. It's my turn, Dad, I can say whatever I choose. Why are you trying to cheat when we're trying That's to- That's not cheating! It is cheating. It's <laughs> not cheating. It's 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 the list of every single movie in order. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Leadfoot, not, I've never heard of this shit, man. It, I'm gonna think it was not before Goldfinger. Not, no, you know, it's, it's not, probably you know, after Goldfinger. It's probably right. Okay, it's just instead. I'm sorry. True. I should be talking. Oh my god, Chucky? <laughs> there was a Chucky loft that was terrifying. <laughs> Ryan, you can Mama. talk like it. Don't. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I, I think that, I think you're right. I shouldn't have said it. Yeah, oh, you shouldn't have no, said it. Dude. <laughs> I don't know if this is real or not. It sounds real. I think it was probably before Goldfinger. <laughs> They're putting Goldfinger down was like every... the '90s, right? <laughs> putting like down every single <laughs> movie. <laughs> okay. Right. Mr. Thank, Bullets. Thank you. So <laughs> thank you, game. Oh, that's a, that's a Justin PUBG I name. I would watch though. James Bond if they renamed it to fucking Mr. Bullets. <laughs> that is a Justin PUBG name for sure, yeah. Oh, okay, I, you guys I have the... that instantly. Okay, this is kind of new. You guys have the first three. No, there's no early ones like from here, Dr. No. Right? I hope. We can't answer. I'm rhetorical. Mm. That's the that, game. Uh, that's that's that is the game. That's a it's video. Not real. Game. I think Wait, you guys isn't that are actually the good. game? No, it's both, a movie too. It's both. I'm pretty is sure. The movie. The movie, the movie, the game? The movie <laughs> came out before the game. <laughs> Octo Shmushi. It's easy enough for a man. I, why can't it give me Octo Shmushi? <laughs> we didn't do that bad. We didn't do that bad. Lord, man. <laughs> I just want to say No Time to Die is the most recent James Bond movie. It was not what? the second James Bond movie. And then... Some of them are remakes too, though. That makes it kind of hard. Casino Royale Oof. comes out uh, after Die Another Day. That's the... Yeah, otherwise, yeah, yeah. Oh, we didn't do too bad. Real. <laughs> oh, the trash what? fucked us oh. so bad. Oh. You guys are fucking assholes. Yeah, you jerks. No honor. What? That was, uh, the tip. I, I said it. Them. I said it was the third James Bond movie that ever came out. Ju you when Justin, listen, when Justin got his next one, he said, "I think that Goldfinger came out in the '90s." So obviously, <laughs> my feedback was it fell on deaf ears to begin with. I don't know when they started making those, dude. <laughs> she came out like 1964 or something like that. Still <laughs> cheated. I've lost respect for you as a person. Okay, I'll, 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 you know what? I guess fine. Terrible Bond name. I guess I'll never. I guess. I'll never talk again. I'll never talk again. I guess I'll never say another word ever again. <laughs> mystery, mystery. Oh yeah, that's a good question. Oh, okay. Is this how old the character is, or when they were first published? First, first appearance. appearance. It says oh, first. first appearance. Oh, it's, oh yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> that would be. That, that would, would clear be. it up real quickly, wouldn't it? Yeah. No yeah, helping. We shouldn't have said anything. No helping. That's helping. Yeah. Dude, so many uh, women. That's I like. Awesome. I I endorse. <laughs> I endorse oh, women. <laughs> cool. Wow. This game is the best cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing and clapping.
Batman hates women. Did you hear what he doesn't do? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that part of the comic? Isn't it is that canon, canon, canon that he doesn't eat pussy? I thought he, he doesn't did eat pussy. I, I don't know. Oh, maybe, maybe he loves. Hope no one's mad. I can't remember. No, I thought he ate pussy and then people were mad at him about it. I thought he didn't eat pussy and that's why everyone's mad yeah. at him. Yeah. Are you Jesus. fucking kidding he me with this? No, kid? he doesn't. Yeah. I'm insanely good at this game. Uh, Ryan's got every single one correct, man. You guys, I don't. I don't know if I feel great about this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. He was the first one okay. I ever How heard How do you about. not think Batman is this real? Fuck. Apparently, Ironheart not garbage. Uh, Why does it have a bite taken out of it? Because I threw it in garbage. garbage. <laughs> oh. George, George Costanza saw it on top of the trash and took a bite. I mean, I'll say I think Obviously, he's doing a remarkably better job than last time. <sighs> well, this one's yeah, tough. Um, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, oh, so many, so many women again. I'm gonna go ahead and say like here. Oh no! So apparently, Ironheart is Iron Man's prodigy. Yeah, some of you haven't played Marvel Snap. <laughs> <laughs> You're correct. That is true. <clears throat> Let's okay. go. Good start. Go. Hey! hey! Oh, nice. So many okay. people in chat were like, "You don't. You put Black Panther in the wrong spot." I thought it was. I thought it was later. Oh my god! We're crazy. We're crazy. Yeah, cheaters. Okay. Whatever. You guys got so fucking lucky. That's like the easiest topic that you could have been given. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do with French Stewart? <laughs> not trash him. That's for sure. <laughs> He's not French though. He just has French in his name. <laughs> yelling at me about Wolverine cool. chats like Wolverine's cool. old as shit. No, he's from like the '60s yeah, and the '70s, yeah, man. His character is old. His introduction is old. No, that many fuck? people in chat said it as well. Many people chat's my people. <laughs> Oh, must be nice. No disrespect things. to chat, but chat is never right. <laughs> it is <Never>. true. <laughs> <laughs> if this is about Mattress Mac, I'm going to be so upset. Before he settled on water, Charles Hall, the inventor of the waterbed. Oh, this is great. Submit your lies now. Oh. Please, chat, do not. Guy. He didn't make a piss bad. He didn't make a cum bed. <laughs> oh, it was shit then, huh? I'm gonna make my cum bed in my head. Yeah, it was just full of poop. I honestly think if you couldn't smell it, the cum bed would be more comfortable than water. Yeah, imagine if it popped though. Ugh. <laughs> Someone stream. I was just picturing like Steve-O next to the cum bed with like a <laughs> screwdriver and then like poking <laughs> it. <with> it. <laughs> Well, I can already see what the real answer is now because <laughs> is it gelatin or gelatine? Which one do you think? Oh man! I don't know how to spell gelatin now. I, I'm losing my mind. Depends I'm which country he's from. Gonna you know? head, I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb too. Since I'm in last place anyway. I do like the the idea of sand. I Let's hope it's sand. <laughs> no! That's no! No! Oh, oh, did he get it? Who put gelatine? It's Justin. <laughs> Whoever put gelatine oh. deserves the assist on that one. Absolutely, yeah, for yeah. real, hundred percent. Oh wait, there's no e in it. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck you, Jim. <laughs> Oh no, my god, I'm no. so mad! We would have had the same thing, Justin, we if I knew how to Yeah, but nobody would have picked it then, because we wouldn't... Eh, whatever. No, is that the truth? Oh, been... oh my oh. god, what? what is the truth? It's sand, isn't it? I picked is sand. Is it sand? I should have picked it's sand. It's gelatine, bozos! It's <laughs> gelatine! Wow. Oh, sand. Good idea. <laughs> so no one got it? Is it oil? It's jello. Oh, it's jello. Oh, we all got that paid for jello. Yeah. 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 Sorry, jello. Oh, I hate when that shit happens. Actually drunk high. Okay. Oh. Dude, I made it more interesting. You gotta give me that. You That's did. true. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I'm here to lift everyone up.
in 2009, mm. a Florida, Florida man, man filed a lawsuit <laughs> well, this could be anything it's Florida dude yeah blank <clears throat> right your mm -hmm. lies now although I'm pretty sure I know what it is it's weird how they call it a shoe bill because I would not put my foot in that thing true you'd never get it back You've been watching a lot of AI Seinfeld <laughs> lately, huh? <laughs> Have you seen the new bird? <laughs> new, new bird. New, new, bird, new bird. new restaurant opened up in town. I could never <laughs> go. I could never go new to restaurant. the new restaurant. I like restaurants I already know that I like. We got condoms, cocaine, and coconuts. Mm. That was an AI Soundfight reference. Is that, that my voice? <laughs> Dude, this beep, is like beep, beep. This is a tough answer. <clears throat> it, th this game's weird because like you want to like make a joke, but also like you don't want to make a joke because you just want to yeah. trick everyone. You so you just want to say something. Right? That's the magic answer. Yeah, is yeah. Both. Wait, what? <clears throat> no one noticed I uh, grammared wrong on mine. Huh? And still voted for it. Hot air balloon. Try and, yeah. Everyone would just say it's. Uh, everyone would just say I. I suggested it anyway. Or so don't even worry about it. This is cocaine was good. Cocaine. <laughs> My cocaine didn't work. <laughs> Corey's lie. Yummy. Yeah, mm. Are you? Hey! Oh! oh! <laughs> he's Is he's it underwear? OP, dude. He's crazy. It makes sense, man. Hot air balloon. It's yeah, underwear. Yeah. Yay. Is it underwear? Yeah! Oh, what happened? When I voted for underwear, what happened to my vote? I, it's funny, I was going to put underwear before I put swim trunks. Now I want to know what happened to this guy. Shit himself. <laughs> oh, my dick fell out. Shit himself the in the damn underwear. Himself. Oh, my damn dick fell out. <laughs> Holy cow. I'll try this happened. round. I'll try this I round. Five five digits again. Thank you, oh. thank you, thank you. A Florida man has failed to win compensation for a defective pair of underwear. Albert Freed, 62, claims that over a two-week vacation in Hawaii, the fly flap of his briefs rubbed his genitals like sandpaper belts. <laughs> Guys, I grammed it wrong. Dude, hope, the head of I his dick must be so smooth thing. now. <laughs> oh, no. Could you imagine suing for that? Oh, my God. Steve-O would wear the sandpaper underwear. Okay, these are the choices. Ow, ow. <laughs> Asked by a judge why he didn't notice sooner, the 285-pound Freed said he could not see his own genitals, and he didn't ask his wife to look because it might ruin her vacation. Bro, it fucking kills. Sorry, I'm still working on my Steve-O <laughs> impression. That's good. Bro, that's the, pretty all right the Steve fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it, but I don't want to cough. <laughs> I gotta go work on my Steve-O impression. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah, it's respectful. Maybe see you next week. <laughs> see you next week. Should buy some yeah, of those hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you. Oh yeah, dude, 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 dude let's go. The fucking the sandpaper under. My name's Steve-O. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's the sandpaper. Underwear challenge, bro. Hi, I'm Steve-O. This is the Sandpaper Underwear Challenge. Hi, I'm Steve-O. Hi, I'm Steve-O. Hey, this is Steve-O. <laughs> it's, it's getting there. I'm, I'm beating around the bush. Hey, this is Steve. Hey, this is, hey, is Steve-O. This is the Sandpaper Underwear Challenge. It's something. If I fall asleep and wake up, that impression is going to be perfect. Yeah, can I just have like a... Can I just have like a Caesar salad? Hi, I'm Steve-O, and this is the come Caesar salad prank. <laughs> anyway. Uh-oh. <clears throat> there's, there's a bad guy on the other side of this door. He just like saw a, me a open person? the hatch. Yeah, it looked like a person. Okay, let me heal you guys first. Okay. It's, I got my three arrows ready for quick fire. Boom, boom, boom. Don't point that thing at me. 
You want me to open the door? He's Not yet. No, no, no. Let me he heal you. Tried to let shoot. me, let tried me to shoot heal you first. You need to be healed. <laughs> Look at your health. In Stop the moving. Room. Stay still. I got to hit you with the... This isn't Overwatch. You need some skill to, to land your, your abilities. Okay, He's one second. I, it's okay. I got to heal myself, I too. got the three arrows pointed at the door. Okay, I'm going to open the door. He tried to Don't shoot Don't open the door. door. He just wait two seconds. I got a lot of buffs yes. to get... Stay still, you motherfucker. Yes. Okay, now you can open the door. Go ahead. You got this bubble shield on you. Wait, you're not even... Okay. There you go. Did you, it, there you He's go. trying to shoot through the door. You ready? All right, I'm, I'm leaving open line of sight for mouth. I hit him in the neck. Incredible. Nice. Should we rush him? He's, he's left side. Whoa! Oh, he's got a buddy. He's let's, got a buddy. Let's get in there. Watch out. We're out of the circle. I gotta reload. Parts of gotta reload. I'm uh, blind. I'm dead. I died by I, the way. I hit, I run, hit no, him a run, couple run, of run, times. Run, 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 run. The circle. Run where? Circle. The, in, into the circle. Into the circle. Okay. I he can't. He was using like... some like uh, crazy magic. Like like I was disoriented <laughs> and blinded. And he, there's a rogue in there with him, by the way. Yeah, yeah. We saw. We saw. I, I, hit I, got, you, I got you covered, brother. Okay, I, I got thought my we were three... going in. Quick. We, well, we did go in, but then it went, and then oh. it went really badly. Yeah. You're like one step in and then like right back out? This is where a remote explosive would really hit the spot. But you know what? I got, I got other plans. I think it looks a little bit like this. Assassin. Get ready. It's, it's over there somewhere. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. And then... <laughs> when he slips on the banana peel... And then right back into the bush. I'm sorry, sir. This I, I didn't want it to come to this. But it had to be done. Okay, now here he goes. Here he comes. Oh, 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 oh. Go ahead, smoke a cigarette. Go ahead, go ahead. You look like you're part of um, the Lonely Island when they do songs with Justin Timberlake. Turtleneck and chain, right? Yeah, 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 no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I, I wish I could, but this is not the right. I mean, he, he's gonna make a little noise. He's smoking, you piece of shit. Wait, you are the prime suspect. This is easily the worst photograph ever taken. I mean, this is a gimme. Run for your life. He'll walk by. I'm not even... I'm genuinely unconcerned. What I am concerned about is where's the safe? He'll go back. His route is just very long. Hey. There. hey. Need anything? Dude, it's Salt right. Bay. He's on hard times ever since he's been banned from the, the World Cup. Dude, I so easily could have killed him. Dude, it freaking, it freaking sucks. <laughs> so easily could have just killed him in the bathroom. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, Patrick Dempsey, it's your wedding day, Patrick Dempsey, go see your bride, go see your bride, okay, you got more important shit to worry about today, now you, if it wasn't your special day, I'll tell you, you and me would be stepping even more outside than we already are stepping outside, it's just because I was an idiot like you once, that I'm giving you the ability to walk away before you end up needing facial reconstructive surgery, just standing around, he's got a problem with me, who does he think he is? It's illegal to stand now. Apparently it's illegal to stand. Guy thinks he owns the hotel. It makes me sick. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, 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 hello, hello. Dude, you got a twin here, just so you know. Sane is sales associate. Me entering Best Buy just to um, give my daughter the ability to look at some stuff. 17 salesmen descend upon me and try to sell me a 4K TV. 
Hey sir, can we help you with something? Yeah, I'm looking at the picture quality of the TVs I'm eventually going to buy online. Alright, I would say plan one did not succeed here. That's why we took a second Semtex. <laughs> Okay, I'm not worried. My target's escaping, but no, he's not, because he's literally standing right here. He's also Brad Pitt from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Now, I'll just level with you. I'm sure this is an illegal item. I'm just going to put that bad boy away for a second. I'm probably not welcome up here, huh? Blow it up? Blow it up? What happened? I knocked him out? Proximity, wasn't it? How unfortunate. It rather oh. appears that you ran out of luck. <laughs> you knew the drawing board, 47. Well, I'll tell you, my ass is never gonna like set up the perfect kill ever again in my life. My ass is gonna take a silenced weapon into every mission, and then I'm just gonna hide in a bush and go. And then I'm going to run to the exit. That's, that's the way it's going from this point onwards. Has resulted in the Bad luck, 47. Hiding. The point of Hitman is uh, following your target I'm so sure you can ensure that the, you can set up the perfect kill that leaves you free of suspicion. Only in this one, uh, their paths are completely randomized. They'll never go to the same location twice. So don't bother. Just shoot him in the head. Okay. Am I allowed to enter? Well, the least you could do is fucking look at me, security, when I'm trying to come in. Who, how much you... Oh, no, you're not allowed to... I, I was just in there, you fucking idiot! They need to hire a better class of private contractor to do this job. Your ass is looking at your Apple Watch the whole time. I'm starting to think this might be the end of the Hitman arc. Hitman's the most fun I've had watching you since Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns ended like four days ago. <laughs> That's like, no, that, that's none time ago. I just, I don't know what happened. I, I'll take 51% I'll take responsibility. But like when I played the Hitman campaign, it was a different story. All three Hitman campaigns, shit goes right. People are like, oh, oh, waiting, waiting. Shit goes wrong. People are like, ah, look, he's going. It's a lot of fun. Now, it's like when something goes wrong in Freelancer, People are like, well, the problem is that you did. You know what the problem is? It's the damn casino. I've just, I, I had like a revelation. I'm not, the casino privilege is now turned off. Mods, you have, you have my decree. Don't run the casino during Hitman. There you go. Problem solved. Because I feel like when, when you're bad at a game... And people are watching because it's entertaining. They're like, oh, he's bad. Lol, I'm having so much fun. But when they put like imaginary points on the line, they're like, oh, fuck you, I lost my points. It's so annoying. Yeah, cancel the, or not the, it's not even running right now. We're running no casino. We're gonna, we're gonna do positive vibes only. And if you're addicted to gambling, do me a favor, just go lose your money on like DraftKings or something. You're, you're, you're not getting your fix here any longer. You're not stealing my happiness to, to sate your own happiness, okay? I'm done trying to protect you from yourself. I felt like a, like a cold wave rush over my face when I said that. Is that, what, is that what happiness? Is that what pleasure feels like? Hang on. Open this up. There's an exit literally behind me and to the right. Your ass is done, brother. Get off of the cover, Agent 47! Run for your life! Return to the safe house. The hell's going on over there? Bro, he can't make it past the tree! Okay. <laughs> All right, we made it. We made it back. It's immediately... I've, I've never been rewarded for making a decision that's right faster than that. Turned casino off, had the, had the best mission of my life. I feel like we've, we've freed this place from being a, a den of sin. 
It already feels cleaner around here. I'm on my NIMBY arc. Not for housing, but for, for vices. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. These glass doors, they are. I think these two doctors need to go. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> there is, there's definitely a temptation to just throw the knife into the room. I just wish these guys didn't hate me so much. The hell is the bathroom? Do it, do it, do it. Uh, but we got we to gotta have like an escape, um, escape plan. Lady doctor. Can't take your outfit. Damn. I bet you're, you know what? I bet you're right. I bet I could just exit via the helipad if I really booked it. I mean, I think at this point we got to just send it. Though I, though I hate to do it. Run. Okay, we're not gonna do it. <laughs> I didn't think they'd be able to mobilize so quickly. I guess there's some kind of Hokkaido hive mind going on there. No, that one I like. I honestly don't know what I could have done on that one. Instead, that target was just kind of cursed. What's the furthest he's gotten? Squeaks, shut the fuck up. <laughs> It's the same question from every chatter, every 10 seconds. Just put it up on the screen. Not fucking very far. Nowhere. About, the, can you see my mouse pointer? About this far. That's about as far as we've made it. This is a really, really strong team for turn 15. Like, this is... <laughs> I mean, we're not guaranteed to win, but it's looking pretty good. I, I don't think a Cobra's stopping us. You tried. You tried. There's no doubt about that. That was a great start. Mm -mm. I've been laughing thinking about Gen Z names for movies. The follow-up to I Know What You Did Last Summer. It's honestly like so messed up what you did last summer. Okay, like the listen, the joke's getting there. But here's the problem. As a millennial, that's how millennials talked when they were Gen Z's age. Like, if, if you teleported me back to 2004 and someone said, it's honestly, like, so messed up what you did last summer, I would be like, that sounds contemporaneous for what my generation's vernacular is. I, f I feel like um, a Gen Z, I know what you did last summer, would be like... <laughs> I mean, there's no way to... The, 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 you will never sound older than when you try to imitate the younger generation. It would always be like, you know... I say, I'm sus for what you did last summer, for real, no cap. Or my favorite Judd Apatow movie, the 40-year-old the normal guy, Gen Z's title, The Boomer with No Riz. Anyway, we got 10-piece there, pay it out. <laughs> How many wins will we get on this run? I said, The Boomer with No Riz. I'll be like an illegal puppy, like when Johnny Depp and Amber Heard tried to take their dogs into Australia without a permit. My god, we won round one. I mean, I guess the dogs weren't illegal. It was just illegal to have them in Australia. Probably because the dogs love peanut butter so much, they're like, they're not welcome there. This is a callback to earlier. I don't know if we talked too much about the peanut butter stuff at the start, <laughs> at the start of this. When I was 15 and a moron, I thought calling an armored, an armadillo an armored dildo was like the funniest thing ever. You're the same person who was talking about Gen Z movies. So I, for real, that thing that you did last summer was messed up. It's like you're really, you're, you're working through a lot of material right now. <laughs> I support it, you know, you got to bomb a couple of times, I'm sure, before you can really, uh, before you can truly pop off. You got to, yeah, workshop. I'm not, I'm not denying your chance to workshop. So far, so good, man. 
<laughs> Magpie could have saved the gold? For what purpose, Chatter? For what purpose? You could have not spent two gold and then had two extra gold for the next turn. For what? Well, you know what? Now that I think about it, I guess there is... I'm, I'm, let me pull out the whiteboard. You would get a free reroll from the shop next time. Yeah! I never really thought about that. So if we got to two gold and we didn't like what we had, we, instead of re-rolling, you save the two gold and you get the re-roll and then... Yes! Oh, okay, I apologize. Okay, fine, fine, I apologize. <laughs> I didn't get hit. That's amazing. That's crazy. I'm so scared, dude. Please. It's so scuffed. I gotta go, dude. Like one second spent in the circle could probably kill me. That's a person. Okay, I don't I'd rather deal with a potentially nice cleric than whatever the hell's going on the other side of that door. <laughs> All right. I see how it is. He's definitely going off on me. <laughs> oh, man, that was good. Oh. <laughs> we literally can't play this six. Oh! He's trapped down there. I don't know. Why? Dude, probably clean your own mirror. Look at you got this guy coming after you. I did not deserve that. I get it. I scared him. Isn't that Katy Perry? It's a, it's a different song. Animal Collective has one too. That's honestly, I can never choose between the, the Pitbull one and the Animal Collective one. I guess if I push comes to shove, I would probably give it to Animal Collective. Oh, the long way! Goblin going down the ramp the long way. Come this way. You idiot. True strike. <laughs> My true strike. Hops. Oh, dude. Did you see that? That was incredible. Whoa! Did you see that? I'm crazy! I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. Dude, I would kill for a, for a 30 minute uh, ciabatta ride. I could easily do a 30 minute ciabatta and then follow it up with a 30 minute focaccia. My gluten tolerance, I've been building it up for years. What about PETA? I think I need to, let me, let me boot up tape to tape here. I'm sure it's gonna be loud. And I, I have, a, we've only got 55 minutes cause then we're meeting Malf and Corey for some dark and darker. So I, I should get it started here. I think I need to, it's been too long since I've had good PETA. Now I, I, I don't wanna cause any problems for local businesses in Vancouver. All I'll say is there is a, um, like a, a Mediterranean slash Lebanese local chain restaurant in Vancouver. And uh, it's, you know, they got like three or four locations or something like that. Food is half decent, but I always get annoyed because I'm pretty sure they just use like Kirkland Signature Pita. Like it, it, the, the meal, you know, you get some 
uh, falafel or something like that. You get some Cuba Day, and then it uh, it just comes with like Kirkland Signature Pita. It drives me crazy. Why aren't you making your own pita? I think there's a... Excuse me? Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why isn't there good pita? Where's the word? We're supposed to live in a world-class city. Where's the good pita? They love it. Tennessee! Arkansas! Oklahoma! Minnesota! Minus two? What the hell? That was... It, it, we're never going to get a moment like that ever again. I, dude, I was dropping non-stop bangers in Kate's chat yesterday during Nintendo Direct, and nobody was laughing at all. Like, here's my impression of Nintendo Direct. It's always like... Play as a character named Billy Billy and use up to six unique weapons to save the kingdom of Latria from the villainous sorcerer Gru. Utilize combat as well as mysterious artifacts in order to accomplish your quest. Coming this fall, Kingdom of Latria, Vows of the Virtueless. Use up to four unique weapons to delve through the dungeons of Myrrh. Fight the Forspoken Wizard, and maybe just grow some crops along the way. Also, every Nintendo Direct where- oh, listen, okay, slash marker. <laughs> Sorry, tape to tape. Every- every time they announce new games for the- the Virtual Console 2, it's always like, Metroid 2, The Rise of Samus. The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, Super Mario Land 2, and the Six Golden Coins. And for the first time in North America, Billy's Sword. Billy's Sword, play as Billy. A, a young boy who gets trapped in Dreamland and has to match three cookies together in order to defeat the evil alien Grimbo. That's not funny. A lot of people died in that war. A lot of Billy's died in that war, Walter. A lot of good men. Hey, bucks. <laughs> so there's a man down here. Are you guys friendly? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. here he comes. We did the, we did the crouch. We did the wait, crouch. But shouldn't we kill him anyways? Wait, wait. Gain his trust first? Is it just one guy? Okay, now go yeah, off. It's just the I did a ton of damage to him. Oh, you attacked him? <laughs> what the heck? He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think a portal Let's spawned go. in the boss room. <laughs> Dude. I hear something behind you, Ryan. The spider. Oh, I, I think oh, it's yeah. Corey. Oh, uh, yeah, also me. Love running Whoa, up on there's a guy him. right here, right here. Friendly. That was oh, so good. That's so funny. Oh, oh, there's another guy on the other side yeah, of the yeah. store? He said he comes in peace. Oh my god. Okay. I think he means he comes in pieces. Oh, uh, I'm going to take my weapon away, and then I'm going to cast on him in three, two, one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> he just said, oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> green spell book and green, uh, oh, green dude, crystal sword on I, it. I would take the green spell book for sure. Oh. Listen, if, if I walk in on a room and there's just a bunch oh. of dead bodies, I don't know if I trust the man who's telling me to like... Mm. That is friendly, true. You know? That's a good point. Now you. No hat. You tripped. Oh, dude, you tripped. That's how I feel like whenever I stumble in public. I feel like everybody that sees it is like, oh, my God, he fucking tripped. Did you see that? Lol, he didn't raise his foot quite high enough to get over the sidewalk. And his, the, the toe of his shoe kind of brushed up against the sidewalk. Oh, man, what an idiot. I tripped up the stairs on my first day of high school. Did you transfer? That's hard to recover from.
First day in ninth grade, you got turquoise braces and uh, your, your best Hurley long sleeve shirt on with your best Hurley short sleeve shirt on top of it. Jinko jeans with a chain wallet. You go you try to go up the first the first step, you trip and fall up the stairs. You might as well just I had to hold R on that one. I say go we go again. We go again. Short sleeve over long sleeve is so funny. Dude, I, that's what I wore probably like two out of five days to school in, in 12th grade. I still think it kind of looks fucking sweet, dude. I think it's coming back. Source, I have no eye for fashion whatsoever. That's my source. It looks like absolute shit. Wrong. It looks like the shit. And this is how you know I'm, I'm being serious. Give me a scalpel. I will always walk one door down for the scalpel. Are you taking the... Oh, you're right. I need to dump the Okinawan tonfu. You don't need to be here. What about three doors down? I would only walk three doors down to escape the sound of my roommates listening to three doors down. They call them three doors down because if you ever hear their music, you move three doors down to get away from the awful sound. They call it three doors down because three doors down from your apartment is the garbage chute. They call it three doors down because I would knock down three doors in order to escape from a live performance that they were performing at. They call it three doors down because even though the doors are missing three members, they're still better than three doors down. Just check out here. Let's see. 47, 47 kilos. That doesn't seem right. You're telling me that Agent 40, oh, because he's Agent 47. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> Oh, you guys are in a world oh, of hurt. No. What, what does this mean? mean? Benifer is Jen, uh, Jennifer Lopez oh and Ben Affleck's relationship. God. Yes, what? but what does it mean? Like, what is the history oh, of the oh, world? Oh, oh. I'll be fine. Is it from it's old okay. Benifer or or present Benifer? What does that mean? <laughs> what, that mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are we deciding? Earth was oh, the history of the world <laughs> and Benifer. So when this did this is, happen? Oh, okay. <laughs> we got warm recently, well, I, man. Oh, it's the other day. Give you historical things and then also a benefit. But isn't that doesn't that happen all the time? Yeah, every day the temperature Certainly. changes every day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, this so you got an easy one, man. Is it? That's pretty recent. I know when that happens. I know, but I don't if know, I know when that happens. Not, you should know. know Corey, are you fucking to. crazy? It's just the thing that I happened. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh. god. Did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, guys. No, 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 no. Oh, there's, there's, there's garbage. There's garbage. Yeah, that's, that's a layup. You're basically just putting the events in chronological order. Yeah, that's all you're doing. We got room. When did the house? <laughs> <work? laughs> okay. Uh, uh, circle. I fucking love this. Is that <laughs> here? I think it is probably before the market collapse. What are you doing? Sorry, what's wrong Why with you? Stop it! Stop it! For what's worth, I feel like that was a pretty good spot. And then that's way back here, right? Of course, because mm. that's the very first thing that happened in that relationship. Yep, right before yeah, they met. Yeah, the first right. fucking thing. Um, right after they met. Um, right after they met. Um, um, the oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, oh, so that must have been... Benifer. That's gotta be right before Ben yeah. Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> first engagement. I'm sorry, I don't mean to help. <laughs> oh, I'm clicking the wrong way! Ooh, ooh. Oh! Oh, my oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Wait, that makes sense. That makes sense. Ben There's a shotgun wedding from the block video. Did that happen? <laughs> it's got to be after they meet. This was no. heavily beneficial. It all happened at the same time. It was within like three days. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is game 
giggling. Oh, oh my god. god. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Gonna remind you Why you are they just stacking stuff on top? You yeah, some of the stuff trash. isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this one's no, real. This one's real. What are you doing? I don't think oh you can put God, it in the trash. Shit. I don't think you can put it in the trash there. Notre Dame's gonna block no. me. Can you go right anymore? <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. Well, it's gotta be after that. Oh, it's not definitely after Giggly, huh? This is the worst performance I've ever seen <laughs> by far. Shit. How many are there, dude? I don't. Oh my god! <laughs> they broke up and got back together in Vegas. Oh. After they bought Microsoft, of course. This is the worst have, prompt I've ever It's seen. just, in what order do these events take place? Who knows about Benefer? It doesn't have anything to do with Benefer! The what only ones that do with Benever is like Benever meets, Benifer gets engaged, gets married, breaks up. It has almost everything to do with Benever. Oh, look at you guys get this streak. Man, they broke up in 2004? Hey! Wait, what? What the happened? happened? They, they did, hey. wait. They got remarried? Yes, recently. They're back together. Which is why this shit is fucking confusing. What no, the it's fuck? I feel like if we were allowed to cheat, this would have been easy. <laughs> Fair point. I know also, I love also, Ben was a delete. The, the, the world warming by one degree Celsius, what fucking scale of the universe are we talking about here? <laughs> True. Invented first to invented no, last. That could be fun. I can, I can, that could I can be okay. That. that could be all right. I, if it's light bulbs, I've got it. Yeah? <laughs> it's invented. just a series of light bulbs. Remember, they said light bulbs first, uh, LEDs last. This is true. That's true. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, that was like, like 1995 or something. <laughs> I'm I'm more concerned now. I'm more concerned. Okay, I'll, I'll do it like here, so we have room. I've learned we always run out of room. I'll put it we like do, right here. We do be running out of room. Oh, Holy shit! Oh, where is the light bulb? Oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, yeah. oh. How did that happen? Oh shit. Uh is this real? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Don't laugh. You might have I, I think it's it. before the airplane, but I didn't have time. <laughs> Guys, I put penicillin in the wrong spot. I'm aware of this. Oh, you get to fix it though, don't you? So it's no problem. Modern windmill. <laughs> Modern? <laughs> That sounds pretty, <laughs> it's pretty modern. Yeah, so it should go to the right. You guys ever notice Dude, how this no is room. like just a flipped version of the Benefer sort? Yeah. 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 Well, we don't give ourselves enough room. Yeah, so over well, I thought, the I, thought, I thought, you know, like, oh, what, what scale are they talking about here? Is it going to be like iPhone? Or is it going to be like, yeah, stone? <laughs> oh, microwave. That's pretty new. Newer than penicillin. Uh, yeah, it seems fine. All right, we don't have many more, right? So. <laughs> oh. Hey! Wow! Wait, 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 I got right. bozos. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else needs a higher education because I'm already a genius. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, are you doing? <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay. So we have room. Are what you are you talking that? about? <laughs> what? <laughs> you have less room than if you moved it. No, I don't. Uh, we wait, might get okay. <laughs> and the this iPhone might, might come around one? this time. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna add the iPhone this time. I guess, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, this is okay. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> worry about your worry about yourself. I I am a little worried, but no. what are you? Modern doing? windmill. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it says man. modern on it. <laughs> I am just gonna. No, I don't want to block us. I don't oh, know where the yeah, fucking order we put it in before. Yeah. We're in a rough shit, just like from a, a, a geometrical <laughs> standpoint. Yes, we're in rough yes. fucking shit. Dude. Yes. Oh, I God. think this, this is, is fine. This has gotta be like first, right? Fuck. I'm just gonna yeah. say the light bulb was before the camera. 
<laughs> yes, I don't know why we keep putting a light bulb off to the camera. Bro, it's the same order. It's yeah. the same <laughs> order, <laughs> man. It might be the same order. <laughs> oh, I think it's the I same damn order. order. It is, I think, the know. exact same order. <laughs> I think there might be one change. Oh, at least you guys gave yourself room. <laughs> yeah, oh, certainly man. took care of that. Oh, shit. What the hell? The light bulb was off uh, to the- Excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Can I get some fucking uh, uh, apologies, yeah, you please? You were right, you were right. <laughs> see for so long. Why would you want to not see and then, like, take photos of that? Surely you'd want to see the world first. <laughs> well, one one required electricity and the other one didn't. Yeah, how'd they make the flash? How the fuck do you have a camera without electricity? A pinhole used, camera, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> the light, the sun. The sun. sun? <laughs> the sun? Oh, they were just looking through holes. Powder. I forgot about that. They were blowing oh, people up to take man. photos. They were, of they were blowing people up. <laughs> okay. I have a confession. I'm not gonna add confidence because I'm worried. Yeah. I'm scared. What's your confession, Ghibli? I got the same prompt and I thought it said pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in mind. Oh no. <laughs> Keep that in mind. I think we can still play. I think oh, as long as you tell us that it's man. What's correct? Come on, come on, give it to me. No, oh, that's good. Cool. Yeah. Oh, well played, wow. well played. I did not lock in my confidence on this. Me neither. Yeah, yeah, I should have I need my points. Oh, sorry, I don't know what bagpipes look like. <laughs> It's a bag with like pipes on it. Same oh, I just did the. I thought you said it was pizza. Um. Oh, that's oh cool. my <laughs> god. <laughs> what the. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Rice almighty. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no <laughs> fucking clue. That's incredible. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's god on. I have no fucking clue. You have in confidence? Are you fucking stupid? I gotta make a move! <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a cape. Holy it's hell. so good. No, yeah! okay. Yeah! Oh, I just, oh, I just don't <laughs> know what I'm looking <laughs> at. Oh, God. What the fuck? So good. Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> God, you got a boring question, too. <clears throat> that is true. You're right, it would be pretty boring if a wizard showed up out of nowhere and <laughs> yeah. gave me $300. <laughs> like, that day, like that was the whole thing. <laughs> like you sure you can't like you know do some like magic tricks or something first? You just that's it. I was thinking like, like if I they if, types the correct thing, which is so funny. I guess if they you wouldn't want to be like he gives you a million dollars or you would be Too like close to the truth. everyone would write house. I'm sure. Oh fuck me! I got the same thing. Too close to the truth. <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> that's how you know I yeah, told we, the truth. Yeah. We all know it. <laughs> what if I write something completely different from what the actual truth was? Choices. Ah, well, I believe I know the answer. New shelves, a sensible shirt and slacks, a blue fighter's falchion, baby stoof, <laughs> bonds, stocks, a new bike. Can't afford a new bike with $300. You know what kind of bike this dude rides? It's true. You can get something from like Canadian Tire, maybe. Like a toddler bike from Canadian Tire. Three hundred dollars for a sensible shirt and slacks, dude. That's that's pretty nice. That's pretty sensible. It's pretty, very sensible. Fancy shirt and slacks. I mean, yeah, honestly, that's not three hundred dollars. Let's see what you picked. They said it must be spent sooner or disappeared. We all got it. You guys all got it, huh? <laughs> that's literally what I typed. <laughs> yeah, it's also yeah. what I typed. It's free money. <laughs> I thought he would have written more specific, like something like. Well, okay, Whatever so like shitty always recommend. At first, I was gonna be like, oh "Yeah." My God. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> at first I was gonna write like an ETF, but then I was like, "Someone will be like, like a chib would be like, escape from Farkov," and then everyone would laugh and it would steal some of the attention from me. So I, <laughs> what, the fuck? what kind of question? What, the fuck is this? what kind of question did you get? No, it, it just said a uh, lie. Write a lie on your resume. Hmm. That is either a lie or un entirely not true. Ken spell God, millennial influencer, 
I am qualified for this job. Any and all work experience, everything. He doesn't know what he's doing. Employable human. Well, guys. Jesus Christ, Chimley. I'm so sorry. I don't think... I think I might. I don't. I'm oh, no. leaving after this. Maybe I don't know if <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see you guys actually. friends anymore. Well, hey, I, I, I really, he doesn't know what he's doing. So that's a false. Okay, means you do know what you're. It's doing. true. It's fair. Uh, you guys could have just said I was balding, and I would have taken that way. <laughs> oh, no, now we have to put our. Names oh, you're on. right. We should have written something like has a lot of oh, okay. hair. Yes, that I was an enjoyable <laughs> human. <laughs> I spelled millennial wrong on purpose. Justin, thank you. That was nice. I'm not a millennial. Thank you very much. Can't spell God. Yeah, this isn't that mean. That's why it's a lie. No, but it's supposed to be can spell good. Oh, you know, fuck you, Justin. Justin. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, who wrote this one? You're a piece of shit, Ryan. <laughs> fuck you. Well, what oh, is I guess it, it's everything? a falsehood, so. Yeah. This is mine. Uh, yeah, so far off. <laughs> so I guess I was a part of myself. Yeah. Being shit. Well, wow, I did horrible. <laughs> Corey. Corey. Hey, he's done it. Ghibli! <laughs> Every time. I don't care. It's not even worth it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I had a job once. I polished fucking cans of beans, by the way, if you wanted to we know. Polished Wait, cans what? of beans? <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay. I worked at a corner store and he made me call polish cans of beans. <laughs> so they looked good on the shelf. Were there no labels they on, on the them? shelf? Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, there was. I polished the top and the bottom. It's like some shit out of Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> I think it shaped me as a person. Um, somebody's already escaped, and it's not me. Uh, do the portals appear like close to the center of the circle? Any any part of the circle, I think they can appear, and it gets like increasingly frequent as the circle closes. I think you're doing great. I don't I don't want to go into this room at all. And at the end of this room, there's these pressure plates. How do I get past these? You could press three to put a torch out, and then right click to throw the torch onto the trap. And then when it goes down, you can quickly move over it. Like, oh. not like now, oh, though, right? No. I messed it up. <laughs> it's okay. You can, you can pick up your torch and do it again. How do I, how do I time it, so, like, with both, though? He's cracked. I gotta do both. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Nice try, nice oh, try. Oh, man, that was good. Damn it. Damn it all. It was a very inspired decision by the, the devs to um, have, like, the camera just follow your lifeless corpse when you die. It's like you're still seeing out of your eyes while you're dying. How can we see out of our eyes if they don't exist? He's right. Yeah, when Jayden your eyes Smith. are dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You ever th This is a little macabre, so I apologize. But do you ever think, like... Like, when you, if you got your head chopped off, like, you would still perceive things around you for, like, a few seconds, right? Yeah. Because it would take, like, a second or two for the blood and the oxygen to leave your brain. Wouldn't you be like, Man. that's got to feel bad, right? You're probably like, oh, crap, my damn head, my damn head got cut off. What if you walked in, okay, you walk into a, uh... You walk into a haunted house and uh, and uh, Friday by um, what's the the singer that sings that again? Re Rebecca, Rebecca Black. Something? Rebecca Black. Rebecca yeah, Black. Yeah. Friday by Rebecca Black is is playing really loud, and then suddenly something chops your head off, mm -hmm. and you realize as your head is rolling on the uh, floor, you get that perspective, like like you said, split second, you can still kind of see stuff like before you die. Yeah. Okay. So your your last feeling is your head. Weirdly rolling on the floor and and that song and then Friday you Friday yeah. gotta roll on the ground on Friday <laughs> yeah and then oh man then Boy, Kevin the Klein worst. shines uh, a light through your eyes which allows him to see your last image and it's Rebecca Black's Friday on YouTube Ow! oh man Ay, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Are 
<laughs> me when I take a diarrhea dart straight to the between the shoulder blades. Aye, mama. Sorry to you as well. You had a big dookie. You used too small a slice. Now my stomach is absolutely fucked. He's got the, the darts sticking right out of him, man. Huh? I mean, I would have just gone to the one that's like... I'm not allowed to come up here, man. This is so fucked up. What is this? I'm not allowed into the party? Why? Just because I'm the one actually doing the hard work here? Take your time. See, he must have gone it. That's that's him right there. I can tell from the way he's clutching his abdomen. I've I've been known to use the same stance myself. Is it like he is he been forced to use the bathroom that's like the farthest possible bathroom away? Oh, you piece of crap. This is not sanitary, dude. It is a great opportunity for a push kill. It's kind of like everyone can see it, but nobody can see it. <laughs> okay, now I don't know about no bodies found. That guy's throwing up too. <laughs> this is fucking gross down here, dude. It's, it's, it's fucking disgusting down here, dude. What the hell? What makes you a criminal in Night City? Macaque. <laughs> I don't know. Like, the, the unholy parodies in my head are getting too vile. Like, it was a. Mommy doesn't know that he's getting hot at the hobby shop watching Dragon Ball Broly. Like, there's actually some degree of um, humor and wholesomeness to that. During Dark and Darker. My head was just going, Mommy doesn't know Malfi's getting, Malfi's sucking cock at the penis shop. And I needed to figure out what the last line would be. I hadn't, I hadn't even figured out the last line yet. I only got the first two lines and it's, it's nothing. It's not gold, Jerry. It's not gold. <laughs> People love it, though. People are going crazy for it. Holy. He's turning around. Give him another one. My scalpel. Look out for my next single. It's called My Scalpel. Hey, who's there? My scalpel makes all the pretty girls want to dance and take off their under... Can you say that in the modern... It's If I'm quoting Eminem, can I say it? <laughs> Nothing untowards about taking off your underpants. I do it every day to go to the bathroom. Or to change my underwear. You change your underwear? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. A lot of people these days don't. But you know what? I'm more of a, I, I would say I, I live my life like a tr more traditional man. Reminds me of my favorite um, Twitter account. It's called Stoic Menelaus. Um, It's basically a 17-year-old kid that lives in the Midwest, and his avatar is a, a, a marble statue of um, Marcus Aurelius. And all of his posts are about um, eating milk made from uh, human breast milk. Or so eating ice cream made from human breast milk, sorry. You've been playing Pokemon Go? I have. I'm annoyed I have not caught a shiny in what feels like months. Also, nobody on my Pokemon Go friends list still plays, except for people that are psychotic. So the current, like, research objective, I gotta send 25 friends gifts. Only three of my friends still play Pokemon Go, and they all do the narcissist tactic, where they only send you gifts, they never open yours. Why would someone do that? Don't they want the Pokeballs? It's not about the Pokeballs, okay? It's because experience in Pokemon Go is, like, the most precious quality you could ever get and the only you you get a huge burst of it when you hit best friends with people so they get you all the way to like you almost you're one gift away from being best friends then they pop a lucky egg and then they open the gift so that they get to choose when the friendship experience pops and they get du double the xp 
I'm getting, I got like four people right now stringing me along like that. There's no respect. This shit makes me want to throw up. So true. My, my strand with Pokemon Go is I'm like, oh, I'm going on a 45 minute, 60 minute, 90 minute walk or something like that. I will play Pokemon Go while I walk. Whatever they give me, I take. As soon as I start to think about like, oh, I should min-max it, then I'm like, mm, that's, you gotta turn the phone off for a minute. Put on Amazon Music instead. I did, I, hey, for the third time ever since the release of Daily Incense, I had the opportunity to catch the Galarian Moltres. It popped up, I said, <laughs> like I was one-tapped in, in Overwatch. I, this is not my first Rodeo, okay? I stopped moving. I wanted to make sure I had 100% focus. I used a Golden Raspberry. I used an Ultra Ball. Great throw. He popped out, flew away. I knew, I knew it. As soon as he popped out, I was like, he's flying away. Yeah, no. They, I mean, they have like a, such a low catch rate. It's like once every two months, I get the opportunity to, to get a, uh, a Galarian special bird, but I've not managed to catch one yet, unfortunately. Hello and happy uh, St. Valentine's Day to the gamers. It's a landmark day today. For the first time in two months, I have added a new tag to the stream. It is now Bald Peloton Groceries and... I don't want to put the flex on them a little bit. But I got to say Costco Executive Member. That's true. I know. I know. I'm probably this sort of guy when I walk into Costco, you, you look me up and down and you say, this guy's probably a Gold Star member at $60 a year. No, 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 no. We sprung for the executive membership this year. Ooh, baby. You know what that gets you? 2% um, cash back on all purchases at Costco, which is pretty good to begin with. It also gets you a subscription to um, the bi-monthly publication Costco Connect, which is a magazine exclusively consisting of advertisements about things that you could get at Costco. But then it also has like a occasion, it'll be, it'll be like 30 pages of ads and then an article about like how to manage your mental health and stuff like that, which I, I read the whole thing cover to cover. I got, catch my ass reading Costco Connect, learning about how to manage burnout at work, and also like, hey, geez, $5,500 hot tub. I got no place to put it, but at the same time, it's $500 off. I'd be stupid not to buy it, honestly. I, I literally, when I was in the Costco, and I was getting 30 pouches of BioSteel hydration powder, and I was getting... My, my baby loved croissants. I said, let's get some croissants. You imagine, you, you know how, what, it, what it felt like? I have to imagine. You ever hear the anecdote? This is going to be a little spicy, I'm sure. You ever hear the anecdote of Mikhail Gorbachev going to the United States of America in the 1980s? And uh, they took him to like a Wegmans or something to see all the food. And he was like, okay, guys. I get that you got, you made like a special grocery store full of all this food so that you would like impress me, but show me your real grocery store. Show me where the real people shop. And they were like, Gorbachev, this is just a Wegmans, man. There's like another grocery store just across the parking lot that looks exactly the same. And then he like broke down in tears and that's, that's when he started Perestroika. And, and you know, the Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall, etc., etc. That's how I felt when my ass was paying $7 for like 300 grams of hummus at my local grocery store. And then I, I look at um, Costco and I'm like, oh my God, the hummus here is only $5.99. It's a dollar cheaper. And then I pick up the hummus and it's fucking two hummuses, dude. It's twice as much hummus for a dollar less. That's, I wanna cry thinking about all the, all the money I've thrown away buying hummus over the past six months when I could have been buying the hummus at Costco and getting 2% cash back. Man, what did I get at Costco though? Whew. Whew. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Oh. Big box of croissants. Two hummuses. Three pack of rosemary ham deli meat. 30 satchels of uh, bio steel hydration powder. 1.34 kilograms peanut butter pretzels. Eight pairs of socks. For $14.99 Canadian, I didn't know it was possible to, to manufacture and sell socks at, at this price. It's I'm, I'm I'm living the dream, man. Like a pound of beef jerky. I don't I, I was I was starting to think about it. This still, don't say thank you, thank you, child labor. I don't know. Bro, it's Kirkland's signature. They probably they probably got like senior citizens making $33 an hour making those socks. Probably, probably, if I had to guess. Why is Costco executive member in the tags? I, I If you weren't here for the start of the stream, you might be wondering why Costco executive member is one of the tags. It's because yesterday I got a Costco executive membership. Oh, baby. I'm not going to go through the whole song and dance of where we talked about it at the start of the stream today. Suffice to say, I'm very happy. I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> Welcome to the club. What a great store. You know what, too? When we bought the membership, the lady, she basically welcomed us with open arms. She handed us a, a pamphlet and was like, look at all this stuff that you can get at Costco. And I thought it was just going to be like, you know, Kirkland Signature long sleeve or three-quarter length shirts or something like that. Three-quarter zip-ups, right? You know what she's, she told us? She said you can get term life insurance here. You, you can actually get home insurance at Costco. I, we were walking around the store. I got an optometrist appointment in uh, like three weeks or something like that. I'm not buying glasses at the optometrist. My ass is taking the prescription that they give me. I'm running it down to Kirkland. I'm getting some Kirkland Signature glasses. Hopefully, it's been almost two years of these glasses where the frames are so big, it looks like I don't have eyebrows. I hope you're ready for me to get my eyebrows back. I'll be unstoppable. They got a, they got a pharmacy in there. You can buy vacations from Costco and with the executive membership, 2% <laughs> cash back up to a maximum of $1,000 a year, but still, but still... I, mean, I don't think we're spending 50 grand a year at Costco to hit that limit to begin with. That would be, I don't know, we'd probably have to they'd have an intervention or something like that. Also, when I was reading the Costco magazine, there was a, I swear to God, there was a helmet in there that shoots lasers at your scalp to reverse male pattern baldness. Now, I don't know if it works, but the inventor did apparently win a Hollywood Beauty Award. And that's got to count for something, right? <laughs> I should give it a try. I think it's probably good to wear a helmet that shoots lasers at your scalp. It seems like... Uh, in the interview, he, he said, the only people who shouldn't use it are people with skin cancer and pregnant women. And I was like, that sounds like... It sounds safe to me. <laughs> if you are pregnant, please do not wear the laser helmet. Did you eat any free samples? I did, but it wasn't a great free sample. Like, I felt bad for the lady doing it because she she just had, like, a, a huge bag of crushed walnuts and she was putting them into those little, like, cupcake holders. I went over, I grabbed some walnuts, but, like, it, it felt like I was stealing a little bit because I already know what walnuts taste like. It's not like I needed the ramekin to, to you know, jog my memory. I was basically just stealing food. And I said thank you to her as if like, I even, uh, and this is true, I like pantomimed as I like, I took one bite of the walnut while I was standing at the free sample, like pulpit. And I was like, mm. and then I walked away with the rest and I'm like, why did I do that? She knows that I know what walnut, it's not, it's not like they got a new recipe, but it's like, that was the only free sample, um, dais that was actually like accessible because whenever they they're pulling shit out of like a toaster oven or an air fryer it gets swarmed man it's like the last uh tickle me elmo christmas eve 1998 like 
It's always like a little pizza bite or something like that. Hey, we got everything bagel pita chips. The whole thing is like, there's a 30 minute lineup. It's like the walnuts were the only thing that we, I could actually like fight my way up to the front. Were the walnuts roasted? Nah, man. Not at all. Completely raw. I mean, they were fine. I don't know what you want me to say. They're just walnuts. There was no... That's why it was such a, a farce to begin with. Did you see the husband of Ann and his wife in the Costco? I didn't. And I, I'm loath to say this. Because who knows if maybe this will be me someday. But I was literally like at... It felt like being at a carnival to be at Costco. I was like, holy shit. Five, five pack of Smart Sweets? A bag that consists of 35 bags of veggie straws? Like, this is amazing. This is quite a, a flat screen TV? Antibiotics? Like, I can get anything here. But everybody in the Costco was looking so sad and stressed out. They were all like, ugh, ugh. Like, I, I, I just can't imagine not having a smile on your face when you're in Costco. If you're going to have a smile on your face when you're in any store, it should be Costco. It's like an adult theme park. Just wait two more visits. Well, here's, I guess it, I should say, like, this is my first visit in a while, so there's definitely, like, some novelty. But it was fucking busy last night. It was busy. It wears off. Honestly, I don't think it's going to wear off for me. Like, I respect you. I think you're probably telling your truth. I just think if I was there, it wouldn't go down like that. I think I'll always be happy to be in Costco. At least, it, it, let me put it this way. It won't be Costco's fault if I'm not happy. It'll be like something else will be going on in my day. And then I'll just happen to be at Costco while I'm like pre-tilted from something else. And then I'll be at Costco like with a scowl or something like that. But, but certainly on, on its own merits, I don't think so. I, th I think I'm, I'm so pro Costco right now, I can't even fathom it. Can I tell you, I had like one of the most embarrassing moments of my life yesterday. Sorry to get local pilled again, but anyone who lives in Vancouver, I will destroy egg. Okay. <laughs> uh, when? <laughs> anyone who lives in Vancouver or the surrounding area will tell you it was very windy yesterday. It was like extremely windy. I was walking home from my doctor's appointment um, and wait, I came to a four-way stop. A truck got to the stop before me as a pedestrian got to a stop. So I was going to wait for the truck, okay? But then a person walking the other way across the truck, they took their impetus. So I said, okay, I'm going to consolidate the, the walking so everybody can move efficiently. And I'm going to jog so that we both pass through the intersection at the same time and the traffic is not doubly impeded. As I jogged, I waved to the truck driver as if to say, I understand that I'm kind of, I'm stepping in front of your right of way and I appreciate that you're not killing me. As I did this, an enormous gust of wind blew and blew my hat off of my head, revealing my, my chrome dome for one. So I'm already embarrassed. And then my hat went like skittering across the asphalt. And then I had to run back across the road and go pick up the hat and put it back on. And I, the whole time I was holding out my hand to the truck driver, like, please stop, don't kill me. I know you're lo probably looking at your cell phone right now because you think you got the right of way, but I, my hat fell down and I need to go get it back. And then I picked it up and put it back on my head. And then I waved to the truck driver again as if to say thank you for not killing me. It was a three wave in like five second situation. It's very embarrassing for me as a man who is a approaching middle age. You'd think that this stuff would eventually stop happening in your life. But I'm here to tell you it doesn't really. And then... What do you got for me on the stock market? Ooh, oh, a mere uh, one-ninth of my net worth increase. A mere 12.25% of my net worth increase. I don't even get out of bed for that. That's how people were actually talking. Well, I would say around January 2021. Pretty good day on the stock market. I uh, increased my net worth by uh, a factor of a fifth. 
where are they now? Concierge at the Four Seasons on the Cayman Islands, probably. You know what would be cool? What about a, a farmer's market, but they sell stocks? You think that could... This is the kind of shit they probably throw out on, like, Thursday afternoon in the SNL writer's room. They're like, we gotta fill 18 more minutes. What about a... <laughs> What if they made a farmer's market for stocks? Mission payout of 4100. Oh, it is really tempting, but discipline. I should have checked the supplier, but I'm like, once I got you know, it, it's like Robert De Niro in Heat, you know? You never get so attached to something that you can't leave in 30 seconds when you feel the heat on your back. It's like Robert De Niro says, it's, it's like Al Pacino says in Heat, because she's got a great ass and your head was all the way up it. You can come in my house, you can sit on my sofa, you can frick my wife, you can eat my Oberto, Jack Link's teriyaki beef jerky, you can drink my sparkling waters, but you do not get to use my frickin' Netflix account on my home network! You do not get to set your condo to be my Netflix account's home network! So I'm still trying to figure it out. You think there's a, you know how they have a modern Seinfeld account? You think they could have a modern Heat account? Good work back there. The syndicate took a. Because she's got a huge cake. To get done, recuperate and prepare for your next. She's got a dead ass. There's a good bit somewhere there. You got it. That's why you workshop it. You know, it doesn't just come off the top of the dome. They really want me to go hard here. That's never commit to a bit that you can't bail on in 30 seconds or less. Who do you think Megan is training? So I think you're talking about Megan Trainer, but I like to think that your theory is that in Megan 2, she's like training another robot. I've already told you that for me, Megan 1 is about one Megan. In Megan 2, the source code gets leaked, and then there's like an army of Megans, and then at the end of Megan 2, we see like a package arrive in North Korea, and then, like, somebody in full North Korean military garb opens up the package and it's a Megan. And then Megan 3 is, like, a full-on war between, like, the NATO countries and the North Korean army, which now consists exclusively of Megans. Another way you could possibly do it... Okay, Megan 1, it went the same way that it did. Megan 2, Megan's source code comes out. Like, it leaks. But then it gets into like ghost in the shell style it breaks into the network like ghost rider and it starts overwriting the code of other toys so like now tickle me elmos are turning homicidal and like furbies and stuff like that and kindle e-readers and then the, if they make a third movie it could be like the humanity against the megan super intelligence but i don't know i kind of like the the john wick style the john wick style one a little more but you can have some great kills with Megan taking over the network. You're right. Like if Megan took over my Peloton, they could show me clipping my my feet into the pedals, and then the the, the wheels just keep spinning faster. Oh, oh, Samuel, stop, stop! Oh, and then like my my legs disconnect from my pelvis or something like that. And then just like you see my my legs just by themselves pedaling, even though like, I've fallen off the bike or something like that. That could be a great moment, man. That could be a... Oh, man. That could... Blumhouse, you can have that one for free. Honestly, I would just love to see that finally brought to the silver screen. Whew. Um, well, obviously, we'll take a legendary. Why are you asking me if I ever went to Chown Hall at... At Queens. You think I don't know that Chown Hall is the, the girls only dorm? Now, did I occasionally, did I walk across campus to go to the Ban Re cafeteria, which was the cafeteria in the female dorm? Sure. Maybe less than half a dozen times the entire time I was at uh, Queens. Most of the time I just went to Leonard. Leonard Hall, of course, was one of the greatest, uh, the sites of one of the greatest stories of uh, my freshman year. We went to dinner at, on St. Patrick's Day at 4.30 or 5.30, I can't remember. It was early when it opened up. 
We had a, a beautiful um, grilled cheese and french fries dinner. Looked out my dorm window like an hour later and the cafeteria was closed down. We said, what the hell happened? Get our copy of the newspaper the next morning. Uh, it was beset at peak hours by drunk queen students who then started throwing food at each other. They started a food fight and the cafeteria workers said, fuck this, we don't get paid enough for this. So they abandoned their stations. And then the kids got behind the counters and started frying their own shit in the deep fryer. <laughs> and then the security had to come in and, and clear them out. And then they shut down the cafeteria. It's so I, I was not there, but just reading about it, I was like, this is the funniest thing I've ever at the, especially as an 18-year-old, I was like, this is the funniest thing I've, I've ever heard. I wasn't there. Because I, I, we always ate right when the cafeteria opened. The only thing I did in the cafeteria, it, and I apologize, I'm playing the hits this morning. Um, they have those toasters that like you put bread in the top, and then it goes through like a conveyor belt, and it, it gets spat out the bottom. I had a great idea. I took a, um, a tortilla or a pita and I put it in the toaster to try to make tortilla chips. It made it all the way through the toaster, came out the other side, fresh tortilla chips, pita chips, brought them back, I was a hero, brought them back to my lunch table. Everyone was like, oh, dude, these chips are so good. Look at it, life hack. Although the term life hack didn't exist back then. You're a genius. Like a week later, put a pita into the toaster, Watch it go down the conveyor. You're like, where? where's the pita? Where's the pita? It didn't, it, it's not coming out the bottom. And then I just start to see like billowing smoke from inside of the toaster. And I just booked it. I went right back to the lunch table and just sat down. Somebody else, somebody with more responsibility must have come and, and saved us from the fire. But... And then like, uh, probably like a month later, I was like, <laughs> it's 50-50, right? And then I put the pita in the toaster and then the exact same thing happened. But I, in my defense, that toaster was also kind of bad. I remember that there was a sign next to the toaster that said, please do not put cinnamon raisin bread in the toaster because it causes a fire. So anyway, how did it work the first time? Oh, it's just one of those miraculous things, you know? Okay, can you define a fuddy-duddy? I would say it's someone who is um, very self-serious and not easygoing. I would describe a fuddy-duddy <clears throat> in, in my personal opinion. Oh my god, we won again. It's, uh, it's someone who's like, you know, they, they would go to a restaurant and they might say something like, Hey, where is this chicken from? And then the waiter might be like, oh, we get it from an organic farm in Langley. And they'd be like, oh, Langley, huh? I prefer Abbotsford chickens. And you'd be like, what the hell? Bro, it's KFC. Like, get a clue. I was thinking about, you know, it would be like an interesting uh, bit to, uh, to do. I was thinking about this while I was eating a ham croissant <laughs> from the Kirkland Signature brand today. Not to brag. Executive member, by the way. I don't know if you check the tags. What do you, if you had to do a tier list of the things that ACDC loves about she who shook him all night long, what do you think would be number one? Like, was, are you in love with her because she's a fast machine? That I could take or leave. She keeps her motor clean. Now that I think is admirable, whether we're referring to cleanliness or her like cardiac health. She was the best dang woman that I've ever seen. Obviously that's close to the top of the list. Can I tell you what might be at the top of the list for me, though, is when she told me to come, but I was already there. That seems like that's, that's just kismet right there. That's, that means you're in sync with one another. That <laughs> Telling no lies is a good one. Knocking me out with those American thighs. It, it would be closer to the top than the bottom, I would say. I don't really want the walls to shake or the earth to quake. I don't, the other thing is I also don't want to be shook all night long. Maybe for like half an hour. All night, that's going to really screw up my next day. I got stuff to do. And yes, make a meal out of me would probably be, well, I don't know. That could be close to the top or close to the bottom. I haven't really thought about it so far. That was an amazing bit. I'd like to thank Kirkland Signature Croissants for inspiring that bit that has been called by many people amazing. 
Did they sponsor that bid? No, I'm just an executive member and uh, a happy customer. Mind you, I've only had my membership for <laughs> 36 hours, but I can't imagine what life was like before it. Any thoughts on Vancouver, Washington? So, uh, I don't know much about Vancouver, Washington, and everything I've ever learned about it was learned uh, under duress against my will. Most of it came from a single conversation with someone I worked with in Korea, where when she came to replace a teacher that worked with us, she said, I'm from Vancouver. And we said, oh, another Canadian. And she said, no, the real Vancouver. Bad first impression. Um, and then she proceeded to tell us. I'm, it, I guess it was just a bad vibe first because you know that she had been through this conversation. Like She had rehearsed like lines in this conversation because she's probably said it many times. But she was like, did you know Vancouver, Washington was actually like founded or consecrated or whatever before Vancouver, BC? And we were literally like, that's cool. And all of us, I'm sure, in our heads were like, who fucking cares? But that's, that's, most, that's all I know about Vancouver, Washington. Except also, I believe people travel there. Let's give you some of this. Um... They live there and then they travel to Portland or Oregon in order to get no sales tax on their purchases because it's so close and it's right across the border. I'm not knocking it. I literally know nothing about it except one person that I don't really like that much was from there. It's not, not the city's fault necessarily. <laughs> Your tape-to-tape -tape gameplay made me hockey-pilled. Unfortunately, as a Columbus Blue Jackets fan, are there any positives to this? I mean, there there is... You might... A lot of people... That's a great octopus. Will not understand this, but if you're a hockey fan, you will understand this, okay? It's actually better to be a Columbus Blue Jackets fan this year than it is to be a Vancouver Canucks fan. Because you, you were the fucking worst. Which is great. If you're gonna be bad, you wanna be the worst. And the, the Blue Jackets are unfathomably bad. Your season as a Blue Jackets fan is, like, equally painful to my season as a Canucks fan, but your worst, you have the best chances of winning a generational talent in the draft lottery, and we're, like, seventh worst. So what, you got, you got like, six less wins than us, but every time we win, the whole fan base is like, I wish we would have lost that one. It doesn't, because we're not going to make the playoffs anyway. You just got Pedersen? That shit was six years ago, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and we picked fifth! We got him in the fifth position! This is like Pedersen's fourth season or something like that. You just got Johnny Goudreau! You basically, you, you got an a, a amazing playmaking center, not to mention an amazing sniper. Literally, you know why you got both of those players? is Because Columbus is in the United States, and uh, both Winnipeg and Calgary are in the Canadian prairies. So congratulations, you really attracted some, some great talent by virtue of having lower taxes on a federal level and not being a desolate frozen wasteland that inspired Hoth in the Empire Strikes Back. So I'm listen, we had solidarity. I was there with the Columbus fans. We were shaking hands and saying we're all dog shit until you tried to be like, no, actually it's harder for us. Shut the fuck up. Good Lord. Can't you, can't you just let us be friends without trying to put a, a barrier between us for no reason? Actually, my suffering is more noble. Okay, well, congratulations. I mean, I, I thought previously I liked Columbus, even though their uh, mascot is, what, a cannon? Or a weird little bug with his eyes bulging out of his freaking skull? Then I forgot. For a sec, you know what? For years I've forgotten. Oh, right, it's in Ohio. I should hate that team. Go back to watching the most storied college football franchise of like the past 30 years and defining your personality by being like, you know, oh, hey, at least we're not Pennsylvania, okay? Leave the hockey to the people who know what they're talking about. Okay, I'd like to apologize to, to the people in Ohio who caught strays. I know Pen Pennsylvania's better though. I know that. You know that. Everyone knows that unless you're from Ohio. I mean, come on. Would you rather have Pittsburgh and Philadelphia or Columbus, Cincinnati, and Cleveland? What's the best of them? Cleveland? 
Cincinnati, we, we put chili on our spaghetti. Even people from Ohio can't agree on which one's the best. Okay, now, yeah, okay, I'm not, listen, I'm not just saying Ohio is one of the states in the union that's like closer to the bottom than the top. I mean, at least it's not Indiana. Like, the only reason I even know a city in Indiana is because they have a NASCAR race there. Can you imagine that being... <laughs> it's way too far. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of great things going on in Indiana. Like, like housing prices or something. But, but I'm, I'm sorry to say, I basically I know two things about Indiana. There's, one of them is, like, they have a NASCAR race, and the other one is that Peyton Manning lived there for, like, you know, 17 years and then got out. And it's next to Illinois, which... I'm not trying to make enemies out of like everybody in the Midwest, but at least has Chicago. No matter how bad your city is, it'll never be as bad as Brampton, Ontario. I mean, Ontario is like it. Canada is is different than the United States. You know, we have less provinces. I'm not sure if that's been mentioned uh, a few times as of yet. So we several of our provinces have like multiple states identity wrapped up in them, like. Ontario is simultaneously like New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Like it's, it's, it's got like 10 states. It's North Dakota once you get up near like the Hudson's Bay. Nebraska. It's Michigan once you get down into like, you know, southwestern Ontario. BC is like Washington, Oregon, California. Idaho, Wyoming, like all wrapped up in one another. I don't know if we really have a Florida. I got to think about that. What would be Canada's Florida? I mean, uh, Newfoundland is kind of like our Florida, I guess. Like if I saw a headline that started like a man in Newfoundland dot, 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 I'd be like, I'm about to read something a little crazy. If they're going to lead with that, then there's... I'm about to see, you, I mean, like Newfoundland, when I think, and this, I actually envy it, because BC has no, uh, let me rephrase, Vancouver, as of right now, has no, like, cultural footprint, except um, moving here because the weather is nice, and then, like, complaining about the price of everything, but Newfoundland is kind of crazy, when you go there, you, you want to get uh, screeched in, you drink some moonshine, and you kiss a fish on the lips, and they say, now you're an honorary Newfoundlander. They also, I've mentioned this before too, but they also have a holiday called the Mummers. I guess it's not a holiday, but like a ceremony. So one night a year, everybody dresses up um, in like costumes of the opposite sex and then goes around to their neighbor's houses and just gets hammered. Wait, they do that in, in Philadelphia too? It sounds based. It sounds kind of, sounds like a good way to meet your neighbors. It's probably better to meet your neighbors for the first time over a few glasses of, uh, of screech than it is to be like, oh, your fence is like three millimeters over your catchment or something like that. And I'm going to take you to small claims court. What does NL know about Wisconsin? Um, it's the theme song to that 70s show. Green Bay is there. Yeah, they think they're the America's cheese capital, but actually everybody knows it's Vermont. They just don't want to tell them. Um, and then also, they like you could order like a, uh, a cocktail that's supposed to be served in a martini glass. You could be like, hey, can I have a vermouth martini? They will serve it to you uh, in a highball glass. It'll have four shots of vermouth in it and a black olive, and it'll be $1.75. That's, that's my, my preconceived notions about Wisconsin, a state I've never been to. How about Rhode Island? Listen, I'm not going to do this for every state in the union. Rhode Island, I'm making a special case just because of the fact that... Am I the only person who realizes that that state is not a fucking island? Isn't it... It's peninsular, right? It's not even peninsular. It's just kind of... Like, it's just a... It just juts out. It's just land. It doesn't even jut? You have to understand, I'm not really knocking it. It's not, you know, there's there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, but like, 
Coming from Canada, which is my frame of reference, it definitely seems weird that you could drive through in the Northeast, like, 11 states in half of one day. That's madness. Now, probably, if you're from Europe, you could drive through, like, 11 countries in 12 hours or something like that. So you're like, what are you talking about? That's not weird at all, but... At coming from a Canadian frame of reference, which is not necessarily like what should be the norm, but it is for me, it seems nuts because like if you drive for 10 hours from Vancouver, like your ass might only be in Burnaby, depending on whether or not we've had 0 0.5 millimeters of snow that day. Yeah, like I, I saw people saying like Connecticut should annex Rhode Island. And I was like, bro, who's telling all these people from Connecticut that their state is that noteworthy? As far as I'm con concerned, like every state from the Atlantic Ocean to New York should just be Maine. We don't need this Connecticut, Vermont, like New Hampshire. I, I barely even remember that it existed. That's just one big like little slice of pizza on the map to me that should be Maine in my opinion, based on absolutely nothing. If you were a drug, would you be an upper or a downer? a good question <laughs> it's actually not a good question it's kind of a, a fucked up question i don't know i feel everyone's saying upper but i feel like i'd be a downer i don't feel like i, I mean yes do i drink one cup of coffee every day yeah but i like i don't think i'm a stimulant guy i guess i could be like a mild upper like i could be caffeine or something like that you would be CBD? Why? Because I don't do anything? Why? Because people insist I change their life, but actually I have no effect whatsoever? Sorry, sorry to me for that one. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to myself. I was on the Canucks subreddit. This is what it's like to be a Vancouver Canucks fan this year. People are shooting strays, okay? So we have a, an in-arena experience. You know, that's not very good right now. The Sweet Caroline, bop, bop, bop. Everybody clap your hands. We're doing the noise meter like 20 times a period. Um, anyway, there's a guy that comes out. His name is Crazy P. He's like a middle-aged man. Maybe he's in his 50s. He wears a Canucks jersey that says Crazy P. He's employed by the arena. And he comes out with a big drum and goes like, Hey, Section 105, go crazy. Dung, dung, dung. And people were going... Off on Crazy P. They, first, first off, the people were like, the in arena experience is bad. And I'm like, I agree with that. But also, I bet if you're like eight, which is the target audience for this stuff, it goes crazy. Like, I'm not, regardless. Then they're like, yeah, I'm so sick of like hearing the same songs over and over. And then they just started going off on Crazy P. One guy said, why does he look like a meth head? And then somebody said, like, yeah. When you consider that our city is known for the downtown east side, it's terrible optics to have somebody like Crazy P hyping up the crowd. And I'm like, he's literally just a guy. Like other people do heroin and fentanyl and meth and then Crazy P is getting cooked over it just because he's like old and skinny. It's crazy. I don't think he's like a, you know, Mozart when he comes out with his drum and is hitting it, but people were literally like lighting him up. What do you mean it's bad optics that there's a skinny guy at the hockey game? What would be good optics? Like an incredibly well-dressed realtor with a leased BMW and a $900 haircut? Like is that the Vancouver image that, do, that should be out there? Wearing a, an $8,000 Burberry coat with $72,000 of credit card debt? That's, that's what you're looking for? It's, when he said it was bad optics, he, I'm, Lord forgive me, I was almost about to post. What do you mean bad optics? He's literally just a dude. He didn't do anything except hit his damn drum. <laughs> I, just, I don't want to, I didn't think I would be out here defending Crazy P because I didn't think anybody would be coming at him like that hard. He says bad optics. He's not even that skinny, he's literally just a guy. I mean, that's what, like, people were saying he looks like he's, like, a, he uses intravenous drugs. I'm like, what, he's literally just, like, a man. The rats do go hard, though. I do believe that there are rats in Rogers Arena. I've never seen one, but... 
<laughs> I've seen <laughs> seen rats around the arena. I, I think you did. Look at the size of that arena. Look at the egress. I think there's no doubt that there's probably rats in that arena. But I'm like, I, you know me, I'm kind of like pro-rat. Not, not in the sense that I'm like, oh, I love rats. But like, I don't, when I see a rat, I never assume like it's necessarily a failure of like sanitation. I'm always like, bro, they're rats. What do you want me to do? Like, I can't be held responsible. It's okay, there's, there's one rat in the kitchen. For a dollar, choose rats or crazy pee. Well, like, <laughs> After everything I've said, you might think that it's the it's it's crazy P with with a bullet, but I mean at least like the rats. I'm not really annoyed by the rats unless they're like, you know, running around my shoes. Crazy P, if he's in even the vicinity of you, like you gotta cover your ears because he's gonna be smashing the shit out of that drum. But I think I'd probably still take Crazy P in the whole scheme of things. This round goes kind of crazy. And the rats aren't doing drugs. Shut, shut the fuck up, okay? Crazy P is literally just a guy. He might do drugs, but that's like beside the point. As long as it doesn't affect his ability to do his job, which is banging a large drum when the Canucks are down 6-0. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's his business. Son of a bitch. You're not wrong. I'd probably be on drugs if I had to do that job. You think Crazy P is like a true believer? When we're down 5-1 to the Detroit Red Wings three minutes into the second period, do you think he's like, I'm so excited to go down into this section of people who paid like 300 bucks per ticket and go, hey guys, dung, dung, dung. Like, he's probably like in the bathroom right before the, the whistle goes off. Like, I can't fucking do it tonight, man. I can't fucking do it. No, you could do it. You could, yeah, I could do it. I could do it. I'm a legend. I'm crazy P. Some of these people need hope. They're not getting any entertainment on the ice. Let's give them some entertainment off the ice. They're here to see me. You're a star, P. You're a star. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's like the, the guy at the Blue Jays games who used to walk down the aisles and go, Ice! Cold! Beer! Any Torontonians here? Anyone know the ice cold beer guy? He's, he's an Ontario legend. He's really a Toronto legend. There's, there's ice cold beer guy, there's Xanta. Do they all do drugs? I would definitely say Xanta probably has a history of some drug use if I had to guess. And maybe some other stuff too. Man, I'm getting my ass beat up. <laughs> Whatever happened to the green men at the Canucks games? I think they got asked to not come back. Is That's my understanding of the green man uh, lore. Literally not even trying. Bro, I'm trying my hardest. I look at this buffalo. He's freaking huge. What, are the, what were the green men? They were two guys in those like... Those suits, they're called like morph suits, like mocap suits, but they were completely green. This predates the It's Always Sunny Green Man, by the way. And they they had seats right next to the visitor's penalty box. So like whenever someone on the enemy team would get a penalty box, they would like get up on the glass and go like, la 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 and then like, they started doing like co coordinated dances and stuff like that and like doing handstands and putting their dick and balls up against the glass and like grinding on the glass and stuff like that. Yeah, eating frozen waffles and then throwing the, the waffles into the, into the penalty box. <laughs> that was kind of sick. In many ways, I think they probably inspired Crazy P. You'd be like an unwashed pianist. Also, I can't believe people are like mad at Crazy P for looking like he might be on drugs, even though there's like no, uh, you know, proof of it. Or because the thing is, everybody in the fucking arena is hammered anyway, except for like little kids, and they they got a sugar high. You'd have to be on drugs to watch this team. 
I looked up Crazy P online. Multiple run-ins with the police for drug offenses. No, he, this is a lie, probably. If I had to guess. <laughs> My expectation is that you are propagating misinformation on the internet. Yeah, are you thinking of Master P? Plus, you're, you're not wrong. There's probably a lot of people out there named Crazy P, so... Also, like, look. He's never done drugs. As I've been watching, am I supposed to be privy to someone's, like, entire life just because they bang a drum at the Canucks games? Is the stock market just a vessel to lose money? Yeah, if you got paper hands. <laughs> Luckily, I have diamond hands. Level 4 diamond hand, Jack Bogle, Vanguard, total stock market index holder. I may never sell them. I may, I may die with them in my possession. Oh, you sold stocks to fund your retirement? Weak. I worked myself to the bone every day. I'm, I'm holding past mortem. Rigor mortis is setting in. You're, you, you can, the hedgies can pry my VTI out of my hands with the power of the occult energy on the dark pool, okay? My horny ass could never read the stream title. You mean, chat doesn't know that it's getting hot. At the Costco shop, doing something unholy. Mom sat back while he's eating it. He be popping it. Yeah, he do be checking out slowly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> At the Costco shop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you gotta admit, they're, they're pressing pretty hard here. I'm free. Fake the shot. Pass it. Oh! Is he okay? I'm convinced you would love the Colosseum if you lived in ancient Rome. I mean, the thing is, when you're the winner, the Colosseum is a great place to be. My willy's better. I don't know, here's my thing. I, if the Coliseum came back now, I wouldn't be into it. I don't even like watching MMA, cause like watching a dude have no oxygen supplied to his brain for like 90 seconds until he goes like this, and then the referee's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I know you've been on top of him for two and a half minutes, Brock Lesnar, but get off immediately, he's done, he's done. So, but if I was raised in, you know, ancient Rome, I don't know, my ass might be like bored. I might be like, oh, holy shit, it's the Coliseum this weekend. Isn't injury worse in hockey? Worse than the Coliseum? They were feeding people to like lions and stuff. <laughs> you see Gladiator? That person got chopped in half by a chariot. There's been some bad injuries in hockey. I mean, like some people have had their throats slashed by skates. Some people have had their wrists slashed by skates. You know what would be a great sketch though? Is like Romans at the Colosseum. Um, but they're like just complaining about things that people complain about now when they go to sporting events. They're like, oh my God. 17 obols for a, a goblet of wine. This is highway robbery. I know, and some I got some garum as well. Oh, can you believe I could get garum two for one garum, two garums for one obol back home? Here they want me to pay four obols per garum. That's crazy. Well, yeah, but somebody's got to pay Spartacus's salary. Oh, and the 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 on sand product isn't even any. Yeah, that should be it. The on-sand product isn't even any good this year. Like last year they had lions. Lions. This year, birds. Two years ago my buddy was telling me they filled the Colosseum with water and simulated the Battle of Salamis. This year, what do we get? Oh, 
two dudes fighting each other with spears. Okay. I mean, sure, like, they did their best, but at the same time, it was no Battle of Salamis. Oh, no. It could work. Look, this is, you come up with the concept, and then that's, the, the writer's room does the hard work. And they're like, I'm never coming to the Coliseum again. Catch him next year. Holy shit, I'm so excited. Coliseum season starts. Oh! Coliseum season starts in two weeks. What? For what? On what grounds? That was a clean goal. And the face-offs in my zone? What a scam, dude. 95 meters? Well, the smart money on this one, I think, is you just leave. I, Dude, this is a new world for me. I'm actually choosing my exfil, and I don't even need to use the map. Can I show you this? Can, 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 you're about to see a changed man here. Kate, I forgot to tell chat that our baby says the long way now. Last night, Kate was like, can you say the long way? And she started saying it just like the video. The long way. And then we laughed really hard. So I think that because we laughed so hard, she was like, this is great. So then she started saying it over and over. Oh, she said the long way. What, what was I doing? I forgot. We were... Uh, oh, I said... Mommy's putting on the PJ the long way. And I said, can you say the long way? And then she said, the long way. And Ryan laughed and I laughed. And then she kept saying, the long way it was very cute it was very cute because like she like i put the pj but then i couldn't put the arms through like i put the head through but then she went crazy like she was jumping around like running crazy so i couldn't put her arms through so i was like it took too long so i was like you know i i don't want to be you know negative or downer i just like to have fun so instead of being frustrated i just said Mommy's putting the PJ the long way because <laughs> it was taking so long to put the PJ on because she was just running around. And then she thought it was funny and she, she stopped and she said long way. And then Ryan laughed and then I said, can you say the long way? And then she said the long way. It was very funny. Then he, and then I said, can you say Ain't no way! <laughs> Ain't no way! And she said, Ain't no way! <laughs> she knows she struck comedy gold. You know what was not as funny is when she woke me up at uh, 11 midnight and then 2.15 in the morning just screaming. And I was like, what's wrong? And she was like, ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And I was like, you gotta stop crying so you could tell me what's wrong. And then she go, blah, blah, blah. She like rub her eyes, and I'm like, "You're just tired. You just need to go to sleep." I should have told her it's a bad bit. I should have hit her like just stone face, like the Linus Tech Tips. Bro, you just posted cringe. But instead, I was like, "Oh, my baby, what's wrong? What's wrong?" Like a schmuck. Wow, you got so many scissors. Yeah. Can you come over here and then say the long way? <laughs> Can you say it louder? Long way. Good girl. The long way. Can you say? Can you say? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Good girl. <laughs> Okay, how about some shaman powder? Shaman powder isn't lethal, okay? It's concussive. <laughs> Do it anyway. Toss that down right here. What? Uh, Body found, but he's not... Oh, he's knocked out, I see. 
follow it up we need to find the cause. Check everywhere. with this walk out wait till they're not searching and then go away why shaman powder do you want me to uh, listen i'm better at the game than you at this point i used to take this cyber bullying at, at face value a couple of reasons one it doesn't have a tier to its loot as a result if you took it out of the mission it wouldn't exist anyway it would turn into vapor okay it's ether secondly I wanted to concuss all the witnesses in the room to possibly slow down or minimize the response of the guards because there were like seven guards inside of the room. So I feel like just by... It, we, we concussed three of them, including our target. That at least minimizes the chances that we're going to get riddled with bullets on the way out of here. So that's why I threw the shaman powder in advance, okay? All I know... It, the people, kind of people who are like, why would you even use the shaman powder? They'll buy like, uh, you know... A bag of chips at the grocery store? Cashier's like, do you want your receipt? They're like, mmm... Yeah, I might need it someday. You never... Listen, you never know. What if I open up the bag of chips and then there's no chips in there? I could at least take it back to the grocery store and be like, what the heck? There's no chips in here. Here's my proof of purchase. I don't have any proof, proof that I didn't eat the chips, but... That's why I always film myself opening the chips. True. That's why I always take a video of me holding up today's newspaper. Then I take a, a digital scale and I tear it so it's on zero. And then I zoom in on the, uh, the weight on the outside of the bag. And then I place the bag onto the teared scale. And if there's any discrepancy, I'd say this is ridiculous, Galen Weston. It's off by 10 grams. You're, I'm, I'm going to complain to the Better Business Bureau. Yeah, it's 10 grams too many. I don't want that, those, that level of unsaturated fat in my diet. What they didn't know is that in advance, I hit the bag with gamma radiation in order to vaporize two potato chips, thus allowing me to spread misinformation on the internet. And have you not liked me when I'm angry? NL would be cracked at charades. I think I'm pretty good at charades. I'll be in touch. I'm not afraid to, to give an Oscar-worthy performance. Like, some people play charades and they're like, you know... And I'm like... Eating a stick of butter right out of the fridge. And they're like, you got it. But then some people are like... I'm definitely more in the latter camp. I'm still cheesed off that my my nieces didn't get Ferris wheel when I had Ferris wheel in, in charades and I was literally like I was like two words you know what to do and they were like two words and then I went like this and they were like two words and I was like oh fuck then I so they obviously don't understand the the way that you signaled what the second word is but anyway then I was like this and they were like spin round and then i was like okay that's good that's good and then i did this like i was good and i did it like 10 times and they just looked at me like what the heck is this guy doing and i was like look at the the this and this it's ferris wheel That's horrendous. What are you talking? How would you have done it? That's how I would have did it. Ex exactly. I don't think it's that hard to charade Ferris wheel. I think they just. Honestly, I don't think they know how good they had it. You can see the first two letters of your name. That's Ramirez. I'm pretty good at knowing baseball players. They got to get this guy a, a larger bat. That's my... It, it looks like he's, he's he could one-hand this thing. It's like a toothpick. You gotta get this. The bat needs to be at least 30% bigger. This feels like one you should know. I know one player on the Yankees. His name is Judge. Okay, there you go. This is literally just a guy. Like, this looks like my insurance agent fist-bumping me after we haven't talked in, like, eight months. He was like, how was that vacation you went on? I'm like, pretty good. He's like, my man. I'm like, it's no disrespect. We're not friends. 
We got we to gotta put in a little bit more work before we get to the fist bump level. You know what? Listen, I don't want to be too offensive. You know it's not a real sport when you can wear a belt with a metal belt buckle and play it at the same time. Like, Usain Bolt is not lining up for the 100-meter dash with a leather belt on, okay? Any sport that has, like, a you're dressed business casual, that's not a real... Even in, in golf, they're wearing polo shirts tucked into beltless pants sometimes. This looks like found footage of... Like, if you, if you took the baseball out of this and the baseball glove, this would just look like what happens outside of the bar, like, after last call. This looks like an all-points bulletin has been put out by the New York Police Department that's like, does anybody know who this man is? He sucker-punched somebody outside of Grillberg's at 2.03 a.m. Spencer Torkelson was on the tip of my tongue. What I was going to say is that he looks like, the, and, and this is offensive, so I apologize. It kind of looks like the guy where like you would be on a road trip and you would stop in a small town on the way to Aspen, Colorado. And you would be like, excuse me, good sir. Do you know how to get back on the Interstate 71? And he would say, what's it to you? And then spit on the ground. And you would say, thank you for your time. And get back in the car and go, drive, drive, drive. Hunter Green. Wilson Contreras. Is there a Wilson agreeable in the, in the league as well, just to provide some balance? Okay, I think I'm done with Major League Baseball. <laughs> Dude, Michael Sarah, like the youngest M&M photo of Michael Sarah, kind of goes hard. It's also crazy that the oldest Michael Sarah looked was in the middle. Like, this is obviously someone that's like in the eighth grade. And then this is just like a guy that I could see at like, you know, on, on commercial in Vancouver. He's like in his mid 20s. And then I don't know, this guy is like 60 years old. I mean, he's a he's a spry 60, don't get me wrong, but this is George Clooney from ET. It's Chuck Norris. Adams aren't uh, Chuck Norris isn't made out of Adams. Adams are made out of Chuck Norris. This is I, don't talk to your mother that way. Like, well, you'll do it. She's not my mother. I don't know your name, though. This is also the mom from Grandma's Boy. I guess the grandma. This is Michelle Williams. It's Will Smith. Wait, wait I'm going back. I think my brain put out a, an APB and said her name is Doris Roberts. Let's go, baby. Three dozen 2000s movie actors. Bitch. POV, you are my penis while I pee. <laughs> well I pee. <laughs> oh, man. POV, you are the eyeball on top of my penis. Okay, that this is Jesse Pinkman, also known as Aaron Eckhart, also known as Aaron Paul. There it is. Rachel Brosh Nahan. <laughs> Sorry. Rachel Brosnahan, I did, I've never heard of this person before in my life, I'm sorry. She's Miss Maisel. Bro, I don't watch Amazon Prime Video. We have HBO in our house. It's like having a Costco executive membership and eating out of the garbage can. No disrespect to the <laughs> company that owns this website. <laughs> How about find Canada's Walk of Fame inductees? I, this will shock you. One of the things that Canadians are the best at is telling you who's Canadian that you thought was American. I mean, like, every single person on this list is Canadian. Can you believe this? We got Leonard Cohen. We got Seth Rogen. Wayne Gretzky, you probably already knew that one. Michael J. Fox, Alanis Morissette, Mike Myers. Now, this is a contentious one because Alexander Graham Bell, we claim him as Canadian. Technically, he was born in Scotland, I think. But we, uh, we, we claim him as a Canadian because I think he invented the phone in Nova Scotia. We can share him, Scotland. It's okay. We got Sandra O. Oh, we got Steve Nash, Alex Trebek, Nelly Furtado, William Shadner, Pam Pamela Anderson, Hold the Lee, Drake, Leslie Nielsen, Celine Dion, Jim Carrey, Martin Short, Rachel McAdams, and Neil Young. We got them all, man. I'm not even going to do the quiz. Like, that's... 
it, it's an insult to even go through it. Find the Women's Hall of Fame inductees. I've decided that this one's too easy too, so I'm not going to do this one. <laughs> take, me, take me back, take me back. <laughs> I knew that. There were many women on that list I knew. Lucille Ball and etc. I'm guilty of like, like when I think about America, I'm, I'm so sorry about this. By the way. I'm not from your country. So like, fuck you. So when you think about Canada, like people, they, they, the average American can name like one or two Canadian provinces. And then if I'm like, well, to me, like America is kind of like four countries. You got like the West Coast and then you got like the Northeast and then you got the Southeast and then you got everything in the middle. People are like, fuck you. Arkansas and Oklahoma are very culturally distinct. And I'm like, prove it. And they're like, we're working on it. We're working on it. So I'm guilty of thinking of America kind of as like two coasts. And then also, like, they're in the middle. Well, it's, like, two coasts, and then, like, the American South, and then basically everything, like, east of Washington and west of Illinois, and then, like, north of Texas and south of the Canadian border is just, like, a bucket of states where I'm, like, Idaho, Wyoming, both Dakotas, Montana, um, Missouri, you know, et cetera. Like, all that stuff is just, like, for me, I'm, like, it, it gets a little muddy in there. That sounds right to me. Let's hear your opinion on Saskatchewan. All you need to know is that they call a hoodie a bunny hug. It's not as bad as a chili bin, but it's still, <laughs> still pretty silly. Oklahoma takes bologna and puts mashed potatoes with peas in the slice and eats it like a taco. What the fuck? Really? Oklahoma makes a taco out of a bologna shell with mashed potatoes and peas in the middle? Is that true? Go to hell, whoever said that. <laughs> no, we don't. Stop making things up. Yes, it's true. I'm lying. It sounds pretty bad. There's some foods where, like, you know, whenever there's, like, at a county fair in Texas, they're like, we deep fried Coca-Cola. I'm like, that sounds like it'll kill me, but it sounds kind of tasty. The bologna and mashed potatoes ha uh, taco? No, no, no. That one just sounds bad for you and bad. Someone just say in Iowa, they eat, they dip their cinnamon buns in chili? Is that true? That one is true. What? <laughs> dip a cinnamon bun in chili? No, you eat them separate? So, like, if you went to a, a restaurant and you ordered chili, they would be like, what do you want with that? Tortilla chips, bread, or a cinnamon bun? Yes. That's fucking weird, dude. It's not, like, crazy. Like, it's just... It's not like they make you do, like, a tap dance to get your meal or something like that. That's probably more of, like, a, an Oklahoma thing. But they give you a cinnamon bun with your... <laughs> Cinnamon roll? Okay, someone's very upset that I said cinnamon bun instead of cinnamon roll. I promise you that in my head, it does not change the insanity. It's like, oh, now that I realize it's a roll and not a bun, that sounds normal to me. I mean, grilled cheese in like tomato soup, that makes sense to me. Cinnamon roll and chili, they seem kind of disparate to me, but, you know, what do I know? Great way to ruin a, a, a fairly healthy meal is to add a 1,200-calorie cinnamon, cinnamon roll next to it. But, you know, again, what do I know? I don't live in Iowa. Much like 99.4% of America, I don't live in Iowa. I'm just going to say it. I don't care who hears it. Albert Einstein, he's kind of he's a little daddy, right? He's kind of a cutie. Is it, I never noticed because the only photo of him was like his hair all like puffed out, sticking his tongue out like that. <laughs> He's got a little Sufjan Stevens thing going on here. I'm cracked at naming places. Maybe I am a little face blind. This is Chicago. This is Las Vegas. <laughs> dude, he's pogging. He's like, I got one of those at home, dude. That's Lee Harvey Oswald getting shot in the gut. I'd have to assume it's in Dallas. Norway. <laughs> oh, girl, what will you learn? 
They couldn't have put like a cross-country skier in the photo so that I would know. Is he not even here? Did he join the Discord and he's like not even like at his seat? Is that what he did? So my balls were so swollen when I walked, they fucking squeaked like a goddamn eraser on a on a on a fucking pe on another piece of rubber. It was weird, man. <laughs> Uh huh. Justin just yeah. left. <laughs> you pissed him off, dude. He's jealous. Yeah. He's like, I wish my balls made an eraser noise. Yeah, and then after that, my ass <laughs> was <laughs> it also swelled up. I don't know what I sat on, but I think it was like a python or something. <laughs> the python bit my ass and my balls, and they were big after that. <laughs> <laughs> what what a thing to to just hear as soon as I joined the call. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so after that, I never went on Steve Irwin's Snake Exposition ever again. Like, I'm not rocking with that guy. I don't oh. give a fuck. No, don't say that. He, he let a snake yeah, yeah, bit my balls and ass. He was great. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe on the fucking shit you watched, when, uh, when I met him, he fucking put a snake in my ass and my balls. <laughs> that sounds cool. <laughs> Why are you just uh, Steve yeah. Irwin? Yeah, that's because he put a he put a snake on my ass and my balls. I will say he did he did stick his thumbs in a lot of places that I don't know if they were welcome. I think it's cool that he did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of of all the people you could besmirch, Chibli. That's messed up, man. You're gonna get canceled. It's true. He is. Doesn't, very, doesn't, didn't he, uh, oh, whatever. He's very I well loved. loved. Every time I go to the aquarium and they have the, like, you could pet a stingray, I just, I just punch the shit out of yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe what they did. That'd be so I think, funny. I mean, he was probably chill. <laughs> oh like, I didn't God. Know. Do you like, did you just like, I don't know, like a Berenstein, Bernstein bears yourself into thinking that he was canceled or something? No, he's Australian, man. He probably fucking sucked. Like, I hate to break it. <laughs> oh, this is a New Zealand-Australian uh, thing. Okay. Damn. Oh, shit. No, it's just real. He was <laughs> maybe one of the most universally beloved people I've ever seen. It's oh, my God. I, right he wasn't here. even vegetarian, man. Like, come on. Are we on. talking about Jordan uh, Peterson? No. No, 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 we're talking no. about Steve Irwin. Wait, <laughs> <Hey>, what? <laughs> Chili Hello. joined the call and he said, I hate Steve Irwin. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, it was my I did. Probably, but... I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> I just hell? don't. I don't care. What? Y'all are so par You complain about parasocial relationships all day and then you'll hear like, oh, I love Steve. Steve, He's me. Dead. I, Steve. I just I have nothing him. against him. Like, uh, what did he do to make yeah, me what? be against him? Hates me? <laughs> <laughs> True. He's not the only one. <laughs> oh, Malv, we missed you last week. I heard. We did. I saw the Finally. clip where you got all sappy and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't miss him. I missed my uh, my knocked up quotes. Just like quickly, now that Ryan's chat is here, I don't hate Steve Owen, probably. I don't know him. Oh, but you're okay with gaslighting my chat. Okay. Yeah, and mine. Okay. <laughs> no, like the, you, you two, you is two chat will like thing? forget oh. about it and. No, Ryan's chat will just hold on to it for the next five fucking years, and every goddamn time I spawn in anyway, they'll go, Steve Owen, you're really you yeah, Steve No, Owen. you're right. Someone watching this who is, like, 16 right now will go to college and kill their brain with alcohol and drugs for, like, five years, and then they'll make a post on the subreddit that's like, I never liked Chibli ever since he hated Steve Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have, uh, like, a post a week. Anyone got that clip where Chibli said he hates Steve Irwin? I'm sure I saw it when I was 11 years old yeah and and two and a half scums will be there in three <laughs> seconds three seconds with the exact clip no, you retired, Let's go. Man. okay two 30 half, seconds hero. they sent me a hard drive full of odds it's a little same dirty. holy cow three yeah. three hard drives oh my god dang i should have not been doing my own vods this entire time man <laughs> yeah you just gotta get you with two and a half yeah, was it uh, was it Steve that d d during played up when Scums joined, like you know, you have like little viewers join, he kept calling him two and a half cums the whole time. <laughs> like, uh, I don't think he was doing that. I think he was just reading it wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man. That's just I how his that, brain works. That, uh, I'm legit. That makes, that makes sense. Oh, it was Koji. Okay, that makes way more sense. Huh? 
I'm a, I'm googling Steve Owen problematic because I'm pissed off. <laughs> oh my god, man! Yeah, you're gonna find out he owned like uh like two investment properties in 1997 or something like that, which is enough. He was, he was the ultimate Y uh, W Y S I W Y G. Did you guys know that? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck! Is that I did not know that. WYSIWYG? Is that what you said? Oh, it stands for what you see is what you get. Man, people on Core just be it making is shit wig. up. No, yeah, what was he wig? Just... I thought it was. It stands for like wives and girlfriends or something. Doesn't doesn't that mean he's a, a genuinely great person? If what yeah, you see is what you get. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure he had his faults, but so do we all. Uh, oh, he had a loving wife and <laughs> child. Oh yeah, Two his, kids. Uh, Two his, kids. Son is, his son's continuing his legacy. It's very very yep. cute. He's also like a just a great person. <laughs> Man, you guys are you guys are riding, man. <laughs> yeah. You guys love this motherfucker. However, however, I did see, dude. I did look it up and it says his son is canceled. Oh good. After oh. an animal good. stunt. Oh, Which interesting. Oh, interesting. Sounds... The people that make their all lives about animals actually don't love them. They're just using them to make fucking money off them. Real fucking interesting, man. <laughs> he's not he's not Tiger King, like oh, the streams. Yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know. No, I, I Google. <laughs> I just typed in Steve Irwin canceled and six, uh, 16 different things. I saw a deep fake of Steve Irwin playing Minecraft with the Joker and Elon Musk, and he uses some language <laughs> oh, dude, that. So good. <laughs> oh my god! Some language that was it should have been problematic when he was alive, but has become much oh. more problematic in the in the intervening years Wait. for sure. <laughs> That wasn't real? Because that's why I'm like on this hate shit. Because I watched that and I'm like, why does everyone love him? Like in this video, he's being an awesome. You're like, this man. idiot uses only two diamonds to make a diamond hoe. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Any of you guys get any diamonds yet? I'm strip mining at the correct Y level. Nothing yet. Oh, I found them. Don't mind them, Joker. What are your coordinates? What do you mean, don't mind them? Do you have any idea what game we're playing? So, diamonds are rare, right? So you really want to use fortune, so you get- Sure, but we don't even have a pick to mine obsidian for an enchanting table. Is your brain working? Yeah, Elon. I agree with Jordan. I don't know how you plan on enchanting without diamonds in the first place. So, so, so you have to mine just two diamonds. We can get the obsidian from a chest at an abandoned nether portal. That's insane. That would take an eternity. Joker, get the diamonds and we'll make a pick. You don't understand, Jordan. I saw it in a speed run. I think mining them now would be a mistake. Listen up, kid, and listen well. This is my server. These are my diamonds, so shove off. It's not about the diamonds. Guys, what is Joker doing? Jamie, pull up Joker's screen. Joker, please. Joker. It's about sending a message. Joker made a diamond hoe, guys. You can make those? I'm like a dog with a sheep. That's it. I've had it with you. I am banning you from my Minecraft realm. I'd never know what I'd do if I actually killed one. You too, Musk. Go play KSP2, like the rest of the nerds. Elon, if you're playing Factorio, can I please join? I hate you guys. You're so retarded. Why so serious? Yeah! Oh my oh, god. Oh, I take it back. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I thought that was a real video. I really... I felt that someone... I, I, I heard about <clears throat> the Biden-Trump, like, Overwatch parodies. <laughs> Oh, uh, you watched Because someone it. was like, I hate these. And I was like, what? And then I watched it. I was like, this shit's fucking funny. <laughs> so, dude, it is really dude, good. There's, a, there's, there's Tarkov ones. Oh, God. I got to find those. There's, they're, they're for anything. They're so they're good. They're so yeah. good. <laughs> I mean, like, I know voice AI is scary, but, like, keep doing funny stuff with it. Oh, uh, dude. There, there's one of, like, it's Biden, Obama, and Trump in yeah. factory and like <laughs> Sorry, Biden's like, just the sentence. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's so funny, man. <laughs> Hey, want to run some infected with Joe and me, Donald? Sure, as long as Sleepy Joe can actually stay up past 11 o'clock this time. Shut the fuck up, Donald, and get on it. Oh, shit, guys, I got infected first. I'm coming for you, Joe. Donald, stay with me here and place down your deployable shield. The only way they can get us is if they hit a nasty throwing knife. I would come up there with you, Joe, but you're too busy shooting balloons out of the sky, giving away our position. Yo, Donald, I'm infecting more people than you did during your presidency. About to change my gamer tag to XX COVID XX. Hey, good game, guy. 
who the fuck? Oh, is this the guy that um like uh yeah. had that tragic accident? I won't make a joke about, but there was that funny thing that was like uh he's getting hit from his sister. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> that. What? All I know about him is he had a social media app that uh, what? everyone shut down by trolling it. Oldest food, newest food. I don't really like that. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I think mystery prompts are fun if both teams agree to a mystery prompt around, right? Yeah, I'm, totally. Uh -huh, I'm, totally. Click, I'm clicking on mystery. I already, oh, I already oldest, it, yeah. oldest food, newest food. I think what you're not really thinking <laughs> these are hard no matter what anyway. Yeah. yeah. What oh, the no. Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Can we, I can hope we they're black you? and white in color and shit. Uh, can we go back to food, please? Justin, they're not even going to show us the photos, I reckon. It's going to be a... It's oh, going to say it. Oh, no! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. That's real up there. It's pretty recent, for sure. I mean, you probably knew that. That's a great one. <laughs> what? Monkey. Can't be real. Was there one, like, iconic monkey selfie? I thought people have been just handing all sorts of animals' phones forever. You, yeah, it's you. It's like in the middle. Yeah, selfie right after Einstein. <laughs> I seen some koala selfies. Oh, it's real. Uh, so this has got to be before monkey after Einstein. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that checks out. What am I gonna get? The dress. Oh, oh, oh the dress. Is that Monroe? Like, <laughs> no, no, it's a tennis dress. Why is this guy talking about tennis all the no. time? Chipley, <laughs> you're so online! What the fuck is the dr- Oi! Red, red or blue or whatever the fuck. <laughs> blue and gold, or blue, black and blue and gold and white. I'm gonna put this here. I don't think you should have said something, guys. Come we on. We can't help you. <laughs> that never happened. Come on. Yet. I really yet. would have liked to have seen it, though. I'm gonna be it honest. It hasn't happened yet. I would have bring it. They might bring it. <laughs> and he walked up to the mic and he went, bruh. Uh, do I have room? Uh, I, have room. <laughs> I can't no. trash it. I couldn't trash it. Oh. I tried to trash it, I promise. Oh. Well, we got one streak. <laughs> yeah, the two obvious ones. <laughs> oh. I couldn't trash it. I couldn't trash it. All right. All right. Well, we know there's not much Please. after this. Oh, there's you know nothing after Yes. Oh, so I'm just going to put red. it uh, right there. I tried to trash it. I tried to trash Stop laughing at me. It's so Stop laughing good. at you. Well, we'll get to Stop trash it. it again. All right. I'm Maybe gonna, it actually happened. I'm going to put this. Oh, this isn't real. What? There's no monkey taking a fucking selfie, right? <laughs> Is a monkey? I wasn't paying attention, guys. <laughs> Shut oh, up. You can't there ain't no laugh. He's oh, doing it. Let's go. There ain't you missed no us talking. Like, How does so Chibli weird. not know? You guys only have eight things. News. I was oh, reading the news God. like a smut. <laughs> was... It's very. You I'm gonna Google, okay. it. Google it right now, Chibi, mm. so you know. 1965 to 1969. Go to hell. 94 Dude, to 96. Oh, well, we would have. How had it. iconic? How is this oh, we iconic? Would have. <laughs> we would have had it. This isn't iconic. I do this every goddamn weekend, man. <laughs> You're not a monkey. <laughs> okay, I'm a little guy. Funny monkey. <laughs> <laughs> But no, Sorry, Chippy, guys, you're I let not us little. Down. I don't want to hear any of your team anything. Uh, oh, oh, oh the Iowa <laughs> Weirdly <laughs> named town? No, no, like there's a one the place that names themselves Google so they could get Google Fiber. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, I'm Please dizzy. Have I'm Iowa. I'm <laughs> um, dizzy? We're we're done, man. We're fucking. Screwed, <laughs> I don't think Batman turkey's real, man. I'm I guarantee honest. it. They oh. probably got really. <laughs> middle 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 fart. Middle fart. <laughs> middle fart, dude. I'm not. Oh, stop I throwing them in the trash, man. We need those. Dude, Denmark that is wouldn't gotta... do that. I like, no, 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 <laughs> If it's real, it's old. If it's real, it's old. I'm not, I'm not fucking no. believing in middle part, dude. Dude, I bet that's fine. This I one, I think I'm going to put it in the trash. Oh, no. I don't believe in Dorkberg. I do. This is fucked, man. I don't even know regular names. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds real. England sucks. Dude, yeah, no, this is, they love this place. They fucking love this place, dude. <laughs> oh. 
All, all oh, my Europeans. On, all oh, all my Europeans. is real. Yeah, oh. Oh, all the Europeans in my yeah. chat are mad. I'm pretty sure this is real. Uh, the fucking middle fart view is a pissed, man. They're exiting <laughs> out of the stream. This is middle fart erasure. I, Chicken, Alaska, USA. I kind of believe it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Where's Bussy, Iowa? That's all I, I just want Bussy, <laughs> Iowa. Oh, oh, That's, That's real. I mean, they, they're not forming new cities. <laughs> True. <laughs> Matt, it's you. It's you, man. I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, man. Oh, just get me out of this one, man. Wiener, <laughs> Germany. V Wiener. Uh, how, dude, come on, man. I don't know. Fuck. It's gotta be, you know what? Sure, Wiener right there, right? Well, oh. <laughs> Batman Wiener fucking hole. <laughs> <laughs> chug water. <laughs> I don't believe in chug water. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so funny when they somehow do better than us. Right? <laughs> it, is it is Ohio. <laughs> Oh, there's a way. There's no way PP -P Township, Ohio, dude. Oh my god. Sweet Can I spoil it? It's real. It's fucking real. It's a real place. Oh Sweet. my god. Sweet. Dude, I don't know. Sweaty tuna? Sweetie tuna? Dude, uh, I've been. This has been the happiest uh, I've ever been to be able to. You're welcome, Apollo. Pee Pee Township is a real city. I can't believe it's real. Um, <laughs> and they have a place called the Pee Pee Creek. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Man, I hate this. How does anybody leave there? Leave, live there? I mean, like. Oh God! I just want to get like a PO box there. I have no think idea. They get their, man. You think they get their water from <laughs> Dude, uh, I don't. the PP pee -pee aquifer? You know, I'll say the Hulk oh. is older than Wiener. Fuck it. The PP pee -pee oh, police. <laughs> 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 I just I don't know what to say. <laughs> Suppose Look, you're the fucking right there. Geo guesser expert, man. So, uh... <laughs> I mean, I'll admit this this uh, this category is fucked this up. It's impossible. Oh, Chugwater was real. Chugwater was real. Holy wow. shit! And there it goes. And mouth is just not paying attention. <laughs> I'm paying. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You know. You think a, a, a city in Wyoming was founded before <laughs> two other? <fun> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Intercourse and PP are both American too. <laughs> True. Yeah, the East, <laughs> which was settled like a hundred years oh, before the West. Oh, oh I'm sorry, course. I don't know something about America. Tell me, when was Canada middle settled? Part, middle real. part's real. I knew it. Middle part. Middle part. You'll must. No, I'm sorry. I had to say something. It, really, in Austria? <laughs> It could, it could be. It could be. Maybe it's some weird. Some it's weird like new uh, Bodie McBoface. We had this after. Oh, you know what? This is probably still after. We need, we need to chug water. That's why it wasn't a streak. Yeah. Bugging I also read that water, as Australia, not Austria. So. Batman. <laughs> the ancient man. I think we have too many. There's a lot. Batman's real. I know that it's Batman's real. real. So I, I think maybe chicken is fake or or oh, sweetie tuna. Let's see how you did. <laughs> Batman is real. I know Batman. it. <laughs> oh, well, fuck. Wow. 1231. Uh, fake trash. We still have oh, 1951. Right. Uh, <laughs> 1957. Batman. 1957. Uh, sweetie tuna is fake. 1886. What? The, 1798. <laughs> Oh, chicken I mean, is what real. can you really do Jesus with this? Christ. Like, how are you? How can you ever get any? I of think these you guys correct? did good. We did better than really the hard. Dude. Like, did you did pretty <laughs> good for. Admirable. That's crazy. That was Corey. Uh, when are you moving to PP? <laughs> Let's go. We're smarter. I'm, I'm here right now, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, man, we are brother. smarter people. Wow. <clears throat> Here's the proof. I didn't even need to know the monkey selfie, dude. 
They should have had Bussy, Iowa. <laughs> True. You start it. Bro, it's I a real place. A PP Township, man. Yeah, they should have had it in the game. Maybe it is. They probably have like a big word bank, you know? Ah, uh, let's play it again. Oh. Right now. Oh, man. Yeah, they do have Dildo Canada. I'm surprised that didn't show yep. up. Mm -hmm. My wife been there. <laughs> Yellow knife. <laughs> there's a lot of silly <laughs> places in Pennsylvania. I mean, there's the, there's the classic Myanus. Mm, I don't it's know that one. Course, it's the most popular. You didn't, wait, wasn't that on Jackass? Myanus? Yeah, where Johnny Knoxville walks around, he's like, oh, what's the weather like in my anus? Just asking people, like, random <laughs> questions like that around. I think that was, was that Jackass? Maybe that was not Jackass. No, that was our grade 10 history class. Uh, class uh, my I penis. remember that. <laughs> my penis. <laughs> my penis. <laughs> oh. Am we allowed to draw butt plugs? That's a yes. I don't know what a butt plug looks like. <laughs> Yeah, you do. I can't. Oh, I, I don't have color, so this is going to be hard. <laughs> Ew, this is fucking. I was drawing something oh, disgusting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, I need therapy. I need therapy in jail time. Julie, hmm. yep. you have eight seconds. I, I, need, I need help, and I don't think you guys should ever invite me back again to this stuff. Well, next week we're having special guest Steve Irwin, so... Yeah, I will skip that one. I can't look at Okay. Oh, that's melted, man. It's like a, like a briefcase full of Lego or something left outside on a hot day. Well, it says... it. See, like, on, on when I drew it, it clearly said Lego... Mm. Oh, <laughs> but wait! I fucked up. I fucked up on Chadley. my melted. I, I thought it said mostly good. Thank you. <laughs> Instead of melted, yeah, it said good mostly, is oh, mostly goo. Mostly oh, you, oh. Think it, you think the scale is from not melted to <laughs> mostly good? Mostly good. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't pay attention. Like I'm not here to pay attention. Like work. I'm here to just chill. Seventy percent. Melted? I am a god. Yeah, and look I, at the left I side. Is, did confidence. Okay, so so you would say se if something was seventy percent liquid, you would call it around seventy percent melted. Okay, I would Ryan, call it ninety nine percent how melted. How else would you expect someone to draw that? Yeah. I don't know. Like I put some sauce on it. Oh, <laughs> is that a oh. wiener turd? <laughs> is that the keep in mind? I thought it was mostly good. Okay, guys, I thought it was how mostly melted. That doesn't help. That makes toy. it only more confusing. <laughs> It's also like it just doesn't look like a butt plug, but there is a sun. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's malleable. Well, that's a butt. That's a butthole. No, that's a sun. That's a sun. Wait, I need to clarify. The, what is that? If the scale is mostly good to not, I'm not melt taking it, any no, questions, that's the same thing. I'm trying to make sense of this. I'm not taking any questions. No more questions, please. <laughs> what? Oh, no. but it's like it's not even close it's to goo. Intact. It's not a toy. What hey, is it? Hey man, I just. Put it in the hope for the best. I, I it's standing it up under its own <laughs> oh, is that actually structural your integrity right now. Yeah, it's not even, uh, it's not, it's yeah, it's been used. I brought it used <laughs> on sale. <laughs> what really pushes your buttons? When daddy pulls on me behind oh and then pulls on it later, <laughs> or the fingers jacked me off, I finished at my, at me holes. <laughs> both of those are from my original sentences. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I finished at me holes. Holy that, shit! That me saved my whole life. Oh, oh my god. You did, yeah. Huh. Dang, I, I contributed to my downfall. What's the best <laughs> way to multitask? What's yeah, the best way? Okay. What's the best way to multitask? I oh should mention God. the jelly beans, the evil jelly beans, or children. I feel like children. Actually, no, that probably yeah. That's not a sus answer. answer. You have to multitask when you have a child because you're constantly watching them while you're doing the dishes. No, I agree. Why do I mean you're like putting them to work? Because they're helping you multitask. Dude, if you give a three-year-old a cup of coffee, they do so much work around the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I got easily the worst selection of words I've ever seen in my life. I think I got Justin's prompts. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm, there's no doubt I got Chibli's words. 
What? Did you write? What'd you get? Did you write um, farting fart party stinky? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you were made eco captain of the department. What is your first earth friendly decree? Why is big baby Chibli in the toilet or swallow the trash and my butt shit it out? <laughs> Is this, is this Garfield? <laughs> Why is Big yep. Baby Ghibli in the toilet? <laughs> Why am I in the toilet? Oh. Who put me oh. in the toilet? So, is that, was that your favorite answer? <laughs> yes, <right>? yes it was. <laughs> <laughs> he really sold it with that uh, the way he read that. Boy, your tie has a lot of mustard What's on it. Your What's your next move? move? Oh my god, my awful shit too trash? L. Or kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Justin! It's not me! <laughs> hey, you did it! I was gonna scream it in his eyes, not his shirt. <laughs> so we, we did go to the, um, we went to the Everett Costco. Stupid, right? It was stupid of us. We were, um, in Costco. We were in America for two and a half days. Why did we go to Costco? We got a kilogram of uh, food should taste good multigrain tortilla chips. And I got to tell you, that's first off too many tortilla chips. Secondly, they should not have named. I mean, I, my personal opinion here as we as we pivot to uh, the screen that I left you on on, on Friday. Um, they should not have called it food should taste good because it makes it seem like it's healthy food, which it's not. But it's, I'm not saying that is a sin. What I'm saying is it the food does taste good. Food should taste good multigrain tortilla chips. I think that they missed an opportunity to market them. If you'll allow me to just uh, right-click save image as. We'll call this f tortillas. And then we go add image tortillas, browse, downloads folder, tortillas. Look at these, okay? I'm telling you, they made a terrible mistake. They should not have called these food should taste good because I think that the average person in the grocery store will see these and be like, ooh, healthy snacks. Check the other side. Look, I can't like just flip the image and show you the nutritional information. Web3 is not here yet. However, these are not good for you. They, even though it's a, a, a sketch, a furry sketch of a tortilla hexagon here, this should not be made by a company that's called Food Should Taste Good. This company should be called Flavor Co. And it should be in like neon cursive, like a neon sign in the corner of the bag, not in the middle. The bag should be hot pink. And there should be like a little cartoon dude on the front with his hair sticking up going, wow, wow. And then under his face, it should say like more corners equals more flavor or something like that. They screw This looks like a chip that like only uh, your doctor would tell you to buy, basically. But they don't taste like that. It's like a flavor explosion. It, there should be an ad on TV where like, your grandma's eating plain Lay's. And then like they, the lights turn all like red and purple and someone kicks down the door and there's like a smoke machine and someone skateboards in and is like, ah, because they're the crunchiest chip of all time. Three corners, grandma. Well, I guess she's eating Tostitos or something. Three corner chips. What is this, 1985? More corners, more flavor. I'm telling you, it could, it could work. Anyway, so we got like a kilogram of this, which was not smart. I ate a lot of them. We still got like two thirds of the bag. We still got like, um, I mean, we bought like, we, my, my niece was with us and we're like, hey, do you like goldfish? And she's like, yeah, we're in Costco. The only goldfish they have was in like a crate. So we got like 1.5 kilograms of goldfish that we took across the border. It's crazy, man. What were we thinking? Pretty sure we bought like, um, I don't know, like a hundred 
lint chocolate balls, not L-I-N-T, L-I-N-D-T. Like my kid, my, my toddler was like, I want some chocolate. We're like, okay, here you, we're in Costco. What do you do? Here you go. A kilogram, a kilogram of chocolate balls. What were we thinking, man? We should have just gone to like a Fred Meyer or something. Oh, baby. Two cheerleaders? We must be in the major leagues. See, this is just uncomfortable. I don't know what to do with my eyes. It's just, I'm, I'm looking respectfully. Not because of the, what, the pleasures of the flesh. I'm looking respectfully because I know it must have taken a lot of practice and, and like reciting and, and coordination in order to get that locked in, okay? In, in order to get that kind of synchronicity. I'm appreciating the choreography and wondering how much they get paid. I'm wondering how much they get paid to be the in-stadium entertainment. I hope it's good, because it's something you can't do forever. By the way, I was happy to, when I went to the Costco in Everett, Washington, and let me listen, okay? You're, now you're sending me off on a, a little bit of a rant, because I was on r slash Bellingham, trying to squash the beef with Bellingham, top post of the week. Is there an escalator anywhere in town? Every single post? No, there hasn't been an escalator in, in uh, Bellingham ever since J.C. Penney moved to the mall in 1987. You're really, like, Bellingham is out here firing shots. Their whole town doesn't even have a second story anywhere. Like, it's, it's actually madness, okay? Then, like, later, I went to go to r slash Bellingham to see if anybody posted my tweet where I made fun of them. And they're going off! Please, avoid Trader Joe's today! Oh my god! It's President's Day, but it's also a long weekend in BC. The parking lots are inundated by BC drivers. They're coming up here to steal my milk. Oh, we really need to put a one or two dollar toll on the border to stop these people from coming over and buying our Trader Joe's General So's chicken bites that go so good in the air fryer. Me in Bellingham, when I see two other people at the grocery store. Why the fuck is it so busy? Not to mention, your asses are always going off about BC drivers. Me trying to go from Everett to Vancouver yesterday. There's three fucking places between Everett and Vancouver before the U.S. border, the U.S. to Canada border, where people actually live. Every single one of them, bumper to bumper traffic, a car like spun out on the side of the road upside down. You want to talk about bad drivers? It's literally, it was raining. It was raining. They can't keep their cars on the road. And then everybody goes, just stops at a freaking standstill. Because they, when they drive by it, whoa, look at that. Another Washington plate upside down in the ditch. Oh, but Canadian drivers making it take an extra 0.75 seconds for me to park in the Trader Joe's because the General So's air fryer chicken bites are so... Shut the hell up! Have some respect, man. I'm not saying you should be, oh, thank you for visiting my country and uh, buying our milk and helping out the... Lo like, I'm not a psycho. I'm just saying, like, be nice. You think I've never had a situation in Vancouver where, like, people... Uh, I, I see someone try to pay with American dollars at a restaurant, and then when the server's like, this is not America, they're like, yeah, but our money's worth more? You think I gotta make a post about... It's what happens when you live in a small town, is, like, people are generally nice to each other, so if you're ever inconvenienced... PSA! If you're merging onto the highway, but it's all... it's busy, you don't just merge whenever you can merge. There's something called the zipper merge, I know because I summered in New York City once, and then... Listen, just fucking chill out, go to the co-op, have a beautiful breakfast sandwich, go to the donut place everybody likes, be nice to the people around you, why you... You're up there in Bellingham being like it's the Canadians that are making Bellingham uninhabitable. Nobody's fucking heard of it except for people that live in BC, okay? Don't flatter yourself. Just try just be nice. Plus, I don't flatter yourself. I'll you know, I'm I'm happy to do the extra extra 45 minute drive. I'll go down to Linwood, which they graced, thank you so much, with a Shake Shack. And I look people in the eyes there, and it looks like they're happy to see me, even though I got a Canadian flag on my hat. Don't worry. Don't worry, Bellingham. I won't stop in your town and fly out of your airport anymore that has Spirit and Allegiant as the main carriers.
Yeah, next, oh, I think I'll just fly YVR to SFO next time. I won't bother with like a two hour trip across the border, get harassed by like a US customs agent for absolutely no reason because I have the audacity to have like a toddler and like a, a Coke Zero in my cup holder. Um, go a little bit further, go to Bellingham. Uh, there's not really like a restaurant once you get past security, but you could get like a cold egg salad sandwich from like this gas station kiosk that we've got nearby and then fly into Oakland and then take a bus from Oakland to the BART station and then take the BART to San Francisco just to save 35 bucks, be condescended to by Allegiant Airlines hostesses the whole time we're in the air? Anyway, I'm gonna... St I'm going, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, be nice. <laughs> I guess it's a little hypocritical, but... I never realized, like, how much people from Bellingham, they got it out for Canada, man. Then somebody in that thread was like, um, we shouldn't be so hard on the Canadians. They've kept Bellingham out of a recession a few times. And then people are like, we don't need them anymore. We got like a rail terminal. I'm like, dude, you, you realize you live like an hour away from the border. I wouldn't, you know, how many times are you going to be surprised that the grocery store is busy when both countries have a long weekend before you start like looking inward to examine your own behavior? Like, come on. Like, I recognize that I live, like, a, a 30 minute drive away from another country, but have you ever noticed how many people from another country come here to visit? By the way, great day trip from Bellingham is just drive across the border. You can spend a little bit of time in Vancouver. They got great brunch spots. Maybe you could even talk, uh, you hop on the BC Ferry, go to Victoria, go to Nanaimo. Hey, go to Point Roberts. You can cross the border twice. You'll still be in America. It's like, they got no, there's no symmetry, okay? They don't apply it to them. When I see a Washington plate in Vancouver, you know what I think of? Oh, of course there's Washington plates. We got Washington, we got Texas, we got Massachusetts, New York, BC, Ontario, Alberta, Idaho. Because fucking people come visit our province. They come visit my city. And when I see them, I don't immediately go, oh, you're why it's so busy. You know why I, I, I recognize it's so busy everywhere? It's because it's fucking nice here. People want to come here for vacation and people want to live here as well. Now, obviously, normally in Bellingham, it's, oh, I, uh, there's seven cashier lanes open at the Trader Joe's, but I, there's not a line for any of them. It's so beautiful, wide open spaces. Me, when I have to wait in line for three minutes in order to buy a pint of milk. Whoa! Just fucking relax, man. Anyway, we're gonna try puppy, okay? I want to like Bellingham. It's the closest population center in Washington to British Columbia, okay? But they're making it real hard. First off, all the anti-Canadian rhetoric anytime their grocery store parking lot has more than three cars in it. And then the other thing is that they don't have a damn escalator and that's just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. You really don't have like a shopping mall with two levels or something. It doesn't even have to be like a sprawling Mall of America type thing. I'm just... It's like anything with a, that, that warrants escalating. Wyoming has two escalators in the entire state. Well, then they, they're, they're, they're ahead of Bellingham. On the state level, but I mean like... If you're in Wyoming and you're like, yeah, get them. Listen, you just relax. You're spared by the fact that I've never been there. I love my Costco gold card. This whole thing started, okay, because I wanted to mention I was at the Everett Costco. I was very pleased with the free samples that they had on offer there. <clears throat> I had a, um, I had a bit of arugula pizza and I had um, some Tillamook cheddar cheese. And I gotta tell you, the arugula pizza, that was like, ooh, I wonder what this tastes like. The, uh, the Tillamook cheddar cheese, I was like, I stole that cheese. That was not a free sample, because I know what cheese tastes like. That was just for me. As one of your three Bellingham viewers, we appreciate the recognition. Honestly, here's the thing. I don't hate, Be I don't hate everybody in Bellingham. I just hate the Bellingham, the, the subredditors. I guess like, it, you'd think the same if you, were, like, if you went to r slash Vancouver. I... I've never hated Vancouverites more than when I go to r slash Vancouver. And I've never loved living in Vancouver more than when I just like go for a walk outside and when I make eye contact with someone on the seawall, just giving them like a polite nod. Then I go on r slash Vancouver. Does anybody else hate that we have no protected lefts in the city and then people try to do a California left and my car got hit and exploded? Uh, anyway, you get, listen, I'm not, I'm not... <laughs> It's, it's memes, okay? I'm not actually insulting Bellingham. Well, I'm ins insulting the, the, the Bellingham subredditors, but that's it. Some bald dude nods at me on the seawall. I think I'm going to get mugged. I don't know if we do muggings here. 
I'm not suggesting that like robbery doesn't exist. People get stabbed now and then, sometimes by a knife, sometimes by like a uh, like a needle. You guys got road rage up there? Me personally, yeah. Broadly, well, you know what I will say, and this is like I'm being very positive to Washington here. I love driving in the parts of Washington where people don't live. Um, and I'm not afraid who knows it. In Vancouver, people give you no space. If you ever uh, take more than one-eighth of one microsecond in order to figure out like what you're going to do, you're getting honked at. If pedestrians are crossing when you're turning right, people are like getting up on your ass like, come on, go, 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 go. Like they just want you to kill the, the person that is crossing the street. Driving around Mount Vernon, driving around Everett, Muckle Teo, Mill Creek. I felt like people were giving me space. I was giving them space. It's just, I think when you're not around as many people, your, your people are a little bit less tilted to begin with. They're like more patient. You're giving people like, uh, you know, you're saluting them when they let you into traffic. It's, it's just a nice situation. But then the thing is, like if more people lived there because it was so pleasant to be there, well, then there would be a lot more traffic and it would all fall apart. So why do all Canadians drive 20 over the speed limit in Washington? Well, it's because when you come from... Va I, I was telling Kate this. When I'm driving to Washington, while I'm in BC, I'm getting passed by everybody on the highway. While I'm in Washington, I'm passing everybody and I don't change my speed that much. It's like... The only thing that's changing is, is the way that people around me drive. It's, we got a pretty aggressive driving environment in, in the lower mainland. People are, they're, they're out for blood. Also, like, I, I, I apologize, because it's like, it's not a nice thing to say. But like, I realized I'm not accepting any more sass from Washington drivers, because fucking... Every time I drive home from Washington to Vancouver, my ass gets caught in northbound traffic because people are crashing their fucking cars on the I-5 all the time. I know, you're like, it's not my fault. Okay, I'm just saying, like, at some point, it's... Like, for some reason, southbound, like, to Seattle, you get traffic, but it's usually not, like, accidents. Northbound, anytime you're passing... I couldn't believe it when we went through... Anybody here from Bellingham? Terrible crash, apparently. Just past Iowa Street. My ass in traffic for 45 minutes thinking I really should have had that sandwich back at the Fred Meyer in, in Everett before we left. But I was like, oh, we'll be home in two hours. We got Nexus. She was driving me crazy, man. Sitting there getting mad at the person. It's like, you, it's not a good habit. I'm getting mad at the person who's in the car accident. I'm like, could you just, could you have some consideration for the people around you and not crash your car? Some of us are trying to get home. We got a, we got a toddler in the car who like needs to eat dinner and then also go to bed at a reasonable hour. So in summary, just relax and be nice. Yes, I, um, I mean, I should be nice to the person who's in the accident. I mean, I don't want them to be dead. I just want them to move their car to the side, which is kind of rude, but okay, there's seven. Give me nine. That one goes out to Bellingham. I'm sorry for all the negativity I've, I've stated. Give me some of that. That's perfect. I'll be like, um, how about like a leaking step family? No, I'm not apologizing to the people of Bellingham. I'm apologizing to the people who don't know anything about Bellingham and are like, oh, you were too mean to them. The people of Bellingham know what they've done. At least the Redditors do. But the people who are watching this from, you know, they're from like Illinois. They're like, oh my God, why is he so mean to Bellingham? I apologize for the optics inherent. And also, can you do something about Iowa Street? Why are people crashing their cars on Iowa Street so much? What's the Vancouver subreddit like? It's also pretty bad. To be honest. <laughs> I, w I won't stand here and defend the, you know, the, the Vancouver subreddit either. Well, we lose this one. I will say, the Vancouver subreddit had a, a post that was like, who are your favorite Vancouver YouTubers? 
And then there was like some um, like public transit YouTubers from Vancouver were like at the top of the list. And then with six upvotes, someone was like, Northern Lion's from Vancouver. He talks about local stuff sometimes, but usually he just plays games. Uh, okay. It was, I, I mean, I was happy I had upvotes instead of downvotes. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure the average person on our Vancouver is like 52 years old. So like, it's, I mean, that's my demo for one, but also like, it's nice just to be noticed, quite frankly. I fell asleep to Spirited Away. I brushed my teeth to that movie. That's, a, that's an all-time classic. It's five bags of popcorn, I'll tell you that much. If it's one bag of popcorn, it's five bags of popcorn. Yeah, I'm going four squatted, because I, I don't give a damn. And some candy? Yes, and I would say and some candy. And a little, <laughs> five bags of popcorn and a little anime figurine. Like a little Pikachu or something. Well, I didn't really get this movie. It's a cartoon. I stopped watching cartoons when I was a kid. Uh, I did like it a little more when I switched over from Japanese uh, subtitles to the dubbed version, which has some Hollywood celebrities, including Kirsten Dunst, who was great in the original Spider-Man trilogy, if you remember that. But overall, I, I didn't really like the film. I didn't understand it. I, I gotta say that I am gonna have to give it five bags of popcorn, but no little Pikachu figurine. And next time when you make the movie, maybe make it in English. Thoughts on Florian from Physical 100? <laughs> I'm not like, listen, I don't wanna make this like a big thing. I don't want this to blow up. Korean TV shows love casting like white guys who speak Korean. And I, it's like, I get it. But at the same time, it's like once you've seen a couple of shows, you kind of, you, you learn the, the blueprint, I guess, for... <laughs> every Korean show has like one guy from Germany, or one guy from like England, one guy from Canada, one guy from the US. There's, don't even get, listen, I, if I'm going to cause beef with any YouTuber, and I really should not cause beef, but a nice 10 piece, by the way. There's a YouTuber who is... Channel is like teaching Korean people English as like a second language. So he does good videos that are like, you know, here's how you would use the phrase, I couldn't care less. Here's how you could use the phrase, um, I'll be there when I'll be there. You know, stuff that might not be covered in like a normal class, okay? But then for a while, he moved back to America and he was doing videos that I could only describe as like American exploitation, which I think appealed to the idea. Like there were, he would make videos that would have the premise of like, if you come to America, don't go to this neighborhood that's not even in like a major city. It would be like, if, you, if you're coming from America to Los Angeles, don't accidentally go to like Baltimore and walk down this street. And then he would like film like some shady stuff going down around there. And I'd be like, brother, you and I both know, like this is just, it's like torture porn or something. It's like... The same way that, like, we do, there, there's tourism fear monging in the Western media as well. Like, before I moved to South Korea, I, there were literally people that were like, oh, you're going to teach English in Korea? Like, what, uh, what Korea? And I'm like, you don't, you've been watching, like, the wrong kind of news. But it, this was more like, so many of the comments under his videos during this time were like, Kate was translating for me, and I was, like, losing my mind. They're like, thank you so much. I'm going to you know, Seattle next year, and I'm gonna use your tips. And I'm like, if you need him to tell you not to go to Baltimore when you're flying to Seattle across the Pacific Ocean, like you gotta, you got bigger problems. No, no, no disrespect. <laughs> and I was like, I was thinking like America needs to like deport this guy. He's doing more damage to like their brand than George W. Bush did. Who's an American citizen living in America that it is, he's making like so much money annually being like, do, if you are ever in Los Angeles, do not pull out your cell phone or someone will kill you and take it. And people are like, thank you so much for the tip. Anyway, but I'm not actually starting beef. He is a, he is a very cute child around the same age as my child. We watch some of their baby vlogs and I'm like, he seems like a great dad. I'll be sniffing penis. Yeah, maybe we could become best friends now that I think about it. 
I should keep my mouth shut. We'll delete the VOD real quick. But then I, it's not even like, I don't know. That's YouTube. YouTube always trends towards the most like incendiary thing that you could possibly get because you want to get views. You don't want to be like, here's one tip for like being in America. Have a $20 bill on you at all times because the card machines constantly break. Nobody's going to watch that. They're going to be like, why am I wasting my time? Instead, they'll click on like, you must watch this video before you go to the United States of America. Otherwise, you will suffer bodily grievous injury. Do not wear luxury clothes in Skid Row and then uh, lay down with your face on the sidewalk for six hours. You will be at greater risk of being robbed. Having a little cash is, is handy for sure. Uh, level me? I mean, I, I know we're supposed to poison him. There's a part of me that thinks you just do this. Wow! <laughs> Push his ass over the edge. His body is not hidden. That is true. I just want to... I was going to say I want to make sure you don't discover the body. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Kind of spiraled out of control a little bit there. But you know, it's, it's pretty clean no matter what. Mission payout 300. Oh, man. Red Plumber, it's me. Now, the dream on Marrakesh would be that they're just in the bazaar somewhere. Hey, I said check stock market. I didn't say buy stocks. I didn't say... Oh, God. Oh God, it's uh, Q1 2020, uh, 2022 all over again. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> You're going to Galaxy's Edge? Um, Not unless more people start watching Blood Bowl 3. Isn't it like $5,000 for two nights or something like that? Just to be part of um, Star Wars Medieval Times? That was when, you know the Le moment where LeBron James set the all-time NBA points record and like everybody's on their phone taking a picture? That's how I felt when Kate put on a video of the Galactic Star Cruiser experience. And there's like, you know, theater actors, like they're, they're working as hard as they can, man. They're like, sire, the uh, Galactic Empire has requested an audience with us. Okay, well, okay, put them on the, the float screen. Burp, 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 burp. Right, Commander, this is Admiral Jenkins of the... And everybody there is just an adult with a drawstring bag with Boba Fett on the back, holding their phone out like this and getting like right up in the actors' faces. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, I, I bet it's... This seems like a lot of fun. It seems like people that are not here would love to see this. And maybe because I'm not really watching it right now, maybe I'll put it on the Roku once I get home so I can finally experience it. It's crazy, man. I'm, I was, like, secondhand embarrassed. I was only more embarrassed when I, uh, when they showed the, the cafeteria and, like, all the, the salads and stuff were, like, fully stocked, but people were forming a line because they kept running out of chicken fingers. <laughs> the, the chicken fingers and french fry um, cloches were, like, constantly empty, and then, like, there was just a bounty of, like, I'm not saying I don't like chicken fingers and french fries. I'm just saying if I'm at the buffet, I'm not waiting for chicken fingers. I can get those at home. I don't need to be on Naboo. Let me get, a, you know, the Gungan Caesar salad or something. Misa liked the Gungan Caesar salad. Can Misa get the Gungan chicken Caesar salad with chicken strips instead of grilled chicken? Please order like that. <laughs> And Misa Wife will have the Gungan chicken salad, please. I love Krungo. The worker will love that. Do they have anybody at um, Galaxy's Edge that that is in that's like a Jar Jar Binksian? I forget. Are they? They are just Gungans, right? But there's like tall Gungans and short Gungans. You know, somebody's walking around like a Twi'lek and some, lots of people are walking around like, you know, Ren's Knights or whatever, the Knights of Ren. 
They have one person who like low rolls and has to go around being like, Misa's so happy to see you at Galaxy's Edge. They're going back into the break room. I can't fucking do this shit anymore. Get back out there. Boss Nass is out there in 10 minutes. Where are you so from? South Carolina? That's a far away place. Ooh, Misa can't. Misa can't. Obviously, there's a lot of information uh, about Kamala Harris. I'm trespassing now. Wait. Not first lady. Sorry. She's a vice president. Okay, I'm coming with you. Just be patient here. Stick to that area and you'll be fine. Okay, let me out then. Not so much. Saved. She's in the second grade. Trying to use second grade language to describe Kamala Harris. And they didn't want facts either. They didn't want, like, she's the first uh, Asian American and the first African American uh, vice pre and the first female vice president of the United States of America. Instead, it had to be like what her like policy record is. Some of that stuff is really hard to make into a, uh, a second grade level. Try explaining that Kamala Harris was uh, her, her main initiative as district attorney of uh, San Francisco was trying to limit truancy. Put that in second grade language. But literally the example that they gave her for the assignment was like it was a made up person. But it was like President Elijahson was kind to all of the staff of the White House. He was a president during a time of peace. As a child, he stole a lollipop and then admitted it, which speaks to his good character. And I was like, how the hell are you supposed to write this shit about Kamala Harris? She's like her, her legacy is still being written. And like that, those are nothing burgers, man. What about President Elijahson's... Uh, treatment of minorities during the American expansion on the new frontier. Like, what is, that's not, we, we, can we get into some actual, like, some controversial legacies here? So basically, yeah, they basically just wanted, like, propaganda. Imagine your niece got Mike Pence instead. Well, that's the thing, is, like, on this assignment, it was, like, some of them got, like, you know, presidents in the 1800s. You could just be, like, they were president during you know the civil war they wanted everyone to be treated equally like you could you could sterilize it for second graders like pretty easily Excellent work back there, somebody got hillary clinton too and i'm like i don't want to be the second grader that has to give the presentation on hillary clinton at an assembly in the united states of america half the people are going to give a standing ovation the other half are going to like boo them off the off the stage so what I wrote was Kamala Harris is very famous for being both a vice president and a prominent uh, senator and district attorney in California. Many people have questioned her track record of aggressively prosecuting drug criminals and then casually admitting to smoking marijuana on uh, BuzzFeed, but that's not for me to say. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Can you enable non-target? That's that's the sips one. Hang on. You know what? While we're here, let me let me load in and pause. Welcome to the sector, Dubai. Intel tells. Didn't she also punish parents for their kids not being in school? Yeah, but that was kind of crazy to me. When I read on Wikipedia that at the time that she was like district attorney or whatever, thirty percent of elementary school students were chronically truant. I was like, holy cow, that's. World's dumbest man. Those kids need to get serious about their education. Close the door, please. Surprise. Syndicate member eliminated. Well done, 47. You should get back to the safe house. I'll contact you. <clears throat> that was a good mission. Peekaboo, dun dun dun, peekaboo, peekaboo, I see. You guys listen to a lot of YouTube kids music lately? Just me? 
Did I, did I do my spiel on the... Pink Fong makes a lot of songs. Some of them are kind of freaking me out now. There's one that goes, um, Miss Peacock, will you marry me? I'm an elegant peacock. Look at my tail, my beautiful tail. You'll be happy with me. But then it goes kind of crazy. Goes, I'm, um, Mrs. Deer, will you marry me? I'm a powerful deer. Look at my horn, the biggest horn. I'll make you happy. And then like a lady deer in the background goes, yes, yes, yes. I do not like listening to that song. I skipped that one in the car. Then some guy doing like a Louis Armstrong impression comes in. Miss Lion, will you marry me? I'm a big lion. Look at my mane, the biggest mane. I will protect you. La, 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 la. Anyway. Let him pill it, guys. All right, wait. That doesn't... That it, now that I think about it, that is not how that works. Dear me? The dyslexic alcoholic be like, while you're in the kitchen, can you grab me a deer? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. That's like something you read in one of those books that's like, books to read, joke books to read while you're taking a shit. Yeah, dude, there was, like, listen, it's part of my, the culture of my era. There were definitely books that were like Bill's book of toilet jokes. Look, easiest win of my life. Because you got to remember, back before smartphones were invented, like, we didn't know what the hell to do. We were reading shampoo bottles on the toilet. Reading the same issue of Nintendo Power for, like, ten years. You catch my ass taking a poop in my grandma's house reading the damn Farmer's Almanac or something. This one's got no chance. Turns out Snake's kind of good this week. People would literally... They, they made magazine racks that you put in your bathroom and then you filled them up with books that other people would read while they were pooping like at your house. The world has changed and, and left me here. The crap library, exactly. Don't break my melon. You didn't kill my boar. Didn't even come close to killing my boar. Wouldn't be caught dead killing my boar. Ooh, tough luck, get sea urchin, whatever that does. And then get a, come on, we gotta have enough gas to get this guy, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, that would be a great prank. Leave, a, leave an iPad in the bathroom for guests. But then as soon as you click the button, it has like a code. It's like at the end of a Twilight Zone episode. Like, oh, I got really to go to the bathroom, but also I have adult onset ADHD. Uh, oh, good, an iPad. Please, face, face ID failed. Please enter passcode. No! Have you looking at the bathroom just through the camera? Like, whoa, this is fun. Minus two? What? That's, I thought that was like pretty good. Might not be like the best joke I've, I've ever made or whatever, but it's like... That was okay. Wait, you would just have a smartphone in your pocket? Yeah, or like be happy to see me or whatever. Oh no, fuck you. Oh, I'm so good at Super Auto Pets. I love to take Super Auto Pets and just buy a hippo every round. Wait, we got the seven on this one? It's not that bad. I honestly think everything changed when they aired the first music video on MTV. I think Netflix has accelerated the downfall of Western society. Because we used to, like, go to work and we would talk about, you know, work on a Monday. I didn't, this was before my time, so I was just going to school at the time. But it's a work in and of itself, um, at least the way I did it. And then Monday night, everybody in America would watch Everybody Loves Raymond. We would sit around on a sofa. We would watch... Uh, the comic stylings of Ray Romano. 
Patricia Heaton. Tall guy. What's his name? Brad Garrett, that's it. Peter Boyle. Doris Reynolds. Then we would go to work the next day and we would go around the water cooler, fill up those weird little paper uh, cones and we'd be like, did you see Everybody Loves Raymond last night? It fostered a sense of, of community. Now, you go to work, you fill up your own hydro flask that you paid. You probably are still making payments on it on a firm because it's like $300. Everyone else is waiting. Uh, please, just one molecule of water. I'm so thirsty. Sorry, I got a 10 liter hydro, hydro flask. Glug, 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 glug. Hey, did you see the new episode of Physical 100? No, I'm saving it all to binge watch because I canceled Netflix. And when all the episodes are out, I'm going to uh, get a free trial and I'm going to watch them all. So instead, I was watching new episodes of How I Met Your Father on Disney+. Plus. Have you seen that yet? No, I haven't seen uh, How I Met Your Father on Disney+, Plus because I wasn't really happy with the way that uh, How I Met Your Mother ended when it was on NBC. Speaking of which, have you been watching Blockbuster on Peacock? No, I didn't really want to watch Blockbuster on Peacock because of the fact that Superstore didn't really make... But I have been watching... Have you have you seen The, the Boys Season 3 on Amazon Prime yet? No, honestly, I kind of washed out because we had a toddler and the episodes got a little violent for me to watch it. But have you been watching... The, you need to watch the second half of The Book of Boba Fett so that you can catch up to The Mandalorian. Oh, I didn't see uh, the second season of The Mandalorian because I've been too busy watching um, The Floor is Lava on Netflix. It's like a really cool show. It reminds me a little bit of Ultimate Beastmaster. Did you see that? No, I was too busy watching reruns of Frasier on country music television on demand. Like, it never ends, man. Or whatever. Like, we know, that's why as a country we can't get along anymore. You'd think it started with politics, but it started, it started as soon as we, we, we made TV too convenient. It used to be you just watched what was on and then you had no choice but to talk about that the next day at work. Now everybody's watching whatever they want to watch and we can't have any conversations anymore. Every conversation is some vein of, yeah, I've been watching this lately. Have you seen it? No. I've been watching this lately. Have you seen it? No. I've been watching this lately. Have you seen it? Then you're like, oh, I'm just dying to have some human connection. I go to r slash name of the show I like, and it's like, please do not support this show. The showrunner was involved in seven murders and 15 DUIs in Long Island in 1984. And I'm like, oh, I can't do anything anymore, man. It's crazy how Bruno Mars has so many good songs about uh, fucking, right? I'm not saying he doesn't do it. It's just I wouldn't expect the guy who sang, um, like, when I see your face, there's not a thing that I could change but because you're amazing just the way you are. But, like, other singers, they go, like, a little coy, you know? Except for, like, D'Angelo. They're always, they speak in metaphors and double entendres and euphemisms. Bruno Mars songs are actually like, I would take my penis out and insert it inside of you and you'll be screaming like Linda Blair in The Exorcist. Like he, the dude gets explicit. He goes crazy. Like I'm not even just talking about Versace on the floor, which is like innuendos. You ever heard Gorilla by Bruno Mars? He basically says he's, he's going to make love to you so ferociously that it's going to be like two gorillas fucking in the jungle. It's crazy, dude. He's the confidence that this man has is out of control. And they say romance is dead. Why you guys know way too much about gorilla phalluses? I'm going to assume that if a gorilla male gorillas have uh, small penises, then. I mean, as a bachelor's of science honors holder in biology, I'm going to assume that the female gorilla vagina is proportionally sized as a result. You, you, do, you, do you see how down bad you are? People are like, well, gorillas don't mate for pleasure. They only mate for procreation. So their sex is really boring. Bro, who fucking cares? They're gorillas. What's wrong with you? You're really out here like cyberbullying gorillas? They're animals. They live in the damn jungle, dude. They live in the damn zoo. People are like, those, that gorilla woman is not satisfied. If I was a gorilla, it would not go down like that. I would start by stroking the inside of her gorilla thigh, tease around the edge of the gorilla mons pubis. Like, what are you talking about?
They're, they're animals. I mean, we're animals, but like, we're better than animals. <laughs> yeah, Gorilla can also bench press a 1998 Honda Civic. Exactly. Can you do that? I don't think anybody can do that. Even the, even the car dealership owner from Physical 100. Well, this, I'm, I'm remembering now, someone asked me at the start, of this, uh, the start of the Super Auto Pet segment, they said, NL, can you name five Harry Styles songs? I'll tell you that the answer to that question is no, but it may surprise you. I can definitely name two Harry Styles songs. I can name, everybody knows uh, Watermelon Sugar, which I'm starting to believe is not Watermelon Sugar. By the way, this is a callback to earlier in the stream. If Watermelon Sugar was sung by Bruno Mars, you know what the song would be called? Pussy Juice. And it would go to number one. And uh, people would be listening to it for years. And he would bust out the craziest dance routine you've ever seen in your entire life. Hell yes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> People will be playing it at weddings. You're absolutely right. Right after Pharrell Williams is happy, they would be like, oh, dude, can you play Pussy Juice by Bruno Mars? It's a callback to earlier in the stream where I said, why Bruno Mars, he, like all um, like pop stars, a lot of his songs are about intercourse, but he doesn't speak in innuendos. He just, he's basically, every single song is like, we're doing it. It's, it's like if Digital Underground had the dance moves of Michael Jackson. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, I just made a Digital Underground reference. Sorry, this is an eight-win run. You got hater energy. Just like the, is it, who's the guy from, um, is it Liam from One Direction? Who's new, um, his new thing is just talking about how much he hates everybody else in One Direction. That's, that's Liam. It's like Zayn Malik is like doing stuff. Harry Styles is one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Liam Payne is going on podcasts and, and just shit-talking everybody. Shit-talking his friends that he was in the biggest band in the world with for a while. That's Niles. Niles is not an open shit-talker. Niles might have an incisive barb um, behind your back, but mostly that's just because he's so repressed because, I mean, you would be too if you had to deal with Maris all day. You know that Frazier Crane and Niles Crane were too rich because they married two women named Maris and Lilith, which is just like, <laughs> I don't know where that... <laughs> I'm not big on stereotypes necessarily, but I think if you name your child Maris, well, nowadays people would just be like, whoa, you must be a big fan of Frazier. But if you named your child Maris in like the early 1960s or something like that, you had too much money. I used to have the biggest crush on Niles. Okay, Maris. Still a fun one. I mean, I was a little distracted. I was thinking about Maris. Does Maris ever show up on the, on the show? Maris. Frasier. Fan art. <laughs> That's not... Is that Maris or is that Lilith? I don't know if she shows up on... She never shows up on the show. Viewers never see the character. Hang on. I'm loading Frasier.Fandom.com. It's taking a long time to load. There must be like 10 embedded streams in the background on it. Viewers never seen the character, but are inclined to create their own image of her form, especially using the vivid explanations given by anyone who has met her, above all her husband. The true source of Maris's family fortune is only discovered by Niles during the divorce proceedings. Let's we'll see some quotes. I, Niles. This is so classic. Niles. <clears throat> I don't mind telling you we pushed our beds together that night. And that is no mean feat. Her room, as you know, is across the hall. <laughs> oh, how droll. How droll, Niles. Will Maris be joining us? Sadly, no. She had a bad experience there one Christmas Eve. The Italian soccer team was at the next table. Maris announced that she was in the mood for a goose. And perhaps, inevitably, tragedy ensued. <laughs> What a delightful bone mo. 
I thought Maris was joining us. Oh no, I'm afraid Maris is having one of her episodes. In the middle of dressing for the evening, she suddenly slumped down on the edge of the bed in her half-slip inside. Of course I knew then and there that dinner was not to be. <laughs> oh, man. It's classic. Delightful quip. Look, you see that rotund woman coming out of chock full of donuts? What the hell? With Niles? No, I thought Niles was like, uh, I thought he was based. Watch, before she gets to her car, she'll finish that bear claw, then go back in. This is her third time. Niles, it's her... Roz, you called us over to show us that? It's rude. Frazier, it's childish. Niles, it's Maris. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Oh... What, when did the Maris jokes turn so rude? It used to be like they just didn't get along that well. Niles, it's Maris. At least I think it is. You need a bigger peephole? What the hell happened to... Uh, Niles was... This was divorce Niles when he was, he was going through it. He was listening to the wrong kind of podcast. He, had, he didn't have good male role models in his life. He had a lot of anger. He was working through some stuff. Anyway... Come on, Niles. You're you're better than that. You could be you you could be more incisive without resorting to personal attacks like that. I love misogyny disguised as comedy. Excuse me. It's not misogyny. She's not nice. <laughs> we never meet Maris or hear, hear her side of the story at all, but how could it be misogyny if she's if she's mean according to according to Niles. That's not that's not misogyny. Yeah, she's married. It's misogyny. This is also a good one. This is also a good one. Okay, we got something going on here. I should pr I'm so, I'm so pill-pilled, man. I'm such a pharmaceutical cell pill pi pharmaceutical pill pill cell. <laughs> That was good, though. That was good. Minus two, minus two. You shut the fuck up, you fucking... Thoughts on Rouge the Bat? Is Rouge the Bat... Um, I don't even know why I'm asking. It's got to be some goofy Sonic the Hedgehog thing, right? That people want to, you know? Yes, it is. I knew it. Anytime... It would, it's the classic, like... Um, you know, if you Google blank the hedgehog and blank is your name, you'll come up with some some sick OC of <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Yourself as a as a horny hedgehog character. I know all about it, man. Give me give me soft ice. Me, a normal person. Hey, can I have chocolate soft ice, please? The seasons are changing. Warmth won't be free for long. Holy cow, he's hot? Hmm. This is the fastest path up the mountain, but there is smoke that smells of meat and I know not its source. Me, when I walk by a subway and smell the bread. By the way, the art on the Queen of Hearts got me feeling a certain sort of way. Dizzying blow. Tap an adjacent target? Huh? This game has tapping? Pitiful figures shamble from behind the pillars. Me when I'm trying to hide from the other families at daycare pickup, but they see me. You draw four cards. You got to be two jacks. Can't be two jacks. Please, good top. Ooh! Get owned. I play dual wield, discarding an ace. I know it seems crazy. Then we play a pair of twos. You got to beat a pair. If you draw a pair on two cards, more power to you. I'll take that. He's a genius. You're two pair blind. Excuse me, Leopardly. We played two pair earlier, and it said, for game balance purposes, two pair is not a valid hand in this game. So maybe before you be, you jump to condescension as your first reaction when you see something that you don't understand, maybe reach for understanding instead. Ouch, my bad. It is your bad. My technique yet improves. You're right about that one. 
But wait, my black attacking cards deal plus one damage. Attack damage is processed as though this was a successful attack. You need a spade and any other card. Hey, okay, Leopard Lee, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. <laughs> Sorry, thank you, thank you. I didn't force it to sub! I didn't force sub, okay? I'm not a Disney adult, by the way. I got a bone to pick with P-Flex. He went off on me, dude. He's, well, he said, I, he, I just saw, because Elon's new Twitter algorithm is, like, designed to uh, stoke as much outrage as possible. So there's, like, a tweet from, like, six hours ago from Peary and Flax on Thursday or something that was, like, adults who go to Disney parks get strangely defensive when you question why they would go to Disney parks. And I said, just as a joke, what the hell, we're leaving for Disney in, like, six hours? And then he said, enjoy meeting your favorite characters like Pinocchio or something like that. I was like, okay, dude. Then I clicked on his tweets and the dude was like, I, he literally took a, the, uh, a picture of him walking out of the theater and he's like, Ant-Man and Quantumania was really good. And I'm like, what the hell, dude, you're making, you're, you're, it's, it's a mutual level of bald respect that I did not window snipper tool that and go, this you? It isn't even an old tweet. It was the most recent tweet. But I, I, I said, why would I make an enemy? There's no, there's no reason for me to be making an enemy online sometimes strength is is you know keeping your your trump card in your hand you know i turned the other cheek it's true i'm not a disney adult i'm just a like a pretty good dad my wife is a disney adult <laughs> I'm, I'm just like a good husband it's the scariest ride bro i was kind of scared when i rode pirates of the caribbean nothing in the in the park was in in disneyland at least was like too extreme for me but when we got on pirates of the caribbean you know it tricks you because they're like there's no height limit um it's just a little lap bar that like doesn't actually protect you from anything it's like a little boat you're like oh this is gonna be like the it's gonna be like the little mermaid ride where we're just gonna have the story and then the shit goes pitch black and uh captain barbosa goes dead men tell no tales and then they like drop you so my, my kid was freaking out. And then I was like, a, I was like, it's okay, honey, it's okay. But in, I also was like holding the front of the ride like this and I was getting so tensed up. Uh, Cause the kid behind me was like seven, right? And he kept going like, that's not the only drop. I know there's another drop. I'm sure there's another drop on this ride, and in my head I was like, shut the fuck up, man. Shut the f- And then it, there was no- there was like a little like, boop, but there was no other big drop. But every five seconds he was like, this is the big drop for sure! It has been asked a little bit, did you ride any of the Star Wars rides? We did not ride any of the Star Wars rides. The reason is because all three of them have a height limit. So unfortunately we were kind of gated for at least another year or so, maybe maybe two years from uh, being able to do Rise of the Rise of the Resistance Star Tours and Smugglers Run. Um, yeah, I'm I'm too short. By the way, that photo that uh, I took with someone who recognized me on the first day, a lot of people are saying that I'm very short. That's not true. I'm like I'm five ten, which is like maybe a little short. But a he was six four. As he said in the, and I'll be like a rude investor or whatever. Um, he was 6'4", okay? And also, he was very, I'm, I'm just gonna say that he knew how to take photos. Because he had angled him, he'd positioned himself in front of me and angled himself a little bit towards the camera. So as a result, it looked like I'm shorter than I am. And also, I have size 13 Blundstones on. So just, it, it tricks your brain because you see such a long object at the bottom of the image, it messes with your perspective like Peter Jackson style to make it seem like I'm shorter than I am, okay? A lot of people, they, they don't understand physics like that. By the way, buy sell goes insane this week. Also, I don't... <laughs> it is funny to me. I, en I enjoyed myself immensely. I had a great time. But there's a little, there's a cynic deep inside of me, for sure. It's crazy to me that there were, you, there were some people in Disneyland that were having the time of their lives. But then like one in 10 families 
was on the brink of complete collapse, without a doubt. I don't know. It's, I, I guess it's stressful. You know what? I, I, was, I, was, I was meditating on it when I was doing the, my dadly duty of waking up at 6 a.m., taking a half-hour bowel movement, hopping in the shower, uh, waking up, getting dressed, going out, buying coffee and juice and breakfast for everybody, walking back to our hotel room, everybody's still asleep, sitting down in the only chair in the hotel room and silently drinking my cold brew coffee and eating a blueberry muffin before everybody wakes up. One kid... No sweat. Two kids, I, listen, I'm not saying it's not harder. No sweat. Three kids, you know in like drag races when you're supposed to shift, when you redline and, the, and it goes, that's three kids. If you have four plus children, you are built different. You've lost your mind. You're insane. You're crazy. Families with one kid, Picking their kids up. Hey, princess, have a fun time. Oh, sure, let's do this again. Families with two kids. Okay, you, can you take your sister on the merry-go-round? And uh, me and your mom are just going to get something from Pim's Test Kitchen. Three kids start, definitely started to be a little bit like, you look after your sister and you go on like the goofy sky school while we take your little sister onto the carousel. Whenever I saw a family with four plus kids, I was like, this is a damn nightmare. <laughs> this, is a, this is a complete, like, what have you done to yourself? You did, and that's the thing, is like, you did it, bro. It's not like, if, if you had one kid, and then you had triplets, when you went for the second, I would be like, that's a blessing, because that's what you're supposed to say, but also, like, surprise, motherfucker. But then when they have, like, four kids that are two, three years apart each. I'm like, you did it. You went from one to two and you said, this is magical. Should we do three? Sure, why not? Then you're like, oh, I'm so tired. You know what? Ah, screw it. Let's do four. What are you doing? I'm thinking about saving myself from it and just getting a vasectomy at age 18. Listen, in all honesty, I would not recommend that. I'm not going to tell you to have kids, but like, if you're 18, don't go... I, my personal opinion is don't go in for like surgery to there's other ways that you can I mean you can use contraception I guess I'm not trying to make this like the talk but you'll be you'll be fine that being said I might go in for a vasectomy I'm 34 <laughs> when my wife was doing like almost all of the work, I was like, dude, it'd be nice to have two kids. Once, once the kid got a little older and I'm doing a lot of the work, I'm like, ah, no shot, dude. I don't know. Maybe it'll, maybe I'll feel differently someday, but just snip it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Like, there's no rush. We'll see. I'm definitely not going to let Twitch chat make the decision for me, though. I do. I, I hate the fact that people are saying only children are creepy. Dude, I'm an only child. <laughs> I'm the... I know you're probably like, exactly. But but def I don't know if you felt the same way, Kate. I saw a lot of like... Well, you know what's funny is that I also like... I really feel like one to two kids was the sweet spot for happiness at Disneyland. I didn't tell you this, Kate, but when I was waiting for you um, next to the carousel, when you, when you had done uh, the Cars ride, there was like a boyfriend and girlfriend having what I would describe as the most condescending fight I've ever heard in my entire life. Now, admittedly, they were young. They were in like their early 20s, maybe. But the guy was talking to his girlfriend. He's like, stop. Like, okay, I get it, but you're really going to be mad, like, all day? And I was like... And then she was like, I'm just going to leave. And he was like, bro, don't leave. Then she walked away, and he was like, okay, fine. And then he, like, was just following behind her by, like, three feet. And I was like, this is not good. But felt like there were, there were some couples that were, that were having a great time. There were some couples that were not having a great time. And then there was like families with one to two kids. It seemed like that it's the most magical place on earth, especially if their kids were like, you know, two. 
I'm basically talking about us. And then families with like five kids, definitely. And I'm not saying like we would be in a different spot. I'm like, I see why you're stressed out. Like you, because you're, you're, you don't really get to have a great time at Disneyland as like a, a mom or a dad of five kids. You're managing like the, the future of your county, like right there every day, every minute. One kid's always like, I'm thirsty. And another kid's like, I got to go to the bathroom. And then another kid is like, I'll never go on this ride. And then another kid is like, you know, all I want to do is go on this ride. If your kid is like super young, they're like throwing tantrums for, for no reason. You just give them like a little cookie. Like we had one kid, my backpack was, was bursting. Bibs, cookies, goldfish, uh, so many different wet wipes, water bottles, diapers, like it's an ointments and the various toys that we could give her. Cause 99% of the time this toy works, but sometimes she's like, get out of my face. The iPad, the, like it's, it's crazy. You got five kids. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't know what I'm doing either. Wait a minute. We haven't really played too much sap today so far. This is very true iPad at Disneyland? Yeah, you know, I mean, while well, mom and dad are eating a, a Pim Mini at uh, Pim's Test Kitchen, like, uh, you know, the baby needs something to do. I'm a babe. Honestly, I think these, well, no, Ryan's kind of a hunk now. He bikes, dude. I'm not a hunk. I'm more of a, I can't say it, but it's a five letter word that rhymes with rink. Bitch? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 You're not. Uh, uh, you're not that. that. I kind of. I kind of. Yeah. Not that at all. Not, I kind of have. Yeah. I don't have any. Sticks. You can't be a bald. You know what? You're fucking buff, man. I'm not buff. <laughs> I'm just. I'm. I'm fast. But you're not. You're not. Not buff, though. I don't know. How tall are you again? Six eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. My mistake. <laughs> Oh man! Welcome to Quicksort. I feel like you're like uh, he's five ten. You're a little more. Uh, don't don't dox my height. Time for round <laughs> he's five he's ten. ten no, you you always see him at six one though. Is there a word for like almost a bear? <laughs> I think a cub. He's <laughs> hairy. He is hairy. I'm covered in hair. Yeah. He's my twin in that aspect. I've seen his back hair. Oh, you haven't, I hope. Unless I was oh, wearing that. Remember when we missed that TwitchCon, dude? A you shirt that, with the collar on. Where you took out. your shirt off? Do you have strong ankles because you have such big feet on such a small frame? I don't think you mean this to have scary energy, but this is very scary phrasing on this. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I. <laughs> I don't know if I have strong ankles, maybe. I don't think you meant anything by it, but... I, anyway, the answer is no. Like, I have the horrible balance. Hey, when did... Was it... The, I, I forgot how much has gone on since the last, uh, last stream. I had my doctor, uh, the nurse, come to my house, take my blood and urine. I'm happy to report that despite working in what I personally would describe as the world's most stressful job. Um, hang on, hang on, this is a big moment for us. Oh! Hey, and step on, step on itis Step on me, queen itis thanks for the gifted subscriptions, thank you. Despite having the most stressful job on the planet, source, dude, just trust me. Um, my, my blood pressure is normal which is an improvement. It used to be borderline. And, listen, I haven't gotten the results back, but when she took my, my vitals, she said, I can tell you have a strong heart. Which, honestly, was just the kind of... It's the, the human warmth that I needed before going to Disneyland. Well, hold on. I'm, I'm bad at the game. That's six. Psycho energy? It's not psycho! It's... It, she said, don't worry, I can tell you have a strong heart. I was like, oh. Also, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to flex a little bit here, okay? 31 inch waist. Eh? I, I'm still, still got it. I was hoping to be at a 30, but I'll, I'll take 31. Even with the grapefruit sculpins. 
Because I got to be a, a little honest. I was a little offended when both Chibli and Apollo said that I'm an otter. Like, I'm, it, I, it's not the, the culture that I'm a part of to begin with. But were I a part of the culture, I don't think I'm an otter. I'll be a tasty carrot. Like, why have I been doing so much cardio and, and eating so many salads to become an otter? Like, that's... That wasn't my aspiration. It just means you're hairy. Yeah, but that, I, I can change. If I have to, I guess. You can't choose what you are? What are you talking about you can't choose what you are? I thought that was like half the thing. Is you can be whatever you want. Cause you're dude, you're on the right track, baby. I was born this way. Something there's no other way. Something I was born this way. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, once there was a key. You don't have a hurt trigger. That's my mistake on that one. That was not very smart. Got into an accident and couldn't come to school, but when he finally came back. Sorry. <laughs> His hair had turned from red into bright white. Couldn't quite explain it. They'd always just gone there. Mm -hmm. Anyway. What a song, man. Be measured out, measured in, coffee spoons. I got nothing. I got, I got no other banter today, which is kind of crazy. T.S. Eliot. Okay, I get it. I'm not, I'm not an otter either. I'm just a guy. All right, I'm sorry. I'm just, I, I'm just trying to understand here. You know what's also crazy? I didn't, I, th listen. As non-politically as possible, why did so many people at Disneyland think it was the appropriate place to wear all their uh, Thin Blue Line merch? Or is it just that they only own Thin Blue Line merch? <laughs> and also the, a long sleeve sweatshirt of the, college that maybe they went to but definitely they support the football team that's normal orange county i didn't know i honestly I, I i'm not i'm not super familiar with the the demography of of orange county i am super familiar with the weather it's crazy that like the, a place on earth can rain so much and have so little sun when i was in disneyland paris everyone was wearing one piece merch for no discernible reason Well, I can think of one reason, because it's real. Right, Apollo? We're still saying that. By the way, I don't, I don't say this just to flex, but got recognized at Disneyland, 9.45 a.m. Did not get recognized at Disney California Adventure, but that's okay. How am I supposed to compete with uh, T'Challa, right? But then yesterday at the hotel, I was just standing with seven backpacks on and four suitcases. And somebody came up to me and said, are you Northern Lion? And then they, they, we took a photo. It's very good for the ego. I, anytime I get recognized, I, I feel like I must be doing something right, even though there's also a strong chance that in their head, they're probably like, uh, I used to watch your Isaac videos back in the day. That's okay. I understand. That's true. Isaac had no camera, though. Honestly, you're kind of like my therapist. Honestly, with, with no disrespect, that kind of makes no sense. Unless, like, why is your therapist doing all the talking? Like, if I was paying $200 for a 45-minute session, I would at least want to, you know, get a word in edgewise without being insulted. <laughs> it's always like... <laughs> The hell, my, my therapist called me a fucking idiot for trying to explain something to them. And then actually it turns out I was right in the first place and they said, sorry, I guess. My therapist went off on me for misremembering events from the 2012 film Prometheus. My chat went off on me for accidentally stuttering when I said misremembering. True, true, that's pretty Joel. Did Canada ban TikTok? I don't know. 
I haven't looked at the news today. I'm going to say yes, just because I think it would be funny to be right or wrong. You know what? Let's, let's throw a royal flycatcher out here. I don't know. It could. I don't think that too many people are running summoning teams, but if they are, it'll be funny. They banned it on government devices. Guy who only watches problematic news channels. Wait, I thought they were all government devices. <laughs> Uh, I thought all, I, I thought the I, I guy who only um, it's, and I it's such as okay no no nothing all right fair enough I'm, wor I'm working on my my tight five here's my impression of every documentary on Netflix it's just a town where like you said hello to people everyone knew each other it was the perfect place to raise a family but the idyllic exterior hid a dark reality that once manifested shook this town to its core. She just lit up the room. Anytime she walked into a room, you were like, there she is. There's Debbie. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to work it again. I'm trying to work it. Here's my impression of the first one minute of every net, the first 10 seconds of every Netflix documentary about the worst murder in American history. We met at a bar and I was just coming. I'm sorry. I don't know where this is going. And we were so in love until one day. Like she was friends with everyone. Hang on, where am I going with this? Get this man out of the kitchen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Keep in mind, I haven't told like any jokes in the last, uh, in the last few days. It's actually like traveling is so easy to be funny because you just like find someone in the airport who's doing something and then you go look at this guy. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, a fan of observational humor, such as seeing someone in the airport do something that you wouldn't do and then go and look at this idiot. Can I also say, and, and you got to give us some, uh, you got to give me some leeway to work with this one, okay? Because it's not going to be anybody's favorite bit to start with. Disneyland and this, I, I'm not trying to gatekeep Disneyland at all because that's just ridiculous. But Disneyland uh, Japan does a much better job of creating atmosphere of magic than Disneyland California. And I'm going to tell you why. In California, like half of the staff members have drank the Kool-Aid and they're like, we're making this magical. And half of the staff members are like, bro, fucking go, go. Like we had one situation where like we walked up to like the gate of the ride and the girl was like, how many of you are there? We said three. And she said, okay, wait here, please. And then a half second later, she said one. And we went, what? And then she said one. And then I said three. And she said, no, row one, please. And then we're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> you just told us to wait, but I guess I'll fuck off. Um, that, and, and by the way, I'm not, I'm not hating on her. I'm sure that shit is like annoying. And also you're standing there for 10 hours and like the weather sucked and you're dealing with people that are not really paying attention and you gotta, they're like, you gotta keep the rides going. It's like doing the McDonald's drive through So like, we only got 94 Pinocchio boats through this hour. That's like a bronze. If you wanna get your bonus for today, then you're this quarter, you gotta get at least 103 boats in But anyway. But in Japan, that shit does not happen. Or maybe it's because I don't speak Japanese. But it seems like everybody, like under punishment of physical harm or, or losing employment, everybody is like endeavoring to make your day as magical as possible, which as the customer is really nice. <laughs> as, the, as the worker, I would definitely not be surprised to hear that it's a little bit soul crushing. Or at least, um, I'm trying to think of maybe a better word for it. You know, I'm going to buy it. I can't believe it. And I kind of enjoy being condescended to as long as it... When, I, when I'm condescended to by a patron, 
Like, that's fighting words. When I'm condescended to by staff, I'm like, you got me, I'm a piece of shit. So, like, I don't, I don't hold it against them. You rolled past the level with a level 2 jellyfish? You're not staff, so shut up. If you worked at Twitch, I would be like, so true. I'm a piece of shit. But you're just literally, you're in, this, you're in the muck with me? Shut your mouth. <laughs> See? Because they're paid more in Japan? Listen, I don't know if that's true. I think even if you paid me a million dollars a year, I would probably insult some guests at Disneyland if I worked there. It wouldn't matter whether I was a ride operator or I was giving tours to the weekend on a Tuesday. I, I would definitely, I would, I would reach a moment where I would be like, yeah, I would, I would probably get written up. I had another tweet that I thought could go crazy. Um, which is, I bet the flight attendant group chats go crazy. Anybody here work uh, as, as flight crew? Because you are really, you're dealing with people that are entitled. Um, or not paying attention, or think that they're mommy's special person, or intoxicated, or, you know, otherwise preoccupied and stressed out, they've been on flights all day, I bet you have, I bet in the group chat, there is some shit that would get you thrown in prison. I bet every message in the group chat, it's, it's like, Cassandra is typing, but it's like, it's the typing goes on for like 15 minutes and you're like, this is going to be good. You wouldn't believe the patron that I had on the flight today. And then, and then he's like, really? And then I said, sir, you can't be in the galley. And and then he tried to pee with the door open. There must be dude that the flight attendant group chats must go insane. Same. Nope. Nope was good. I think you got to respect Jordan Peele for a lot of different reasons, but one of the reasons you got to respect him is that his movies have an objective order to them. Like, Get Out is the best. Full stop. Us is the worst. Nope is in the middle. I still think Us is like, it's worth watching. You have to respect him for getting worse over time. What are you talking about? He got worse between the first one and the second one, and then he got better for the third one. He's bad in the he's bad in a thousand. There's been no there's been no baddies. I think us is a little better. It's crazy to me. I thought I was like the only one who uh, respected us. <clears throat> hey, here's a, here's a good TikTok for you, Chibli. I know you're big on TikTok. Here here it is. Okay. Uh, my favorite Jordan Peele movies are Get Out and Nope. And then is that is it a song by Pink that goes What about us? My reaction when someone tells me that their favorite Jordan Peele movies are Get Out and Nope. What about us? That dude! Well, look at the plus twos! It's going crazy! People are loving it, dude! Hang on, I'm gonna... Okay. Spotify, what about us? No offense, but like, who would actually listen to this song? Like, you have to be in a really like bad place in your life. I think to look Spotify, can you please play What About Us by Pink? I've had a hell of a day. Man, fuck you if you're sad or something. I don't know. I didn't really think about it. My reaction when people say their favorite Jordan Peele movies are Get Out and Nope. Hang on. This is called, this is behind the scenes. You know, <laughs> Twitter has done um, a lot of algorithmic changes that are bad. I've never muted as many people as, I get like, I know who people are now because their tweets get surfaced in my algorithm like every day and then I mute them. Like been people that just like, I've, I've followed whole arcs from strangers that just get surfaced in my For You page for some reason. But anyway, one of the great things that it's done is show me lots of videos of LeBron James, even though I know nothing about basketball. You ever see the video of LeBron James and 2 Chains, where LeBron James invents the concept of uh, the double album? And he says, so we put out the album, and then like one or two weeks later, and then he goes up to the whiteboard and he writes deluxe album on the whiteboard, and he goes, we come out with like another two tracks. So thank you guys. Thank you for supporting me. And I'm going to go ahead and throw two more tracks on you. 
It, here, that's it. Here's two more for y'all. It's so good the way he's sitting in the chair and he goes, here's two more for y'all. It's, it's so good, dude. Oh, I feel like this picture did a lot of damage to me. I can't, I can't look at this picture. It's James Corden, obviously. Oh, wait, where's the... They probably had her do like like gin and juice or something. And you're like, wow, I knew she could sing. I didn't know she could rap one song. She's so well-rounded. I don't know. She might have just sang. She's very talented. I'm not knocking Adele. I'm just, well, I mean, sorry, James. I am knocking James Corden. Who's that with Albert Einstein? Oh, fuck. <laughs> um... Uh, <laughs> is this Niels Bohr? Scientists dress goofy sometimes. I'm gonna, this is Niels Bohr. This is um, <laughs> uh, Werner von Braun. Uh, this is uh, uh, <laughs> Fermi. Are you Fermi? Which one are you? That's Richard Nixon. That's Fermi. Are you Oppenheimer? Are you Peter Sellers? That's probably Oppenheimer, if I had to guess. I would probably say it's Niels Bohr. Maybe you're Rutherford. Um, Fermi? It's not Fermi. Okay, are you Richard Feynman? It's Mary Curie. Joe Weisenthal? I don't know this one. I got to pass on this. You know, he looks like a scientist. I'm going to take a go out of a limb and say this is Niels Bohr. <laughs> okay, I got to say his uh, Fermi. Maybe Oppenheimer. Okay, there's that's Oppenheimer. My man's wearing a damn tracksuit. If if it's good enough for the smartest man in the world, this is is he wearing the world's first Arcteryx? He's so, he's dripped up, man. You're right, that is Picasso. This is not fair. That's Winston Churchill. What the fuck is that hat, dude? Are you, do you get that from the Giants Monopoly board? His wife? Madame Ein Eisenstein? God is my witness. I have no idea. I don't think it's Niels Bohr, though. Einstein. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, dude, this, I never knew. This guy, he's got to be pissed off. He's like the most erased face in history. You never see this guy in the original image. You only see this one. I don't know who this is, by the way. Now I give up. That's John Barrymore. Okay. So like a street magician or something? Average score was 23. This is David Ben-Gurion. Okay. Oh, God. Why? Why? Niels Bohr, dude. This is the only one I didn't guess it on. Charlie. What? That is not Charlie Chaplin. They've made a mistake. That's Albert Einstein. I don't know who the fuck that guy is. Mary Curie again? I guess this is from like when photos were first invented. So there's only a couple, uh, only a couple people to take photos with. That's Rabindranath Tagore, of course. Frank Adelot. Why? Well, I, I mean, he, what else was there to do back then? I probably ate a lot back then too if I was alive. <laughs> Why it, all the other photos are on Sesame Street? Why is this one deep in a in a nuclear bunker? <laughs> like a Camp David or something like that. What is what's wrong with this one? Well, apart from the obvious. It's Tina Fey. It does look like Big Bird is visiting him in prison. It's Jimmy Kimmel. What what it looks I thought he was holding a a bedazzled piece of bling that said bitch on it. It's like this. Sesame Street would never license that. This is LL Cool J. <laughs> He's zazad out of his mind right now, dude. That's obviously John Oliver. 
This is the guy Bill Nye is just saying, just shut the fuck up. Bill Nye looks like he's saying, if you say literally one more time, I'm going to walk out of the damn show. This is Jane Lynch. It's crazy that they made two Kane and Lynch games when Jane and Lynch was right there. The And Moses went and returned to blank his father-in-law. He what? I was literally looking at her and going, who the fuck is that? That's not Kim Kardashian. Bro, she loves her. That's, I, as a body language expert, hold on, let me get out my green lines. You can see that uh, Paris Hilton is holding exactly perpendicular to the camera, which means she's in control of the interaction. And then Kim Kardashian has subtly turned her shoulders and her pelvis in the direction of, of Paris Hilton here. Okay, this is it's Paris Hilton. It's Beyonce. This is um, Naomi Campbell. I'm just going to say I would go crazy at being famous because it seems like a big part of it is like all you need to do is remember people's faces when, or names when you see their face. She's got a very long back. It's Miley Cyrus. Like I'd be like, Miley! Sir Elton, it is an honor to meet your acquaintance. Look who's looking Fergalicious tonight. Selena, my favorite Gomez who isn't part of the Adams family. I could totally do this. Heidi, Klum over here. I haven't seen you in so long. Uh, Jennifer Lopez, I presume? No, I don't mind taking a photo. I can't keep this up, honestly, but um, Serena Williams, Cher, you think Cher ever brought, ate a snack in school and then they were like, and then the teacher was like, did you bring enough to Cher? And she was like, yes. And then the teacher was like, no, did you bring enough to Cher? And then she was like, yeah, I brought enough for me. And then the teacher was like, listen, what I'm trying to say is, did you bring enough? This is Jennifer Lawrence. This is Rihanna. This is Kim Kardashian. I mean, sorry, it's Britney Spears. It's Katy Perry. She's on some Gatsby shit. It's Jimmy Fallon. It's Anna Wintour. It's Donald Trump. It's Kanye West. We got 100%. I can't be stopped. Is Pete Davidson? This guy, he can't be stopped. Is Anthony Bourdain? I don't know who this is. I think I do know who it is, but I don't know who it is. You ever notice how much Steve Jobs looks like Peloton instructor Cody Rigsby? With the world's, like, absolutely worst haircut. No disrespect. Obviously, this is Bill Gates. Bono. This was not the... This wasn't the look, man. This wasn't the look. Straw cowboy hat. Studded leather jacket. Black and red iPod, iPod Generation 1. Alicia <laughs> Keys. Bro, why are you showing Steve Jobs how to use the computer? He invented the damn computer, Alicia Keys. Why would they, we were wearing so many stupid hats back then? Alicia, you're inside. What did I tell you, dude? Beck, you're wearing a felt hat inside. What's wrong with you? It's John Mayer? This is what people used to dress like. We used to be a proper country. And that's the Waz, of course. This look has to come back. Why is nobody rocking the polo shirt on top of the polo shirt anymore? <laughs> Nobody's rocking polo under polo these days. It's coming back. Oh, baby, I'm ready. I got a few. 
what do you see? Well, Daniel, do you know who this is right here? I'll give you a hint. He loves it when I something like that. And when you closer, bring me the uh, shivers. And when you do it over, then I'll bring it right back. I said, uh, ooh, I love it when you suck me like that. And when you do your clothes on, give me the shivers. Something like that. It's about a skeleton. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. I'm laughing because we already saw this photo before. I'm not... That's why I'm laughing. This is, this is Jay-Z. I'm sorry. It's Kobe Bryant. Samuel L. Jackson. This photo is really good. This photo is... Oh, man. I have to be a fly on the wall. Now, dude, this would be kind of... Uh, this is a dream blunt rotation. I agree. Now, I'm not saying that Tiger Woods would be cool when he smokes weed, but I bet it would be fun. I bet it would be a fun conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just don't know what to say about this one. <laughs> I didn't know this photo existed. <laughs> it's Snoop Dogg. It's Roger Federer. Why is why is Tiger Woods holding the trophy? You didn't you don't play tennis. Spike Lee. Jimmy Fallon holding a Wiimote. Tiger Woods dressed like it's uh, the <laughs> it's the final eighteen holes of the Masters. For some reason, they got him. Can't, they, there's no doubt they had to pay extra to get Tiger Woods to wear the red shirt, right? That's something you, he's only supposed to break that out for the final day. That's Bon Jovi and possibly, no disrespect, but the worst shirt I have ever seen in my entire life. And believe it or not, I'm not talking about Bon Jovi's. Also, Dan, look, Bon Jovi's got the Superman tattoo too. It's not just Sam Yo. It's Muhammad Ali. It's Janet Jackson. This photo just doesn't feel right. It's Jay Leno. It's Prince. <laughs> it's, <laughs> this is... I Listen, I have nothing for or against Tiger Woods. What, here's one thing I'm going to say. I think I admire the fact that he just can't look cool. No matter what he wears, he just looks like someone told him to wear it. Someone was like, oh, this will look good. And he said, okay. I, Because I can relate to that. That's how I feel all the time. No matter what I wear, I'm like, this doesn't look like me. I mean, he looks most cool in the golf clothes, which maybe makes sense. It's Kobe Bryant. Like, he looks pretty cool there. Mark Wahlberg, on the other hand, does not look cool. Mark Wahlberg looks like... He looks like a very small man. Also, Mark, listen, dude, like I... You're playing golf with Tiger Woods? Why you got an AirPod in, man? Like, I get that you're a busy guy, but you're golfing with Tiger Woods. You couldn't think you could just be in the moment for like a couple hours or something? He'd be like, oh, by the way, hold my calls. I'm golfing with Tiger Woods right now. I, what, are you listening to a podcast or something? Like, what's the problem? Who's that with Tom Brady? I know football. Uh, that's, uh, that's Donald Trump. Turns out presidents meet a lot of famous athletes. It's Oprah Winfrey. Not an awkward handshake in the slightest. Yep, this would be a lot of fun. I think this would be a great time. It's just the, the felt. I'm not a fashion consultant. I'm just saying. The, the felt peacoat. Gray vest, crew neck shirt, and then the <laughs> self-branded. Is that, is that his brand? Tom Brady, is he number 13? It's 12, okay. Well, they might want to, listen, is Jay still here? Can we get a critique of the, the readability on this logo? Because, I mean, it's just like, it's just all the characters mashed together. <laughs> Jay-Z? What, Tom Brady, what the fuck are you wearing, man? You part of a, a, a gang? Are you a grown-up bully from a Christmas story? Like, it, That's Tom Brady and the only beer he's ever consumed in his life. He's been taking 
12 multivitamins a day ever since this taping in order to remove the toxins from his liver. This is Alexander Rodriguez. Absolutely horrible dark age for men's fashion. Mid to late 2000s were, it was not a good time. I'm not saying I don't have hats like that. I'm just saying it's the, the, the hat with the like casual button up. It's like, don't start the singing, then you can't stop. So true. When you were young, you were the king of Austin Powers. And now you kidnap Nigel Powers as his foe to get the man of mystery to show. This is the room one afternoon where Fat Bastard ate you. And how Felicity Shagwell shagged him real well to place a homing device where no one dared to dwell.